And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Up Podcast After Hours. This show joined with, what, 10 lovely ladies, man? Got Ten. a lot to talk about, I man. so. Let's get right into it. Let's go. All the night is my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're you more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out. me That's to leave? Serious. Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not just what I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my own. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition, man. We got already 2,100 of you guys in here just waiting. So shout out to y'all. Thank you so much for supporting. Like the goddamn video on your way in. Quick announcements. Patreon.com slash Fresh Get all the behind the scenes content there. You can't get anywhere else. Whether it's me chasing after idiots in London uh, or, or uh, no you know, place. crazy wrangling with Tristan and Andrew Tate and or being in Romania, whatever it may be, our entire Europe trip that's not safe for YouTube is on Patreon.com slash Fresh So check us out over there. We still got the London bug a little bit, but we're recovering. Yeah. Also, check us out, guys. We're no longer an anchor, but we are on Megaphone, okay, guys? If you guys want to listen to us on the go and like, get the audio versions, go and check us out on Megaphone. Link is below. It's cms.megaphone.fm slash channel slash Fresh Fit. I know that's a tongue twister right there, that's but the link is below. Get in there. Check us out. All the episodes are pretty much there. We're caught up, and we're uploading, I think, three times per week, Mo, right? Yes. Mo's in charge of running that, so um him and chris are uploading as many videos as possible ladies you can look at the screen don't worry about it we're so we're <laughs> yeah we're good for now uh and then also guys check us out on discord it's d- discord.gg slash fresh fit check us out over there if you want to chat with other supporters mods members of the team we're all there on discord also get the merch fresh store.com guys get all the t-shirts hoodies that you've come to learn and love with all the slogans you've come to learn and love and then also check us out on fresh fit clips guys we post clips on there three times per day man three clips per day on that channel if you don't got time to watch a full-on podcast and watch me lose my hair full-time you go ahead and watch me lose my hair quickly on fresh fit clips and 10 to 15 minute segment clips on there all right then also fresh has a vlog channel guys once again a uh, vlog channel is up um the whole trip from london romania uh back to miami is all vlogged on that channel check it out you legends as well for blind dates and instagram reviews if you want to get your instagram looked at i got you check it out hunter kind of way let's go and uh, you guys can check out my YouTube channel. It's called Feta 1811. As you guys know, I used to work in law enforcement, so I break down criminal cases for you guys. This weekend, I'm going to be breaking down the Jeffrey Dahmer serial killer case, oh, a.k.a. the shit. Milwaukee monster. I'll be going ahead and give you guys a different perspective on that. And also, I'm going to release an episode on um, a murder for hire that happened in the 90s. So you guys are going to get two episodes of Feta this week. I'm going to probably drop the Hitman episode tomorrow because uh, I have to do some editing and refilm it. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the Jeffrey Dahmer um, podcast live for y'all. We're going to go ahead and break down that case, all the victims and everything else like that, and break it down from uh, a little perspective you've probably never seen before. So anyway, uh, I guess other than that, anything, uh, Chris, you want to make, uh, Chris, I mean, Chris Mo, isn't here. Mo, you want to make Chris's announcement for him? <laughs> um, <laughs> ladies, if you're interested in coming on to the show, DM our producer, Aaron C. Poxon on IG, or um, or you can um, contact Anwar or Eric. Um, they're helping out in the Jeez. back. They're behind the scenes. So, um, so ladies. Aaron C. Poxon on IG. And you can also follow, you guys can follow me at Big Mo B I G M O <laughs> underscore B I T W. That's B I G M O <laughs> underscore B I T W. And don't forget the memo to believe in Big Mo because that is the MO. Shout out to Mo. He's wearing, he's wearing another hat today, guys. He's normally the sound engineer, but today he's doing the producing and the sound. And then we also got Eric in the back helping out as well. I see um, as well. Yeah, and I see. And everybody, shout out to Eric. One of our main guys that recruits the lovely ladies to come on the show. And we got Anwar, Anwar as well in the back. So shout out the whole teams in the house. So uh, cool. So okay. I guess. Uh, so ladies, uh, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, current dating status, education level. And if you want to, of course, your body count. And we'll start right here. Hi, my name is Sienna. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Colombia. Mm-hmm. I just moved to Miami a month ago. Okay. I'm a lawyer in Colombia and I'm also a singer. Singer? Hi. Yes. Sing a bar real quick. Y ando por ahí con los de siempre un flow cabrón dando vuelta en un maquinón cristales de cinco en un capsulón. Woo! Eric, is that good, bro? Eric, is that good, bro? 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, before featuring. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. I won't lie. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dating status? Single. Single? Cool. And then uh, where'd you go to school? I guess in, in Columbia? Yeah, I already graduated. Yeah. In Colombia, like, do they have like law school? Yeah, I'm assuming they have law school, and you yeah, but it's that. different because in Colombia, my best friend is about to be um, an eye doctor here. I know it's different. So in Colombia, we just do like general law, and then we master in something. Okay. Yeah. So do you have to still go to school and get your bachelor's degree for four years, or no? No, I already did that. Okay. So you, so you get your bachelor's degree four years, then you go ahead and go off to law school. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm a lawyer already. I just maybe I want to be a criminal lawyer. Then I have to master in that. So it's different. Okay. Mm. Uh, are you guys confused as I am right now? Okay. Because I'm saying you got your bachelor's degree. So you went to college for four years, right? It's not college. It's just one thing. I graduated high school. High school okay. And then you went to the university. And okay. that's all. And yeah. then you master in whatever thing. I mean, you want to be... I think the baseline is you get your lawyer degree and then each niche is specific? Exactly. Okay, cool. My, I, this my is friend different in Columbia. It's yeah, different. I, think, I think she got confused because I said college, but it's the same thing as university. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. okay. Then we're in the same Some page. other pl places call it university like only, but yeah. All right. So you did it for, okay. So it's a very similar setup to the United States. Yeah. And then you said uh, single. So highest, so master's degree for you. Okay. What about uh, you? What's your name? Hi, my name is Zoni, Zoni Smith. Um, I'm 30 years old. I, yes. <laughs> um, oh I'm in a relationship um, with my boyfriend, Steve. Um, Shout out to went, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> How long has it been? Um, it's actually gonna be a year on um, November 17th, so I'm really excited Aww. about that. Awesome. Um, and I went to the Art Institute. I have a bachelor's. I work um, in uh, marketing where I do I work with politics. I have um, clients that are Republican. Um, and uh, at the side, I do architectural photography. Cool. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? Mark? Period. Um, yeah, it's, it, what'd you major in? And you said you went to an art school, but what'd you major yes. in? Uh, fashion, mar uh, fashion, uh, marketing management. Cool. All right. Yeah. What about you? Hi, I'm Mitchie. I'm 28. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, I didn't finish my associates, so I guess just high school. Okay. And good. for my work, I don't. I mean, I do OnlyFans. That's all. Okay. And uh, single relationship. Single. Okay. And then, where are you originally from, by the way? Um, uh, Harlem, New York. Okay, cool. New York. A. Before, or after the gentrification. Uh, before, of course. Okay, all right. So, born and raised there, went to high school. Yes. Oh shit. Okay. Um, what about you? What's your name? Hi, I'm Naomi. I am half from Spain, half from Havana, Cuba, raised here in Miami. Mm -hmm. I have a double bachelor's, one in journalism and one in public relations and marketing. Nice. Um, How old are you? I'm 24. Okay. And what do you do for work? I'm a content creator and entrepreneur. I have my own makeup brand, Nana Beauty. And yeah. So what kind of content do you make? Lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. Like on YouTube, TikTok, what's your platform? Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Um, so and then single relationship, married, trigger daddy. No, no, single. <laughs> single. Okay. Yeah. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. And then what about you? What's your name? Hi, my name's Alejandra. I'm twenty four years old. Um, single, okay, happily single, uh -huh. and I am a content creator, entrepreneur, and have an OnlyFans. Okay, uh, when you say content creator, what are we talking? Um, lifestyle as well. Lifestyle. Yeah. Is that is that just another term for showing but showing ass or something? No, it's like <laughs> I right. do content for OnlyFans and okay. like TikTok. So okay, all right. In other words, she's showing us some ass. All right, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then uh, and then highest education level completed. Uh, high school. That's it. High school. Okay. And where are you originally from? Peru. Where did you do, go to high school? Uh, here. Okay, so you're yeah, from yeah. Miami. You look familiar for some reason. I don't know why. Really? <laughs> I think I know I why. From somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It's coming to me soon, but I, uh, oh I'll, I'll get to it. Okay. okay. I'll come back. Oh, uh, what's your Jones? Yes. There you go. There you oh, go. Sure. Gotcha. Well, I was thinking something different. <laughs> what had Mr. Jones? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Just, uh, yeah. I'm all right. Gonna watch this what about you? What's your name? Hi, I'm Pluto. Pluto. Okay. Um, is, that, is that your real name? Yes. That's fire. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, How old are you? I'm eight. Mm, 18? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what do you do for work and or are you in school? Yes, I'm in college right now. Okay. And right freshman? Yes. Okay. And I do content creating, but I also do hair and makeup. 
Okay. Various for parties, especially. When you say content creator, what kind of content are we talking? Um, basically, I just I post funny stuff. I make jokes, or okay. I I just show my face. So. Okay. Man, I wish I could just show my face and get <laughs> clicks. <laughs> yeah, All it's right. actually really fun. Okay, yeah. I, I'm assuming high, highest education level actually completed was high school, but you're in college now. And then, uh, where are you originally from? I'm from New York, but I've been here since I was 13. Okay, so New York. I, I consider you from Miami then. Okay, okay. and then um, single relationship. I'm single. All right, cool. All right, what about you? I am uh, Teresa. I'm uh, 22 years old from Orlando. I uh, just finished high school. Not just finished, but I finished 19? high school. 18 or 21, 22. Fuck. <laughs> 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 22, 22. Wait, so wait, hold on. Are you saying, uh, wait, so you just finished high school and you're 22? No, I'm 22. I did not just finish high school. I'm, oh. I, that's all I finished. That's all I did. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, I can see why you just finished high school at that point. Mother Teresa. Uh, okay, so you're 22, high school. What do you do for work? Um, I am an OnlyFans creator and streamer. Okay. Um, and uh, where do you stream? Twitch, Twitch or streamer? Yeah, streamer. What do you stream? To a, I play games. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, on, on Twitch. Yeah. No, and body count since nobody else said it. Fifty-six. Oh okay. shit! Oh, God damn. What? Okay. She All right. It. Oh, fire. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Now multiply it by two. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyone at the table beat that? I don't know. Yeah, y'all capping, bro. <laughs> One of y'all got that beat. Okay, and then um, Orlando 22. And then what game do you stream? Um, or games? I really like uh, Multiverses right now. It's okay. like beta, but it's fun. I don't know. It's it a lot is. of fun. I it enjoy is. that game. No League of Legends? Uh, I'm not good at those. Okay. Uh, I'm not good. Well, <laughs> well, if I'm going to be honest, most girls suck at most video games, so it's okay. No, it's don't very feel true. bad. Very Excuse me? <laughs> yes, girls suck at video games in general. Yes. I like Minecraft. No, I'm I pro respect on your Mario. opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's not really an opinion, it's fact. If you look at all the top gamers, they're all men. Here we go. Um, it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at the top gamers. They're, that's, that's undisputable. They're all men. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So it's not an opinion, therefore, it's fact. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about you? Facts can be opinions. Hi guys. So. Wait, wait, hold on one second. Stop the show. <laughs> <laughs> facts can be opinions. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the facts. definition of a fact is? Absolutely. Something that can okay. be changed. What, what is a fact? Something that can be proven and that cannot be changed. Okay. So what is an opinion? An opinion can also be proven and cannot be changed. Okay. So an opinion can be a fact. However, opinion can be wrong versus a fact is not wrong because it's the truth. See, you get it. So I just stated a fact. Most video game, most elite video game players are men, not women. And I agreed. I said, okay. okay. <laughs> That's not what you said at first, but okay. I said, okay. <laughs> All right. What about you? What's your name? Hi, guys. My name is Goddess Lowen. Uh -huh. I am from Harlem, New York. I am 28. I am a... Do Modeling, content creating on TikTok and Instagram. Okay. Uh, highest education level completed? I went to um, a two year college. I didn't finish um, LIM Quarter. College. Yeah, it wasn't for me. <laughs> okay. And um, I went to school for fashion. Okay. Single? I am newly single. Yeah. Oh, shit. Woo! <laughs> All right. So you, you just broke up. Who broke up with who? Um, he broke up with me. Oh, shit. Okay. So tell me one thing you did wrong in the relationship and tell me one thing he did wrong in the relationship. It was really just distance. So. Okay. One thing you did wrong in the relationship and one thing he did wrong in the relationship. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, I mean, one thing I did wrong. Mm -hmm. And one thing he did wrong. Just one thing. That he knows. <laughs> uh, I mean, you don't have to know. Okay, so one thing that I did wrong was I would uh, consistently go through his phone. Okay. Um, did he know that though? No. Okay, we need something that he knew, which is why he broke up with you. He broke. It was just distance. We just. It just didn't work out. Are you yeah, sure? I do this for one of his distance. Yeah, because <laughs> when when, he lived fun. here and then he moved to New York, so he's just been like to and from. So it just so what he go to the bathroom and be like, "Yo, got his phone now, my yeah. turn." <laughs> in <laughs> other words, yeah. Okay. okay. And then what did he do wrong in the relationship? Oh, right, here we go. Um, he was 
faithful, it looks like, because you would have been all about, <laughs> hey, I found a bunch of bitches in his phone or something. I mean, no, he wasn't faithful. Oh, so he wasn't? that's why. So that's yeah. why? I thought it was That's something that he did. No. Yeah. Was he just something like talking to other wrong. girls? Huh? Was he just ta like talking to other girls or liking pictures? Like, what are we talking here? Um, Like texting other girls. Okay. Damn. Maybe they were just friends. Wait, is this guy have a passcode <laughs> on his phone? No passcode. No I knew his password. Oh, okay. Uh, you one of those? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. All right. Uh, what about you? What's Hi. your name? Hi, I'm Fabiola. Um, I'm from Canada. I moved down here. Is that your real name? Yeah. Okay. How old are you? Thirty-three. Oh shit. Uh, and then you're from Canada. What part of Canada? Montreal. Oh shit. You speak Red French? Flag. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, and when did you move out here? Um, two years ago. Oh shit, she's corrupted then. Red flag. Uh, I have a jet ski flag. rental business down here now. Okay. So slip and slide jet ski rentals. If you want to come slide on the water with me. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, what's your highest education level completed? Um, I did high school. Okay. And then single relationship, sugar daddy. Um, I'm actually talking to someone. It's been a few months now. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just put talking to someone. Are you still entertaining <laughs> other options or no? No. Stop the cap, man. <laughs> no, for real, it's going really good, and I'm really happy. All right, nice. So far, so good. Good for you. Good for you. Right. good for you. Did you meet him slipping and sliding on the jet skis? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a yes. All right. All right. What about you? What's your name? My name's Savannah Cannon. I'm 19 years old, okay. and I'm from Chicago. But I moved here about three months ago. Okay. Um, Savannah Cannon. That sounds like a porn star name. Are you on OnlyFans? I am. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, and let's see here. So that's what you do. I completed high school. I'm in college online right now. Okay. For Phoenix, political science. University of Phoenix or something or what? No, it's a small school in Indiana. I was just kidding. Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> so in college and then in relationship, what are you? Absolutely not. I'm single. Single. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Fresh. You got it? Yes. Uh, so um, we got some chats here, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'll read some of these chats and then we'll get into the first question. Yeah. Uh, we got Griel's uh, vision goes. Uh, Big Mo, she's so icy. Shoddy, the official. Oh, man. This nigga's in Spanish. El mundo no está no, listo. Uh, no. El mundo no está listo para <laughs> lo que viene. Oh, shit. Come on, oh, <laughs> okay, Miss Columbia. Damn. Oh, go ahead, finish. Oh, finish That's it, yeah. so okay. hot. If you're going to interrupt him. Big Mo, well. The hash, do I have to say the the tags? No, I just no. go, yeah. El mundo no está listo para lo que viene. Shout out to Rod Cedric for making it possible. Number one mod. No se les olvidan el memo a creer en Big Mo porque eso es el mo. He doesn't, he doesn't make sense. He's <laughs> bad with grammar, so. <laughs> <laughs> you try to say Spanish is trash. I, I, I don't know if he's Colombian. I, I don't know what is. Is he Mexican? He's, he's, ha he's half Colombian, half Salvadorian. Oh, okay. Oh, Maybe that's go. why. I don't uh, know. A Cartier goes, I'm the guy talking about the double date age of consent in NY 17. They are 17. I just turned 18. So we chilling. I'll see you up soon. Thanks for it all. All right. All right. Good, man. I'm glad. Uh, just make sure you also check um, Romeo Juliet laws just to be extra, extra safe. Yeah. Fresh BBC. Shorty next to Fresh. Listen, we're going to take you out to eat. But your only dose of protein is going to come from me because we eating healthy tonight. God damn. Okay. <laughs> a nice salad with water and that's all you get. And Fresh, make a move. All right. Do you have anything you want to say to Fresh's penis? Bro. What the fuck? Okay, the face says it all. Uh, no, two bucks fine. from Sergio. <laughs> all right, thank you. Um, BBL refund department goes, will you recognize a man on his way up as a keeper? Mm, that's a strange question. Uh, Myron, ask Fresh if he went to the gym today. That is not my friend. <laughs> I did not go to the gym today. Eddie White, uh, Wine Hosen Jr. goes, let me answer every question for you. It's 2022. Okay. Rate the girl next to you, and how can she improve? Oh, shit. That's a good one, actually. <laughs> let's get it. All right, let's start right here. So right here, and how can she improve? Hi. One out of ten. Oh. This is gonna be fantastic. Are we being brutally honest? Are yes, brutally really, honest? this is welcome to Fresh and Fit, where we're <laughs> brutally so honest. So honest, it might hurt a little bit. Yes. Okay, I think you're beautiful, but I don't think lip, lip injections are necessary that much for you. Okay. Okay. Because I think you're beautiful. You have a beautiful face structure. You don't need that. Oh, Thank good. you. My last lip injections was like six years ago. Wow. <laughs> so most of it is mine. Impressive then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. What what now, now you got to go ahead and criticize the girl to your left, and then don't worry, okay. you criticize her. Yeah. Hi. I'm not gonna talk about um your looks. I'm gonna say if you don't have 
uh, the trust in a man to be <laughs> gonna be locked oh, No, so he didn't what? say that. They did not say that. No, no. they one said how could she approve? It's one out of ten. Really? It's based on looks. Yes, yeah. well, 100%. I think you're a ten. I think you're beautiful, and I don't see nothing wrong with you. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Come on, come on. Everybody has flaws. You gotta get. Yeah. You gotta yeah. get. Oh, I mean, yeah. okay, to improve. Yes. I don't see nothing she can improve. Like she's beautiful. Thank you. Bro. You're welcome. Bro, this is why girls stay mediocre. Yo, come on, man. You got yeah, you, you can keep it a step. You gotta, okay. keep, ah. you gotta be honest and say something. Tell her the truth. I think she's this keeping is it a step. Men and women. Guys can easily look. Oh, bro, your shirt's fucking dirty. Or you're are you fat, nigga, or some <laughs> shit. Girls have a t- terrible time criticizing each other. So criticize her. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not gonna do that. You you do it. Because with me, it's 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 not important. The people want to see the girls criticize each other because there's a bigger picture here that we're gonna establish. You're feeding into it right now. You're proving our point right now with your response. I'm really trying to find something that I don't find. Okay, so she's a 10. But give us a... Okay, give us one criticism. I don't like your earrings. There you go. (laughs) Bam. Jesus. All right, what about you, girl next to your left? What would you have criticized her? One through 10. Yes. Give a rating and then one critique. One through 10, I give... And no offense. Keep it close to the mic. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Um, I would say a six. Okay. I don't think... Solid. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need um the lip going on. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um also I think the lashes are very heavy. Okay, All right. Gotcha. I got them done for this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because your hair is is like yeah. blonde and it's your lashes are black. Makes sense. Cool. Okay, gotcha. All right. What about you to her? I say this with all the love in the world. Okay. You're gorgeous. Ten out of ten. And you guys wanted me to be a little you know, so I'm gonna be a little. Go for it. Maybe, but this isn't like related to looks. It kind of, I mean, it kind of is. It's important. Maybe invest in a stronger deodorant. <laughs> that, that sounds really mean. <laughs> that sounds really mean. But they wanted me to be honest, and I'm. That's as honest as I'm getting. All right, real nigga time. All right. <laughs> what about what about you to her? <laughs> Do I have to do her? Can I do her? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Angry. This is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. We'll do an audible. You can say something back to her, but it can't be just hateful and angry. It's got to be a legit critique. You can't say, bitch, fuck you. I All right. And then, and then you got to criticize her next. I can, t- oh, I can shit. take it. I can no, Then you got to criticize her left. That's your left after. Okay. <laughs> well, overall, if I'm being honest, one through ten, I think you're a good six. Yeah. Mid. I feel it. Mm, if you say so, yeah. But Wait, I think is it should... that way? Oh. No, no. I'm I'm doing an audible here so she could just oh, okay. say something. And then okay, okay. she said she got to critique critique uh, <laughs> Mr. Jones next to her. Finish her. Yeah, go ahead. But your makeup is a lot like really cakey. You know, it no, makes you look really old. You know, I get that oh, a lot. Shit, yeah, oh, shit. I get that a lot. And okay. you know. Since we're going to somewhere, all right, you made your one critique on you. That's it. She made one critique on you. That's it. Because your thong kind of like it's folded really deep in your ass. That's because it's big. No, it's not that. Oh, okay. And it has a little stain on it. I'm sorry. My 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 thong. I mean, it's black. No, it it has a because your your dress is see through, so I can see it. Uh, All right. That's it. Okay. (laughs) Now, Mr. Jones, go ahead. Tell her something. What's one critique for Mr. Jones? For what? Like oh, me? Wait, you got to tell her. Oh, you're calling her Mr. Jones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or I Alejandra. Uh, Do I critique her? Or yeah, she you critique, critique her. And then she's going to critique the girl to her left. Go ahead. One critique. You're really pretty. I don't know. She, but she's, she's really pretty. Um, <laughs> bro. <laughs> one critique, man. <laughs> Um, Maybe say her shirt sucks or something. Is this Hawaiian punch? Doesn't. Like, come on. <laughs> something. I'm not a liar. Um, hmm. <laughs> Bro, I literally can't think of anything. You're really hot. That's it. That's it. All right. We will not continue until you give one oh, critique. Come on. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, you're really pretty, but you have flyaways. Okay. A fly what? <laughs> on her hair. Flyways. 
Like What's straight, a flyweight? Straight hair that sticks upwards. Sticks oh, upwards. Oh, 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 okay. That's okay. literally it. Okay, all right. Because you're enough. bad as fuck and you're really gorgeous and I don't want to be pinned against you. You're Thank fine. You. I never heard that term before ever, but okay, okay. she got flyways. <laughs> uh, what about you, flyways to her? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, she's a 10, 100 actually. Okay. Really? Oh. Oh. Of course. Maybe she would look better all black. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it would have only... sent that word. Gray, your color. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Or, or what is that? Gunmetal or something? <laughs> gray. Literally, yeah. I don't know what that <laughs> is. Like okay, gunmetal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's your yeah. critique of her? Oh my God, she's just so sweet she's and her smile. Mad. I don't know what should I say to her. Maybe. Um, <laughs> it's so hard. Uh, maybe you could wear the same dress, uh, maybe black or red, because okay. I think it will look super sexy on you. <laughs> black or red? Okay. Yeah. She's, she's saying less pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you? Um, to her. Hi. Um, <laughs> I would have preferred your hair to be curly, but I give you like an eight. Okay. Critique her on exactly oh, what your hair is. Fantastic. Oh, and uh, what about you to her? I think you're. I think you're a nine. Okay. I think she's a ten. Now give one critique. Oh, hey, it's not your turn. I think she's a nine. Go ahead. Oh. Now give one critique um, to her. It's kind of hard. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like. You look presentable, obviously. You have a nice outfit. Um, I don't know. I feel like your makeup looks good. It's kind of hard. Jesus, you've seen and all the girls criticize know, each other for the Barely. past like 10 minutes know, and you know the camera was coming to you. Come I know, on. I know, I know. But like I'm looking at her. She's dressed like, you know. <sighs> Come on, man. One thing. Why is it so hard? Because we're all bad. Yeah, it's no. hard. No. Well, her, for her specifically, it's hard. I can Speak judge the yourself. other women, but for Columbia, her. Columbia, don't disappoint really me. You better good. have some for her. Go, yeah. Please, something, one thing. I think her nails should be longer. I'm sorry. No, your nails are done. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Seriously. Because if it was the other way, I would have said, no offense, but I would have said to dress more like appropriate. You know what I mean? But yeah. But for you, I feel like you're. you're We're talking about hoes. <laughs> yeah. Talk about looks. Still waiting. No, to dress more appropriately. There's Still a stripper waiting. pole in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Still waiting. Please, one critique. Jesus. Uh, is that your real hair? Can I take it for her? Oh my god. Okay. I hope Jeez. <laughs> okay. Paula, <laughs> well, you're I'm disappointing sorry. us, man. All right. Maybe wear lip lip gloss? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Jesus. But she has sorry. lip gloss on. That's no, it's lipstick. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. <laughs> Miss Chloe, it's a her. Nice. What do you got to say about Chicago? Mm, well, you're hot. What do you rate her out of 10? <laughs> Pero calma, calm, calm. <laughs> <laughs> Like a nine, the, on, the only thing, maybe it's the lashes I don't understand so long, but that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. And I I'm going to give you I a treatment for the, My hair. for the end. I've never gotten mm -hmm. it done, so I don't know. Why I'm going to give you the it. treatment. Okay. <laughs> You're hot. Thank you. <laughs> what did I say? Nine, ten? What do you want to do about it? <laughs> ten. <laughs> oh. 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 You into girls? No, but I love them all. That's a big topic. Man. I'm into you girls. Wish. I'll okay. take no. <laughs> no, no, no. And Miss Columbia, you have a little something here, by the way. <gasps> the girls can help you. Where? Don't they? You, on, your, on your left side of your face. She got you. Harlem got you since Where? she loves you so much. On, oh, the, on her left here, thing, yeah. it's leaking a little bit. Yeah. 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 No, other side. Other yeah. side. Yeah. Other yeah. side. Yeah. 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 But also, uh, Go he, he can remain feisty. He doesn't need to be calm, okay? It's all good. It's all good. That's how we run the show. But yeah, you want to fix that right there. Okay, so, okay, where are we at? Um, Chats? Yeah. Okay. So, Got, ladies, what that experiment basically proves is that women have a very difficult time criticizing each other. Yeah. Um, versus when men get in a room and we got to criticize each other, it's much easier. But with girls, you guys are so concerned about each other's feelings and not yeah. hurting each other, etc. And uh, only one girl at the table was able to do it, you know, unapologetically. And she's a content creator, so she gets mm. it. But the rest of you guys were so worried. And it just goes to show what we always say women typically don't want confrontation. So thank you for approving our experiment correctly. You're welcome. I don't think yeah. that's true at all. Me neither. At, at all. I think he kind of proved your point when you got upset, though, after I said what <laughs> I said. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't really upset. It's just like, I feel like we should be able to conversate about it. No, I feel like we should be right. able to go back and forth. I mean, yeah. I like that. No, you're right. You're I wasn't right. really upset. If I was upset, I would have told you. But it's like, no, since 
I think it's already a given that women are emotional. So we would be more controversial. Like we would have more controversial opinions and get offended I think it's more. The opposite. Okay. It, it, they can have an opinion, but they wouldn't state it is my point. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, know. I, I probably that's wouldn't true. have said that had you not asked me to say it. So yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Well, that's women are far true. less confrontational mm-hmm. than men are. And there's a bunch of <laughs> biological reasons for that. The only reason you responded to her in the way that you did was in retaliation. However, when I went to, I told you to criticize her, it took you forever to criticize there's her. There's nothing. There's but that's, nothing that's, I that's what say. I'm trying to say. It proves our point. You right. only retaliated to her because she said something about you. She right. could slap me in the face and I'd be like, uh, uh, you're rude. <laughs> like, literally, I would have nothing to say about her physically. So why do you... What? You just, um, no, okay, sorry. okay. <laughs> yeah. Queen of contradictions. Uh, we will continue on. Uh, all right. So the chat is always writes two bucks from Machiavelli. Cool. You need to fight for a woman's slaughter to be a crime. 40 bucks from Eddie uh, Weinhausen Jr. Okay. Uh, 10 bucks from K- King uh, McChee. He goes, it's always the... BW. The BW. No matter how much I love them, they are the problem. Just watch. It's going to be silver hair. Please prove me wrong. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> Let's do this again. Marriageable man or Instagram. Pick only one to keep. All right. You know right, what? We can go. One. Yeah. So I'll ladies, start here with Columbia. What are you going to choose? Ultimate decisions uh, choice here. Marriage? Or Instagram from it with an average guy. Yeah, marriageable man, okay, five cool. foot nine, fifty k per year. Good guy, marriageable man. Him or your Instagram, pick one. What do you mean, like a uh, success on Instagram? I was like, no, your Instagram. Keep your Instagram page, all your contacts, all your guys, all your people you could talk to, or just one guy that you marry. That's average. What is average? Five foot nine, fifty k per year. Average. Yeah, average man. If I love him, and I can be stupid in love. I'll choose him. If I don't love him, I'll choose my Instagram. That's <laughs> easy as that. Um, you see? So you have to love him <laughs> uh, to choose him and then Instagram. Of course. Would you marry me if it wasn't for love? Of course. Well, a lot of well, women get married me. and don't I need passion. Love. I need passion, connection, love, good sex, amor. I okay. need that. If I don't have that. I'm going to just do a quick litmus test here. Do you think love is unconditional or conditional? That's a good question. Let me think. Hmm. I think it's conditional. Okay. All right. What about you? Marriage. Uh, marriage. Okay. Marriage. What about you? Marriage. With an average man. Yes. Yeah. Five nine fifty k per year. Yes. Don't lie. Okay. Like when I get out of the shower, he you know lays out the towels and my feet aren't wet. You know that's love. Oh yeah. really? Okay. All right. <laughs> what about you? Marriage. <laughs> Miss content creator. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. What about you? Instagram. All right. <laughs> what about you? Someone keeping it real. Marriage. Okay. Why was there a pause? Marriage. I think it's cap, but that's it's fine. It's not. <laughs> Instagram. Okay. Oh, Marriage. Five foot eight, fifty k per year. Marriage. Okay. Does I your guy right now? Is your guy right now average? Um, he's above average, but we both make our own, so we're good together. Hold on, so he Instagram. can't ride a jet ski. He can't drive a. <laughs> what do you mean? He's inexperienced. Oh, that's fine. She'll teach him. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I make my own, he makes his own, and we put it together. We're good. What about you, Chicago? I would choose Instagram because that's how I make money. Okay, cool. Respect Fair me. enough. Okay, that was that was an interesting uh, turnout right there. Uh, marriageable man, or no, read that one before. Okay, baby, please come back. It's so hard being a single mom, and Junior needs his father because he's becoming a delinquent. That comes from Myron's baby mama. Uh, fuck you. I don't have any baby moms. <laughs> Black is Panther. My lovely queens, do Wakanda proud tonight. Please don't meet Frank Wakanda forever. Okay, thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. Insider joke. Willie's uh, 1010 goes, ask the girls to name a country in South America. And Myron, can you do the clown dance before the show ends? It's been a while. Okay, oh so God. we'll start right here with Miss Chicago. Name one country in South America. Shoot. You saw, you saw her face. She's like, what the? <gasps> what is South? I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Africa. Fantastic. Okay. Name one country in South America. Mexico. Fantastic. <laughs> what about you? Brazil. Okay. Name one country. South America. South America. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Italy. Fantastic. Okay. What about you? Pyro. <laughs> Splendid. Mm, Pyro. Bolivia. All right. Belize. Okay. El Salvador. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nicaragua, Guatemala, Venezuela, right. Costa Rica, Panama. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's kind of a cheat because that's, that's our own yeah. uh, continent. Yeah. That's like me not being able to name states, but okay. Actually, she said Nicaragua. <laughs> okay. It's in Central America. Yeah, that's and it. And El Salvador, that's also in Central America. Well, yeah, that's true, actually. 
Uh, <laughs> not South Africa. South Africa. Africa. All right. Uh, reform my super chat if show is canceled. Okay. Uh, hey, Myron, mods keep timing me out. They've been posting ro- broken Discord invite for months. Please post a valid one, my G. Also, G19, G17, or G43X. It depends on uh, you know how much you want to, how much ammunition you want to carry, and how important concealment is to you. Uh, the G19 is a good uh, middle ground, though. Uh, we don't wipe these 304s. Do these girls know that friends only a guy isn't a consolation prize? Do him a favor and cut him off if you truly want what's best for him. Real quick, I'll go mm-hmm. around the table. Do you have a guy in the friend zone? It will start uh, right here with Chicago. Yes or no? A bunch. Okay. What about you? Like friends? Yes. Yeah. Guys? Yeah, friends. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, mhm. Mhm. Yeah. I can't think of a friend I have. Guy friend. <laughs> no. None? I can I mean if you give me my phone back I might but no one texts me like I don't have a friend. Okay. But you don't have guys that you like talk to every now and then or no. mm, interesting. I don't. I'm okay. in a relationship so no. Does your boyfriend not allow? Um, yeah, he does not allow. Okay. Uh-huh. Damn. Uh, okay. Crazy. Okay. Does he watch our channel? Yes, he does. Oh, real <laughs> nigga time, baby. All right. And then, wait, you said you don't have any guy friends, right? I don't. Okay. Fantastic. All right. What about you? <laughs> okay. Yes. You have guy friends? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Now, uh, do you fuck your guy friends? Yes or no? No. No? Well, you don't have any? You, you don't have any, allegedly? Never. One. One time? One, one of them, yeah. Well, he ain't a friend. Do you guys still talk? No, it wasn't good, so I just cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Yeah. Okay. What well, like but then he's not a friend though. We're talking about platonic. Platonic. Like, I can definitely fuck somebody and still be platonically okay with them. Are you aware that the definition of platonic is non-sexual? No, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you, but I guess not him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll just move on on this one. Um yeah, uh, okay, so we got five bucks. Uh, don't wipe these three or fours. No, read that one before. Ladies, if you have hurt in your heart, let it out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a oasis in here, bro. That's from Michael Kinonis. D. Howard, welcome back, brother. Question for the ladies who have kids and who's watching the, your, your kids? Anyone here a mom? No, it's no. a dog. No. Mm-hmm. Okay, no one here is a mom. I have a cat. <clears throat> People call me mommy. Alejandro, you <laughs> shaky. Oh, okay. Okay. African black statute. Okay. Uh, shout out to Aaron for finally streaming on YouTube. Okay. I don't know. Aaron. Okay. Oh, I mean, he thinks he means Chris. And then Chris has peanut butter pox. Okay. <laughs> That's some patient Jack. All right, okay. fresh. Hit the first question. Okay. So, ladies on the panel, right? We're out here in the, in the data market. Guys are doing their thing. Girls as well. From your humble opinion, why do you think girls cheat? And we'll start right here. Because they don't love the guy. I genuinely think that when a woman cheats, I'm not saying everyone, mm-hmm. but it's because, um, have you ever heard of the word Tusa? Like um, when you break up and then you're like so sad and you, you pass like this face, like crying, like mm-hmm. this grief. Depression? Like this grief after a breakup. There's five stages. <laughs> so when... I think um, in my last relationship, I, I, I went through that phase during that relationship. So when that the relationship ended, I didn't feel anything, nothing at all. No one tear. I suffered during the relationship. So I stopped loving him during the relationship. I think that's when a woman is more, you know. When there's no love from. Yeah. Her. Okay. What about you? Uh, if women cheat. No. Why do you think women cheat? Um. I think I, I believe it just depends on the situation. Um, so, for example, if that woman is not faithful to her man or um, maybe she's hurt, but. So you think if the woman's hurt, she's, she's going to cheat? Um, I think I think it depends on the, the situation. So if we're like generally speaking, but if you, for example, if you're in a committed relationship, you have respect for your man, you. You know, you value your man, you're not. I just think it depends on who it is. Okay. So she's hurt and she's not really feeling valued. She'll cheat. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you? I think we crave attention. Mm. That's a good one. Okay. I was going to say the same one because I feel that if you're in a relationship and the guy like doesn't pay enough attention to you, you will go because of our egos, women, we want to feel sexy, pretty. So you will go to try to find like a better option, even if you love the man. Mm. But at least you will think about it. Maybe you don't go and you do it, but at least you will think about it. So let's say the guy okay. is working. He's very busy. He's a successful entrepreneur. But he can't be home all the time. Would you still consider that as 
Tamchi? No, because I mean, if the communication is good, um, yeah, I mean, I give you my time when I can. You give me your, the best that you can. So then I value you because you're, you, you know, you're trying to make a living and provide for for us. And you know, yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, I think it's because of two reasons. One, the sex just sucks, and they're just tired <laughs> of it. Or two, because they're just fed up of all the stuff that. They've put a woman through. I got fed up one time and I thought about cheating. I didn't do it, but I was just so like, oh my God, you've done so much to me. Now it's my turn, like out of anger. So you, you never cheated? Yeah, I have. Just <laughs> once though, but. Yeah, for a bad wait, you just, wait, so you said you thought about cheating and you didn't do it, but you really did do it? I'm confused. Well, I thought, about, I thought about it in one relationship, okay. but I oh. cheated a long time ago. Like I cheated once, yeah. So you fucked another guy? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that was an L or a W for you? Um, it was a W because he cheated too. <laughs> <laughs> so we're both even. So, so do, do you think? Do you think when you're with a guy and you cheat on him by fucking another dude that it's a W? Like you, it's getting even. You think that's a win for you as a woman? I mean, I felt better. I didn't feel as bad when he told me what cheated on you. I'm like, yeah, I know that's what I cheated on you. Just in case. I mean, does yeah, it feel damn. good to eat cake? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but is cake good for you? No. Okay, just saying. It was better sex though. <laughs> you have a past of uh, bad sex apparently <laughs> okay all right fantastic what about you we can change that <laughs> i think women can cheat out of anger and i think that women can cheat because they want they crave affection <clears throat> okay that's real i think women cheat because I don't know. I'm I I'm I'm actually an, an old cheater, an ex cheater. So I'm trying to dive deep mm -hmm. and think of why I I, I did it. And I guess it it's dive just, deep. Dive deep. I guess I just I, I get bored, you know. Okay. It, but I, someone else said it does depend on the man. If you don't love the man, mm -hmm. yeah, you're gonna step out. Like you're you're gonna have temptations, thoughts, feelings. You're gonna want to step out. That's a good point, though. Boredom. That's a very good point. <laughs> what about you? I think women cheat due to temptation. I think that um, there's been. And this is some women, not all, but like, let's say, you know, you go on vacation and, you know, like your man will never find out you might just cheat. That you girl's know? trip. Ooh, yeah, that's a it, big one. Some women are, are treacherous. So, you know, Miami trips. <laughs> <laughs> it, Question for you. If you were a guy, would you allow your girl to go on a girl's trip out with her ladies or no? Never. Yeah. I oh. would. Hell no. Nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let her answer and then we can If go I were a man, would I, um, no. You wouldn't? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Um, so, okay, so you're saying temptation. All right, cool. Yeah. And then I'll pose another question to the ladies after this. Go ahead. What about you? Why do women cheat? Um, I think why get with someone if you're going to still cheat and call it a relationship? Okay. But why do they cheat though? Um, I guess because they do get bored or the man doesn't give them enough attention or doesn't um, show them enough um like care attention okay you know all right what about you i think we're always comparing other men to our boyfriend if we're in a relationship okay mm. i when i was in a four-year i would always compare him other people and i just wanted the validation that knowing someone else was better gave me a reason to leave mm. okay mm. Do you make, does that make sense yeah yeah, 100%. yeah. yeah. um <laughs> now who do you think well before i ask this question uh because you guys all wanted to answer this anyway so i'll give you the chance if you were a guy, would you let your girl go out on girls trips with their friends to vacation destinations like Cancun, Tulum, Miami, Vegas, etc.? Yes or no? No. No. Hundred percent yes. You would let them, okay? Yeah. Like okay. I said, why get in a relationship if there's no trust? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. What about you? No. No. Yes. Yes. Fuck no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. No. Yes. You would allow? Yeah. Even if I trusted him, no. Well, it's a, it's, it's a her, I would hope, unless you're gay. Remember, you're the guy and you're letting your girl. Would you let your girl? Yeah, she's not. You're not letting her? Okay, what about you? No. No? Yes. Yes, okay. For the girls that said yes, let's start here. Why Why yes? Why would you allow your girl to go on a girl's trip with, with a bunch of friends? Because if I'm a man and I want to keep doing things with my homeboys and I want to keep having a life and a certain lifestyle that I'm living, going out, I don't know, camping, fishing, uh, trips and shit. Of course, I would let my girl do it if I trust her. Like, why? Do so you think men and women are girl? equal? Um, yeah, kind of. Really? Like, do you? I'll do me. Just like keep the loyalty. So like, your foundation everything comes is, back around. So your foundation is men and women are equal. That's what. That's the basis of why you're saying if he could go fishing and do his thing, I should be. You know, I should let my girl go out and do her thing. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, who else said yes? You said yes. Why? Um, yes, because I mean, like, like she said, yeah, no, don't get in a relationship if you're not gonna, if there's no trust there. And two, like it. It's important in a relationship to have extracurricular activities and to go out and meet people and do things. And, you know, it's important so to do that because then like, you're too stuck in the relationship. So it seems like your foundation is also because men and women are equal? Or am I incorrect there? Uh, I'm, nowhere did I say that. Uh, nowhere did I'm I say that. I'm summarizing why you said what you said versus what uh, you said. Uh, uh, I'm getting to the root cause of why you're saying what you're saying. Like her argument is, well, fishing trips, etc. So I came to the conclusion it's because they're, they're equal. So what is your root? Uh... My, it, I think it's just important to socialize. It, you get depressed in relationships if you don't socialize. Well, why socialize people? in Miami, Vegas, Tulum, and Cancun? <laughs> why can't you socialize in your own hometown? You're not wrong. I feel like change of scenery is nice. I like to travel personally, and if yeah. my man told me that I couldn't, I would laugh in his face. Okay, you would travel anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for you, it's about, you? I guess, independence <laughs> at any cost. No, because I'm not an independent woman. Or so, I don't think. I mean, by by your actions, that's basically what you're saying. Oh, okay. Okay. So then, yeah, independence. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do what I want to do regardless. So, okay. What about, about uh, who else said yes? You said yes. Why? Yeah, I said yes because I'm thinking. For me, like, let's say I'm a guy. I'm dating myself. Like, I'm yeah. a guy. I'm dating a woman. Like, it's me. No, we gotta go in general. Yeah, no, not you. Well, I mean, if I'm a guy and I'm with you, first of all, I need to trust you. But I feel like if you're not doing anything wrong, maybe you go to Tulum for like a spa. Every time I've been to Tulum is for like spa, meditation, and all this chilling. Mm -hmm. So I never go to see to look at another. So men, men. never approach you when you're in Tulum. They do. Okay. But and they even offer to pay the tables and yep. this and that. Yeah. But I say no because if I'm in love with you, uh -huh. like if I really. First of all, I don't need anything from any guy. So if I'm with you, it's because you're you're like the man I want. Okay. So I want to be with you. Why would I cheat? Why would I, you know? So I'm thinking like. Remember, hey, we're speaking in general, not just you. Yeah, but if you if you are a man dating this crazy party girl, uh -huh. then you're the problem uh -huh. because okay. you cannot trust her. So what would you date someone like that? Date someone that you can be chill if she goes with her friends. To but like can't you weekend. argue the fact that she wants to go to Tulum and party in Miami and Vegas, etc., makes her a party girl by default? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost. So? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you see where we're going here? Yeah. Thinking, yeah. So Still yes. <laughs> yeah. Still let her go. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the logic doesn't add up. Okay. Well, uh, did you say, you said no. You said yes, Columbia. Depending Why? Depending on the reasons. <laughs> I think love grows in the absence of the person. When you set someone free. Okay, get an Airbnb down the street. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. No, but it's true. Uh, when you set someone free, sp um, I think they start feeling safe with you. They start okay. feeling like you are their safe place. But why Why Miami, So if I, if I cut someone's wings, I'm like, no, you're not going to do that. You're not going to. I'm not. If that's not a relationship. That's a prison. <laughs> what if he tells you, you could do whatever you want, but when you come back home, we're not in a relationship anymore if you want to go to that place. Then oh, he's well. not the person for me. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so, real quick, because a lot of you guys were saying, um, you know what? I won't go there yet. I won't go there yet. I, go I, ahead I and ask the second question. Yeah, ladies, let's turn it around now. Why do you think guys cheat? We'll start right here. Oh. oh. I think they cheat just to cheat. I think <laughs> it's in in... Just in a male in general, I think it's a natural thing men do, and I think all men cheat. So, question for you. I feel like it's you. a powerful thing. It's a question for you. If you meet a guy today, he's all your, all your requirements. He cheats on you. Are you gonna stay? If we discuss that, it's an open. I'm totally op open to that because I don't want to be taken. I would have to discuss that before the relationship. If we if we agree that it's open, then it's open. Then I have no reason to get mad at you. I just want the truth. So you're okay with it? Absolutely. Okay. How about open on his end, close on yours? If he's taking care of me financially and emotionally, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. What about you? Why do guys cheat, in your opinion? I think a lot of guys want to get pussy. <laughs> so they get with a girl and get the pussy. Okay. And at some point, they're tired and they don't know how to end the relationship, I guess. And they just go and do their thing. And then someone gets hurt and is definitely probably not the guy. Because, you know. A lot of guys play their games to get to what they want, right? And yeah, so they end up cheating. And did, that, did that happen to you? It did happen to me before, but hey, you live, you learn, move on. 
I was gonna say. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got a little something right here. Yeah, I know. It's an icky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what about you? Why do guys cheat? Um, I think guys cheat because um, it's a power thing. I think it's um, kind of... I'm an alpha male. I'm powerful. Yeah, it's like it, it gives them like some type of energy. Um, I think all guys eventually do cheat. Um, I don't think it's possible for one guy to be... 100% faithful to one chick for the rest of his life. Okay. So. What about you? Why do you guys cheat? I think men cheat because they want to find the tightest hole that they can find. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, Exploring. <laughs> what about you? I think guys cheat for like ego and availability. Literally, just if they find something, they're going to stick their dick in it. (laughs) And like for the ego thing, like if they find somebody hot enough, they're going to be like, can I fuck that? And then they're going to go find out. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, I think it's because men are just horny as fuck. They're like corn dogs. Like to me, I feel like men are naturally more horny than than women. I, but I like I feel like there's two different type of men. I've met men that is like I want to just fuck all of you, and then I've met men that are very selective about what mm. the fuck and who they fuck. But it's just naturally mm-hmm. men, mm-hmm. which is they're just horny. They're like constantly like oh, bougie. Dick. I've seen crazy stuff. Okay. <laughs> what about you? I think because they need probably more physical touch, similar to what you said, more physical touch than us. We like more like words and this and that. Mm-hmm. And probably because if they are like weak and easily influenced, let's say they want to prove something to the friend. Oh, she's not controlling me. I can, I, I, I still have options. The immature man will would cheat a lot. I'll say. The immature man? Yeah. You think it's immature for a guy to cheat? Kind of, yeah. I mean, what would you risk, uh, like, a really special bond? If it's the person that you see yourself, like, forever, let's say you fish your wife. Question like that. for you. Is it immature if a woman wants attention? Depending, yeah. If you're, like, just, like, a like childish, like, I want attention all the time, not thinking, like, logically, like, he's not giving me enough attention at this moment because he's on this project, on this and that. Would it be yeah. immature for a woman to go out dressed sexy when she has a boyfriend at home? Would that be considered immature because she wants attention from other men? I think it depends on what do you consider sexy because you can be sexy. Showing and cleavage, still showing elegant. their figure, etc. Dressing in a pro, uh, in a fairly provocative ma- fashion, would that super, be considered immature? Super pro- provocative outside. Or pro- provocative to yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think you should do it if you have a partner. Okay, but do you think that's immature? Uh, yeah, because okay. you want more attention. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You need so you, attention a lot. Okay. What if you just like looking hot? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can look hot. What if I want my own attention? I think the chat sees what I'm doing yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about you? Um, I feel like it feels really good and they just want to conquer it and they have no emotional ties to it. So it's like they didn't even just do it. Okay. It's just a feeling. Okay. I just think with the thing. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Same. I think men, um, they see beautiful women, they get tempted. So temptation. And um, I believe like, you know, when they get horny, they just want to nut off. Um, it's not necessarily like a special bond. It's just more of sex. Okay. Uh, what about you? Why do men cheat? I think guys feel sometimes overwhelmed in their relationships. They feel trapped and okay. they want to find a way out and they cheat and no strings attached. Let's so assume they, Let's assume they weren't trapped and they had a good girl. Do you think they would still cheat? If they are really in love, they won't. Really? That's what I think. Okay. Because right. uh, okay, so real quick for the ladies. Is it worse when a man cheats or when a woman cheats? We'll start right here. Mm. It's the same. You think it's the same? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Woman. Okay. A woman does it out of emotion, yeah. yeah. So it's worse when, okay. Who's it? What's it? We plan it more. So I think, yeah. Because <laughs> you can worse. do it by on instinct, but we plan it. Okay. Really so therefore it's worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what about you? Yeah. Women? Definitely women. Okay. Yeah, women for sure. Okay. Women. Okay. I think it's the same. You think it's the same? Men and women are equal? I think Men's it's equal the same. here. <laughs> okay, it's the same? Okay. What about you? Women. You think it's worse than women do? Emotional creatures. Okay. okay. I got a question for the ladies real fast. Also. Okay. Um, yeah, there are emotional men. Real fast for the ladies here. Would it be fair to say that women are emotional? 
Yes or no? Raise your hands. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Looks like it's universal. Okay. Would it be fair to say that women are spontaneous? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In general, irrational yeah. or yes. spontaneous? It's spontaneous, <laughs> right? Like go with the flow. Like, oh, this yeah. sounds fun. Yeah. Spur the moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Would it be fair to say that women are fairly influenced by their friends? Yeah, absolutely. No. Yeah, it depends yes. on the person. No. They're close yeah, friends. It depends yeah. on the person. They're close They're friends. friends. No, it yeah. depends on the person. In, in general, it depends in on general. the person. Well, you're okay. a mixture of the five people you're closest to. Okay, cool. So it looks like only one person disagrees. Would it be fair to say that? Women in general are free spirits and fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, here's the thing. A lot of you guys said um, you should let your girl travel, right, to a certain destination and trust her. Well, what I just described are a bunch of traits that make someone <laughs> prone to cheating. Mm-hmm. So I would argue you've got to treat your girl to be a what? A woman, which have these traits right here. Emotional, spontaneous, heavily influenced by friends, free spirit and fun. These are all traits and characteristics of someone that is willing to cheat and or prone to cheat. Mm-hmm. So wouldn't it be fair to say that you got to protect your girl from herself? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. So for all the girls that said yes, going on a girl's trip, now that you know these things, why? how can you justify letting your girl go out on a girl's trip? Go ahead. You started. You said no immediately. So Because you can't put a number on somebody's personality. Like you're never going to be able to survey as many people there are in the we planet. We never put a number on. It's not like I'm going here in spontaneousness. You're 99. Like, it's not like you're saying like the majority or whatever of yeah. the the numbers that you have. And you know, it's I didn't okay. state any numbers. I just said in general, women, but, a lot of women have these traits. Okay. So how did you find out they had those traits without I asked surveys? The panel. Is, wouldn't you need numbers for that? <laughs> I asked the panel and <laughs> wouldn't you need numbers for that? This is the sample size right now. Yeah, this is the sample size here. Yeah, and we can easily and the majority of the women agreed with what I was saying. So we can easily extrapolate this group, put it out to the general masses, and it would probably be fairly similar. Well, regardless, it still depends on the person. OK, exceptions don't make the rule. You do understand that, right? Regardless. What? You can still like you can still be different. Like certain things just won't Again, apply. exceptions don't make the rule. Okay. So if women in general are emotional, spontaneous, heavily influenced by friends, free spirited and fun, these are all traits that are prone to infidelity. Especially if you add in the factor, the X factor of alcohol. So mm-hmm. my argument is, how can you justify? Because you're saying trust my trust me. Well, I can trust a woman to be a woman, and all these traits right here are not necessarily conducive to a good relationship. When not she's abroad, because not all it's women. Not a, no. Okay, so your argument is not all women. Which is, okay, fine, fantastic. That's exception. What's your I argument? Think like her also, we can't agree Exceptions? to what you're saying because maybe we don't think like that, so we don't want to be like, yeah, all, all, most women are like that, or like in general. Mm-hmm. It would because be if like I know that, I'm like that, I'm yeah, not going to assume every like all exactly. the rest. Well, of ladies, you got to again at the top of the podcast. I literally told you the world does not necessarily revolve around you, and a lot of people. If you're an exception, fantastic. But that's not women in general. We're speaking generalities here. How would I know that? Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Okay. Also. Well, if you don't know, then you don't know. You chose, don't speak And on I it. also don't know if the majority of women are like that because I can't go around to the majority of women. Rewind the show out. literally 60 seconds. <laughs> A lot of the girls here agreed with what I said about being emotional, spontaneous, that's heavily influenced by friends, here. free spirit. I didn't. Mm. That's still, again, that's... Wait, you said you don't agree with that? No, those, yeah, okay. those, those looks like attributes for a CV, like a you, a, CV? a resume, <laughs> whatever, you know, a, a resume, a like, oh, I'm pretty spirited, <laughs> um, respect, a curriculum, I'm respectful, <laughs> I'm spontaneous, I'm hard worker. That looks like a personality. I don't say anything attribute. here about hard worker. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, is that in general, women have these traits. So I'm saying these traits are not good. For someone that's going to go to a destination where there's a bunch of temptation, alcohol, etc., with her friends, a lot of cheating happens in these major cities. Okay, so, mm-hmm. huh? <laughs> so just because a lot of cheating happens in those places doesn't mean. Well, if there's a high likelihood of something happening, wouldn't you want to prevent it? Okay, so there's a high likelihood of a lot of black people committing crimes. Are you going to be like, no, you can't come in this place because you're black? Like, are you, you're, you're more likely to commit a crime? Like, are you mm. like, what are you going to say? Like, you can't just go off of these things and then completely stop people from doing things that they want to do because you oh, no, think no one said we're going to stop her. Just you like, said protect them from themselves. Yeah. How can you protect somebody from themselves based off of what you know from other people? If you know the person, general. if you know the person that you're with, 
Mm-hmm. Then you go off of what you know about that person, not about the other characteristics that fit some type of yeah. Well, here's the feature. thing. A girl that really loves you, that takes you seriously, wouldn't want to go on a girl's trip mm-hmm. with her friends to a destination that is prone to infidelity. Without you. Yes, Without you especially. They, they would. They could. They yeah. really can. Yes, it, they it's can. It's not because you're spontaneous, you're fun, you're outgoing, that you are a cheater. That mm-hmm. you are going to go and cheat. Not because you like to drink. or because Just because you okay. have. So you guys are saying there's a chance that it might not happen. How about this? What if, you know, we went uh, skydiving and I told you, listen, man, just so you know, your parachute has a 50% chance of deploying. Would you jump out of the plane? No. Would you? Jumping out of the plane is not the same as... It, no, hey, hold on. I'm going to explain it here in a second. Would you jump out of the plane? <laughs> Shit, I might. You, okay, well, that's you. Fantastic. You don't care. But most people would not jump out of the plane. And what I'm arguing is that for men, men take on way more risk when they get in a relationship with a woman. So my thing, I look at it, if I'm going to potentially you know, take this girl seriously, give her a ring, give her marriage, give her children, and she can go ahead and divorce me and take all my shit. I need to vet pretty seriously, you shouldn't I? give wait, wait. somebody those things. No. You Excuse me? Definitely I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who gets down on one knee and proposes? That can be anybody. I actually have an aunt that proposed to my uncle. Let's operate in reality. Um, this is reality. To women. This is my reality. As <laughs> okay, well. there's one reality. And you can. You can't. Okay, hold on. Um, you in general, don't just stop give interrupting people. me. Answer the I was question. Talking first. You know, I don't care if you were talking first. So answer I the question because you're just you. you're just talking now. Okay, talk. speak. In general, who gives the relationships? What? Who, who gives? Gives the relationships and the security. The man. What do you the mean? The man gives does. relationships. Yeah. Women chase a last name after who? Yeah. The man. The what man. You, Thank you. What do you mean by gives relationships? Are we living in a like like, like ask are you guys out? are we having the same conversation, ladies? Like I think y'all are see what I'm saying here, yeah. but she refuses to acknowledge it. If I'm asking you to explain yourself, just explain yourself. It's just I'm just asking. Not really, you're not asking because these, this is common mean? sense. What do you mean by like relationships? Women control sex, men control relationships. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Even the girl here, the girls here at the table. No, are, but no, no. Fifty uh, fifty. I mean. Fifty fifty. I mean, my mom has always said to me, like, a woman builds the house, the home. So a home is healthy if the woman is healthy, if she has... A What's your dad's last name? Carrascal. What's your mom's last name? Garcia. This doesn't go she by last she name. Take, she no, she didn't in Colombia. We don't do that. You guys you don't see? take last names? No, she has her... Uh, <laughs> Did your dad get down on a, ri- on a knee and give her a ring? You know, actually, I don't know that story. More than likely, he probably did if they're married, right? Yeah, but that doesn't mean he owns the relationship, baby. What? No. <laughs> Are you aware of the fact that, like, men lead, women follow, and relationships has been that way since the beginning of time? Mm-hmm. Agreed. I get that. Okay. It's just that it's a 50-50. It's not 50-50. Have you seen, That's like, this? It's not 50-50. No, it's not, like, 50-50, like, oh, you give 50, I give it. No, not, not in that part, but in the way that uh, a house... <laughs> Yes, it's true. A house is healthy when the woman builds it. Like you give the home to the woman, but you the woman gives, by, you on. give the house yeah, to hold the on, woman. Hold on. You do realize by having different roles, inherently you are not 50 50. Yeah, do, I agree do, with do that. You do not understand. We're on the so same that's page. It. That's the end of the conversation. No, no. There's not 50 50. You give the woman the house and she gives you a home. You're, you're a lawyer? <laughs> Yeah, you're a lawyer. Right. <laughs> bro, bro, what the hell? You're a funny lawyer. It, like, you can't be 50 50 when you have different roles. That doesn't make sense. 50 50 is we're straight down the middle. I'm same roles, we do the same exact thing. Financially, I'm not talking financially. I'm talking a relationship cannot exist. Like, you don't own it if she doesn't let you. Mm. Mm. Beam. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Mekaka. And yes, I'm no, a lawyer. Because the man gives the relationship. <laughs> mm-hmm. The woman mm-hmm. gives the sex, the man gives the relationship. The man provides the security. And that's the how title. It that's and true. The title. But if she lets you, yeah, the you can give her security, one, but she won't but the stay woman is if the she one don't that want wants to. Security. She's the one that pursues it. So you, if she wants you, you give her, and she accepts it. She, if she doesn't, it's not gonna happen. You do realize by her being with him in the first place, it's already uh, implied. Yeah. At, so at your that point, point is, your point makes no sense. At that point, you're right, but she has to let it happen. <laughs> okay. If a woman is with a man, yeah, she's already demonstrated to some degree that she's willing to accept security from that guy. At that point, it's on the guy to choose when he wants to commit. When because okay, he already because men have to put the work in first to get the girl. The girl exactly. has to put the work in after and the, the end exactly. to get and the then, relationship. And when you pass that that phase, when they commit, okay, he got in one knee. What happens next? You're missing the whole point of the conversation. There right? are men that are pursued. 
What? What? <laughs> there are remember. men that are pursued into relationships. What? That shooting happens. What I feel like it's there more are okay. there are a lot okay. of, there are men that are submissive and there are men, uh, women that are more and dominant. those relationships don't work. Yeah. Says who? They don't. Says me. <laughs> Good okay. message. If I took one hundred yeah. women, if I took one hundred women and I asked them, do you want a submissive man or a dominant man? Ninety-five of them are going to say I want a dominant man. Like a hundred of them will. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm That's, trying to be nice just, here. <laughs> What it just depends? Like I you said, keep making arguments for the exception. You're just no, making arguments for the exception because there are men that are pursued, and there are men that want. And there are minority. The me, the oh, men okay. that are submissive that you're talking about that are that are have relationships with women long term that actually last are a minority. Most women want a guy who's a leader, uh, authoritative, yeah. knows what the hell he's doing, confident, ambitious, etc. Yeah. They don't want a pussy that's going to sit there and listen to a woman. That's why I always laugh when women say dumb shit like 50-50. There is no 50-50. Women want a guy who's in charge and knows what he's doing. Yeah, so therefore, it cannot be 50-50. I agree. I never yeah. said it was. <laughs> when? When did I say it was 50-50? You were agreeing with her when she was saying it's 50-50. No. But I'm I not said, saying 50-50 no, like you think I am. I agreed when she I'm said literally that. taking what you're saying, exactly no. what you're saying, 50-50. First, calm down. You have a different... Okay. First of all, I'm, uh, listen... I'm saying I'm I not want... gonna I'm gonna speak the way I speak. Don't tell me to calm down okay. again on my own show. Because you're gonna get angry. I'm not angry at all. I'm extremely calm. Okay. But I'm conveying a certain thing and you are not listening. You're just speaking to speak and you're not actually listening to understand. There's a difference. Okay? Do not tell me to calm down on my own show. This ain't mm -hmm. your show. All right? Don't forget where you're at. And you're not angry then. Not angry at all. No. Extremely calm. Just letting you know the rules here. Does he look boundaries. Are you a dominant man then? I think you've established that already <laughs> in your head. That's why you want to establish here I think that you've you're already a established man? that in your head. So oh, wow. anyway, going back to what I was saying, you can say what you want to say, but at the end of the day, if you want to jump out of a parachute plane, 50% chance you're not going to do it. So, so what I'm saying is to bring this all back together, as a guy, it's in your best interest to not allow your girl to go to places that are not conducive to a long-term relationship it's where not, she can cheat on you. I mean, agree to disagree. And when I agreed with her, I said I agree that the relationship can't happen if she doesn't consent to it. Exactly. That's what I mean. That's what I agreed to. I didn't agree to 50 50. Exactly. If she's in a relationship with the guy in the first place, she's going to want commitment to some degree. That's what she's going to so want. And so is he. If the Not whole conversation is about letting her go to places that are so called prone to cheating, then he's going to want her to stay she's she's gonna have to commit to him to stay in the house not go to those places he's gonna want commitment that is commitment yeah no that's her being loyal that's commitment and not being promiscuous and not doing things that are promiscuous <laughs> and in somebody that isn't promiscuous is a committed person to their relationship and that is what you want right here's the thing commitment sexually men want commitment sexually women want commitment emotionally in a relationship so you're telling me we're very different in what we look for you're fine with a woman that doesn't love you but as long as she's tooting that ass up you're fine with it she stays home just a, like a just a regular i don't know like a sex tool that's it that's it's, it's not about that it's about when a woman respects you that's the foundation everything else builds upon that if she respects you she ain't going to go out to those places the foundation is loving somebody and woman cannot love a man unless she respects him first you miss a step regardless. what i mean I still a woman doesn't cannot make love a man she doesn't respect. So you don't look for commitment yeah, in true. a relationship. Yeah, a woman cannot love a man she does not respect. So okay, everything you're saying you're is right. a whole point. You're right, but you so don't. So she's going out to the to certain places that are not conducive to a relationship. She does not respect that if man. If that right. man is okay with that, then why can't she? Most men are not okay yeah, with it. Not. That's my point. <laughs> is your man okay with it? Wait, what? Letting you go places? Yeah. If you I, promise you. See, see, I promise yeah, you. I promise you. If no, I set that guy aside, here's the thing. No, There's a difference between no men and women. Friends, so I don't this ask. is a difference between men and women. I promise you, if I asked him, hey, listen, bro, ain't nobody going to know. Would you prefer your girl to go to on a girl's trip to Miami or be home with you? He's going to say, I prefer her to be home with me. Mm -hmm. The yeah. problem okay, is this. No, 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 most guys, sense, stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting okay. me. The reason is that most guys don't have the balls to tell their girl, yo, I don't like this. I want you, this is what I like and this is what I don't like. Most guys don't want to lose their girl so they'll let her do what she wants because they don't want to be called toxic, controlling, or an asshole. Go ahead. I definitely agree, but that's because if you love somebody, you're going to want to spend like every day with them. But if you also love somebody, they have like a girl's trip, a birthday trip or whatever, you're going to want them to have fun with their friends. Like you're not going to want them to like be locked up. Locked what if the friends up? are well, single? Right. What if the friends are single? Or mutual what friends? if they aren't? Yeah. 
So what if it's like going to London or like Australia mm-hmm. or like wherever? No. You guys are talking like more like Miami, yeah. Vegas. Well, that was a question. Kansas. That was a scenario. We live in Miami. That was a scenario. But there's fun everywhere and there there couldn't be like temptation anywhere. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if you're in Miami, Vegas, But you're making or yourself available. So when you travel abroad, especially with your you girlfriends. Need- oh. Let her speak, please. Go ahead. When you travel abroad with your girlfriends, you're making yourself available. So when you're walking, for example, or you're sitting at a restaurant and a guy passes you and he's like, okay, I want to take the bill or whatever the case may be. That's going to be very uncomfortable for you, especially if you're in a relationship exactly. due to the fact that you respect and you value your man. Now with you, I don't, I don't know like how you are, but I personally, I would not go on a girl's trip just due to the fact that I have a, I have a boyfriend I and I respect I respect him and then on top of that like I said before I'm not making myself available mm. powerful agreed yeah and not I'll, just I'll keep it a thousand. when you make yourself available as a woman that is cheating yeah that is cheating whether women want to accept it or not you're not the ones going to approach the opposite gender you make yourself available then the opposite gender approaches you mm. so by default mm. we, we're not the same at all which is why I laugh at this 50 50 thing that you yeah. guys are trying to say we're not the same at all when women get pretty for a reason, you get pretty, men approach you, that in itself is cheating because you're going out for the purpose what? of getting attention. Some girls sit there and say, oh no, I do it for myself. Okay, then dress up, wear makeup, and sit at home. I'm right. We do it. I think we, we do, do that sometimes, but I don't have to agree with you. How often, though? I do that very often. Do often. Do often. Really? That's, that's how I but lead that. to end up doing like TikToks and stuff. Or well, like, Don't go up there. Just stay home. But if I specifically <laughs> gave a, a example of my friends having something, okay, my man's at work or something, he can't, he doesn't have the, the funds or something to go with us to that trip. I can't bring him along. And I'm not going to miss out on my friends, like special things. I'm not making myself available by partying with my friends. I could stay home in my little, not stay home, but stay in the hotel, stay around them at the pool. Like I will only talk to them. Like, I, if somebody glances at me, I'll literally just look straight forward. You do realize earlier in the show, we asked the ladies, why do women cheat? And a bunch of women said attention, correct? And temptation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, anger. Mm-hmm. So knowing that women want attention, why? W- <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, see, go ahead. Here's, here's a scenario, right? And this, this happens all the time. We're out here in Miami. We travel as well. Mm-hmm. What happens is you go on a trip with your girls. You might be faithful, but they're single, right? Mm-hmm. And. It just so happens that they get lit. Girl, I'm lit as fuck. Da, 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 da. And then <laughs> niggas pull up. Yo, come to the table. You go to the table. You're still faithful. However, you drink a little bit too. You get lit as well. Girl, lighten up. Your man ain't here. Fuck that nigga. He probably cheat on you anyway. Those are my you know, friends. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying how it goes. You know what, girl? You, you might be right. And then slowly but surely, you give into it. No, you're not a bad person. But the environment, your friends pushing you, the pressure. Fuck it. He won't find out. Yeah. So it can happen that way. We're just saying... Why put yourself in that scenario where it could happen? If you care about your, about your man, at least. You know how you Why? can avoid that? No, oh, tell me. By not having friends that peer pressure, do you do that? Okay. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so this is just an example. Let's say as w- women, we all go out, like to piggyback on what you said. Mm-hmm. Let's say you go out, you're with your single friends, they twerk and they doing whatever, and it's guys from across the room, they are just looking at a group of girls so whether you may be the faithful one and like the other four girls are single it doesn't matter you still look out there you still look like you're available even though you are technically faithful in a relationship whatever to the outside like mm-hmm. what the guys are looking at is like oh no nah, they're all they twerk and they must be hoes whatever so you can still give off that vibe that's like no i'm 100 percent faithful to my man i love my man blah, blah blah but to the outside what men are looking at them like oh yeah they for the streets like right. you know right. so that like that's why Keep i wanted to, to that's why i wanted to piggyback on what you said because sometimes it's not well it's not always peer pressure but it's just what the outside is looking at you know what i mean yeah, yeah. And, and, and the thing oh, sorry go ahead continue you have anything else that you want to add to that no. Oh, I was going to say men have a very strong stake in their girls' reputation and not embarrassing them. So mm-hmm. going out with your girls to certain locations looks very poor on the man. That's why I'm saying, like, back to what I was saying with you. Oh, if I asked your guy, hey, would you be OK with your girl traveling or would you prefer to stay home? Nine out of 10 times are going to say I prefer she stay home. It's just that most guys can't be honest with their girl and say, yo, I don't like this because we live in a world now where telling women anything is considered misogynistic or insecure or toxic. Men can't have boundaries with women anymore. 
And I would argue that's a big reason why women walk all over guys and why so many girls aren't satisfied with their boyfriend because most boyfriends are fucking pussies and don't want to tell their girlfriend the truth. I'm not telling you to control your girl, but what I am saying is to control your own life. So if your girl says, I want to do X, Y, Z, and you don't like that, you tell her simply, fantastic, you can go. But if you go understand that you are effectively single once you walk out this house mm -hmm. and she's got a choice to make, but you're not going to sit there and double dip and be act like you're single while I sit at home like a fucking retard. That's not the way this yeah. goes. I agree. So that's how that's yeah. my thing is I have strict boundaries with women and you have to have these boundaries so that she respects you. The problem is that not enough women respect their men. And once a woman doesn't respect their man, the love is gone. That's, that's why I was telling you before. Respect is a necessary component to get love from a woman. Because as a man, you're looked at as a leader. That's why I don't listen to you guys with this 50-50 bullshit. Yeah. Because women don't want a man that's their height, makes their same money, and their strength. They want a man that's taller than them, makes more money than them, more confident, more ambitious. So by default, we are not equal. So when you expect me to sit there and consider you an equal 50-50, when I have to bust my ass to attract you in the first place, fuck out of here. That's not the way the world works. Men lead, women follow. It's been that way since the beginning of time. And I, I feel like it's also because since men are like naturally like horny all the time they, they're at the beginning at least they they stop everything they're doing as far as like going out with their boys and like they stop the horse date and they just settle with you so i feel like once you're in a relationship like you gotta settle down i go party i go here i can go wherever but i'm single once i'm like i'm in a relationship i am with a partner now there's certain things you just you just can't do to have a healthy relationship you know what the scary mm -hmm. part is i tell girls this all the time with men women curve you overtly men curve you silently and what i mean by that is if you're with a guy and he starts to see certain traits from you and he thinks that this might be a good girl she might be the one and then you do some sh certain shit you might go out to the club you might hang out with certain girls that don't have a good reputation whatever it may be he's just going to silently put you in a sex only category yeah he's never going to commit to you or take you seriously mm -hmm. and the sad part is you'll never know why you'll go on tiktok crying trying to figure it out why the hell is he <laughs> never responding to me why won't he take me out blah 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 it's because you probably did something that he didn't like that made you look like a whore and then he's like you know what i can't commit to this girl because i'm going to embarrass myself so he just gives you the bare minimum to continue to get sex and you never get a relationship and you'll never know why versus women y'all gotta let him know listen i'm not interested overtly because he keeps hitting on you or you just ghost him whatever it may be but in general guys have to curve girls secretly so that they can continue to get sex mm -hmm. Yep. And girls don't know this stuff. They think it's okay to grow on girls' trips and do all this extra shit. Guys just are going to vote with their attention and how much they give you. And ladies, you, so, can, you can do whatever you want. We're just saying the reason why guys won't tell you is because they're still getting sex. They're still getting what they want, but you don't know why he, he won't marry you. So, right. Right. yeah. yeah. It is. But guys can't be honest about this stuff, yeah. which is why this podcast is so popular, because we tell girls finally for the first time, yo, this is how men think. This is what men typically want from women. And these are some things that might disqualify you from a serious relationship from the guy. You know, he just ain't going to tell you. He's just going to give you the bare minimum from that point. I'm going to keep fucking her and put her in the sex-only category. Basically, he can get milk the cow without buying the cow. Yeah, exactly. For free. And for you ladies, your job is to get that cow sold, goddammit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't want to give the milk for free forever. Facts. So, um, so, I have a question. Go ahead. So, say she's going to the store or whatever. She's going somewhere. Is she making herself available? You know, I was going to say that. You know, <laughs> she, she's going to the store. Like she's yeah. trying yeah. to go outside. Yeah. Like so she's so walking outside again. trying to get her mail. You so, know? So now like, she's single. You're bringing it to a more general idea. Yeah, we're talking about going to Cancun and Tulum and environment. You're not in the city. Well, I live in Miami. So it's it's the same place that people visit to go shake Do you want to be a hoe? What? Do you want to be a hoe? Um, no, I don't think so. No, okay. So, if you go to the store, so hits on you, are you gonna cheat? That's not my question. I know, but I'm asking you a question. No, good. So, what are you arguing here? I'm saying if I go to the store, am I making myself available? Like, am I if I'm going to the store and I don't like looking any type of way stepping outside? Okay, so the, if I'm going to the, the store point here, oh, no, go ahead. If I'm going to the store, or even better, if I'm with my man, we're going out on a date. And I look good for him. And the people are completely not even looking at him, just looking at me. Am I am I disrespecting him by looking? Bro, you're trying to conflate going on a girl's trip by yourself with your girlfriends to a destination known for promiscuity, etc. with going out with your guy on a date dressing sexy. The two are nowhere near the same. You're just being antagonistic for no reason. No, yeah. that's, that's, is, there are two completely different things. Going on a date with your guy and dressing sexy with him is not the same whatsoever as going on a girl's trip to Miami, Cancun, Tulum, etc. And that's what we're making the argument on. It's unacceptable for a woman to travel with her friends that are single 
to destinations that are known for hooking up. I literally live in Miami. You're with your man, though. I mean, <laughs> bro, okay. <laughs> bro, some what the hell? <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> uh, yo, let's kill the Facebook chat, tw f Twitch chat, and the uh, Twitter. Hey guys, like the video. Yeah, the like the video because well. I'm going to lose more hair follicles. We, we, we only have 13.9K <laughs> watching, but only 4K likes. No, we got 14,000 plus watching. Yo, uh, we got 14K y'all between all the platforms watching. So go ahead and like the goddamn video. Subscribe to the channel because this hurts my hair. Um, all right, so we had some chats we had real quick. Yeah, uh, killing the uh, purple killing the pill Twitch. pod says, Shout to FNF Dallas and Rod Eric for coming on my panel tonight. Thanks, Fresh and Myron, for inspiring us to make this move into YouTube's bear. Good job. Um, but does that answer your question? It's not the same, basically, is the answer to your question. Going to a, a girl's trip is not the same as going on a date with your guy. I'm going to the grocery store. I look good. I'm not cheating. I'm not making myself available. I'm not disrespecting him. You're not him. making yourself look. You're not out there like, hi, I'm single. You know. I mean, you're yeah, I'm not some, doing that. Some oatmeal, exactly. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, are you dressed just, modestly? Like, looking. that matters too. Like, you, are you sexualizing yourself going to the grocery yeah. store? Yeah, no, you're not doing What that. if I'm dressed modestly on the girl's trip? Girl. Come on, man. What if I, <laughs> even the girls are looking know. at you like, like what's going what on if, here? I, like, what if I want to do like a nice business casual or whatever? I mean, like, I dress for myself, to be honest. I like to express myself through my clothes. I love fashion. So if Breath. I'm just I just feel like there's no Breath. temptation Breath. there. Like if I like looking good for myself and I want to go to the store, I'm like, oh, I like, you know, I like the way I dress, <laughs> then okay, so well. Do you do you seriously sit there and say i get dressed for myself and i look sexy for myself oh i'd be in the God. mirror seducing myself i'd okay. be in the mirror looking so good. real quick after today's show are you gonna go to sleep dressed like that with the hair and the makeup and everything else like that Why and the clothes beyond that Why would I if go it's to for sleep? you if it, that proves my point you're not gonna you, you don't dress like that for yourself because if you did you dress up like that and go to sleep like that and everything but do you guys know it goes beyond yourself? that have we you ever do, not one hundred percent of the time? Uh, no, no, of course, of course, not one hundred percent of the time. But like, there are a large amount of times I just want to look good. I think if there were no men on the street, we we women would not go out with full face makeup and high heels Thank and you. a dress on. I'm there was a well, street full um, of women. Me, I would not. me yes, personally, I'm I'm I like girls too, so that's not even. But like, I'm just saying in general, I feel like the human mind we naturally we naturally even if we don't think it or believe it we have to understand their perspective basically they see us well, what are we putting makeup on for right. my girlfriends see me without it why do they need to see me with it mm -hmm. if there was a, a, a street full of women we would we wouldn't wear makeup or we wouldn't wear as much at least Can well i like i love art and i love drawing and stuff so when i do my makeup i think of it like art like i literally think of it like me on a canvas we're not talking about you we're I, speaking I, in general all right go ahead columbia i just wanted to tell her my go perspective ahead, Go so ahead, I okay. know, you know, a lot of facts, but one thing I know for sure is that a woman that doesn't feel good with herself, we're doing this too superficial, let's go deep. When a woman doesn't feel good with, with herself, with her body, and she looks at herself in the mirror, and she's like, I don't like this, I don't feel secure with myself, try to get her do an orgasm. She can't. When a woman doesn't love herself, like she feel hot with herself, like she looks at her and like, oof, I'm hot. I love me. Just by looking in the mirror. Come on, girls. That's true. I have like, yeah, that's true. When you of look course. at porn, who do you look more? The girl. The girl. The girl. The girl. The girl. The girl. Wait, wait. We're proving a point. I'm proving a point. Since you call me that, I'm not a lawyer. I'm proving a point. <laughs> so you look at the girl, right? Mm -hmm. Because that makes you feel hot. Because you're thinking, oh, I want to look like that. Yeah, I want to feel like that. Right. Yeah. So when you feel good with yourself, you're gonna you do feel your makeup. Good in you're sex, gonna... and that reflects on sex. Yeah. Right. So when you put makeup on, sometimes it's not for them, even if it's hard for you to believe. If I don't feel good with myself, I won't ever feel comfortable in a date. I won't ever feel comfortable talking to a guy. That's why we wear and do makeup accordingly. No, but not superficial. Mi amor, not superficial. I mean, deep. When you look at yourself in the mirror, naked. So are like we sometimes, in a novella right now? Sometimes you just want <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm hot. Like, wanna, exactly. But wait, you want to have sex with a guy because you want to feel pleasure for yourself. You want to feel yeah, hot yeah, for yourself. They, that's what they do. But what if sometimes I just want to fuck myself? 
Exactly, right. because you feel good with yourself. And that yeah, goes. If I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm yeah. like, goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm, exactly. So that's like, why you put on makeup, even though you're not seeing anyone. For some of us, put up makeup, that's why, do my hair, and I just look in the mirror, and I'm like, and okay, I'm not gonna I look lie. good. I do it for them too. We do it for them no, too. No, of course. Of yeah. course, there are definitely times where I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna look good. Yeah. So. All right. So okay. number one, a minority of women watch porn. In general, women don't watch porn. Uh, and if it's, it, yes, that is true. Because I'll tell you this: you watch if porn? we went ahead, have you watched porn? <laughs> Why are you asking? Yeah, here's the thing: what? women in general don't watch pornography. Facts. And if you don't believe me, if we went ahead and said, you know what? Let's make the only people that could watch porn what? women. <laughs> the porn industry will go bankrupt tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's number one. So it's a minority. Okay, number two. Oh. You can say women wear makeup for themselves, but the reality is women make, wear makeup to attract men and to compete with other women. And a byproduct is they feel better about themselves. That's the difference, and that's a very important distinction. Because let me get, let me make sure. Let me let's be honest here. None of y'all are putting makeup right before you go to bed. You all put make you all take the makeup off before you go because to bed. Because it's bad for your skin. <laughs> okay. Do you know what I wear? Well, hold on, hold on. If it matters, retinol oh. in, a, in a cup. Okay. I retinol. I. I wash my face. Oh, but, I wear retinol. It makes you feel like, better, though. Why not just keep it on? What do you mean? Why, why not just keep the makeup on? It makes people. you feel better. That's not how makeup works. It makes you feel works. better, though. No. That's people. not how makeup works. Just, it makes you feel better, That's right? That's not how it works. No, 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 I'm just saying I'm taking her argument. No, She's saying that she wears makeup purely for herself. So what I'm saying is that... That's not what we said. That's not what we said. We did not say purely at all. You say Wait. you do it for yourself. You you wanna First, you want it to be just there. one answer. There are different times where we do it for there ourselves. There's not just one answer. Love is not black and, and then... black and, and white. There there are gray areas too. Mm-hmm. It's not just for themselves or for ourselves. We have our reasons. Every case is a case. It's a case. Mm-hmm. The predominant reason why women wear makeup, dress in certain ways, put themselves in uncomfortable dresses, heels, wear makeup, extensions, all this other stuff, and put yourself in extreme discomfort is because you want to attract the highest caliber guy you can while simultaneously competing with other girls and let them know that you're better. Because here's the thing. When girls get together and they have like a little tea party or whatever, they're, you know, wearing sweatpants. They're more relaxed. They're not necessarily going to, the, you know, dress to the nines. It's, mm. it's not the same. So you can sit there and say, oh, I wear makeup for me. None of y'all put on a full face of makeup and go to bed. And if you do, there might be something wrong there. You take the makeup off. Mm-hmm. Then when you go out into the world, you put the makeup back on. But no, no. I can put on makeup. Just like look at myself in the mirror, oh, take God. it off before I go to bed because you know what? I don't want pimples. I want to look good tomorrow too. Right. If we could sleep with our makeup and wake I think up we would. tomorrow, we would. Yeah. I think you're True. saying that general community. It's we do. Kim K does it sometimes when she has a body. Beauty shoot. sleep has no value then. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Uh, so where are we at here? Those symbols were corny. <laughs> Uh, first time uh, tuning into the live after hours, but from what I've noticed watching the past shows, the cutest lady on the panel tends to be the most delusional. <laughs> Thank <laughs> right. you. And we're going 20 and up, uh, guys. So we got here um, 50 bucks. Make no mistake, this is the official rating for tonight's episode. Sienna 8, Zoni 5, Mitchy 3, Naomi 4, Alejandro 6, Alejandro 6, Pluto 1, Teresa 4. Thank you. Goddess 5, Fabiola 4, Savannah 3, PS Chick- Chicks from NY have the Worst pH. What okay. The fuck? Anyone have anything they want to say back to Yves Simonis on his ratings? No. Thank you. Thank you. It's with an X. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Bryce. Uh, Bryce goes, shout out FNF's uh, big support from Montreal, Canada. Okay. Someone else here from Montreal. The Europe content was great and inspiring. Right. Keep up the great work. Uh, no. Uh, was great and inspiring. Keep yeah. up the good work. One million on the way. Bye, Myron. Can you break down uh, Hot Boy's case? He was a great guest earlier this year. I mean, it's a state Rico. I mean, that's... Uh, I mean... Maybe in the future. 18-year-old gray hair. Why'd you do Ariel the Mermaid like that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Is it because she's black? Corny. No. Next. The I hair. think he's talking about the villain. It's the, yeah, it's the hair. The villain, yeah. Ursula? It's Ursula. Ursula. Yeah. Oh, she's bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This episode is sponsored by Old Spice. <laughs> what the fuck? Yikes. 56 bodies show <laughs> violence <laughs> tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Let's get ready to rumble. rumble. Okay, this is from way before. All right. If Pluto needs deodorant, imagine what her pH is. Oh, God. Okay. Real good. And you'll never get to feel it. Okay. Martin, you already gave one girl Listerine. You got some visitor Old Spice. I, I think we do, actually. Um, where we at? Girl in the middle with the bad smell. I got a critique. Leggings are for your legs. So what you... <laughs> What's your stomach doing in there? <laughs> what the... My stomach is in <laughs> I called it Pluto is evil. Okay. Um, let's see here. 
Tell Miss Musty to stop talking, taking everything so personally and get up and wipe her armpits before she fucks up the cameras. <laughs> you want to do it for me? Yo. Yo, niggas is ruthless. Yo, ruthless, bro. Uh, one to three hundred bucks. Thank you so one much. Uh, marriage is IPO for women. Two, divorce is cashing out. Three, children produce passive income for women and enforced by the government. Yeah, that's all I'm saying, ladies. Like for men, we take way more risk when we get in relationships with you guys and or marriage. So I look at it like I got to select a girl that I'm with very heavily. So if she wants to go on a girl's night, oh, fantastic. You're not, you no longer qualify for a relationship with me, at least. And I would argue most men feel this way. They just can't put their foot down and actually enact on it. How about so dinner? does she have to let you go on a guy's night out? We're not the same. I do what I want. Uh, <laughs> no. It makes no, so much serious. sense. Well, I mean, it, it, it makes sense. Th th that doesn't that doesn't make sense, y'all. Oh a no, lot. no. Totally. Okay, you know what? Let's have fun with this. <laughs> Jesus Christ! As I sip my tea, let's go into a dream world. <laughs> let's go into a scenario. We're neighbors. Okay, we grew up together, and we live right down the street from each other. All right. I grew up a millionaire, you grow up poor, all right? My family is extremely wealthy, I get everything I want, you had to get it out the fucking mud, all right? Everybody paying attention here? Mm -hmm. So, 18 years old, I get uh, you know an inheritance of $2 million. I get this money just given to me. You, on the other hand, you have to go to college, you have to start up a business, you have to bust your ass and you make, and you make that money, right? So 10 years passes, right? Fast forward through time. Next thing you know, we're both 28 years old. Me, I was living it up on Instagram, being lit, spent my money on hookers and cocaine in Vegas. I was fucking living life. Mike knows every week, doing all kinds of crazy shit, right? But my money's pretty much gone. I'm broke now because I didn't spend it well. I kind of just got it, right? And I inherited it. You, on the other hand, you now are a self-made millionaire. You busted your ass. You scaled up a bunch of businesses. You got employees. You're killing it. We meet at a high school reunion. And I tell you, yo, I got some investment advice for you. You should invest in this coin. You should do this. You should do that. And I start giving you a bunch of financial advice, knowing that I lost a bunch of my money. Are you going to take my advice seriously? Nope. No. No. Mm -mm. No. No. Probably not. No. I'm going to hear it out. Then I decide to do whatever I want nope. to do with it. Fantastic. Which right. is that? No. <laughs> and real quick, why why is it a no? No, because you could be saying something real. You okay. just didn't play. So you it listen right. to it. Why yeah. would you say, why would you say no, real fast? I would say no because of the way you were immature with your money previously. Okay. What about you? I said that I. You'll would... give it a go, right? No, it's, it's not. Like that I would give it. it a go. Like I would hear what you have to say, and you might be saying some real like. Really... Invest in Dogecoin. No, like. This... Would you take that seriously? No. 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 Okay. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's already shown that he messed up before. So some people just don't know how to manage their money. Yeah, that's it. Okay, like you what can about... know all the tricks to get there and to keep it, just not do what you got to do to keep it. <clears throat> okay, what about you? Why were you not taking my financial advice seriously? Um, because uh, you you messed up. Mic. You messed up already. To the mic. Okay. You messed up already. So what about you? Why would I? You definitely made a point, so I change what I think. And so you I, would listen. I think I would definitely hear out. Okay. At least here. Yeah, in, I would. I would hear because, because I feel like buy AMC stock. No. Okay. <laughs> but I think I would definitely hear out and see what happens and see if I could put my twist on it and make it play correctly. You don't have to do what he's telling you to do. You could hear it out and then you make the decision. Mm -hmm. But clearly, I lost my money giving you these That's same strategies. Mm -hmm. That's on you. You decided to do that. So I could, would you take my advice? I, I could, could just it, listen it to the part life. of invest in and be like oh shit you know what i could invest in something maybe not that dodge car thing but i could go invest in something else like, okay you know or I, mean? I could listen to what he said and then do the complete opposite so you know. not listen to what i said thank you what about you you're broke why would i listen to broke people what about you facts i think i agree with her to like mic, i can like pay attention to, to you and, and kind of learn from your mistakes but the question is are you going to do what i told you to do oh no not everything that okay. you're telling me what about you first of all do i sell my amc and then number two <laughs> um yeah no okay example. what about you no i believe you should do your own research okay what about you no definitely no so my thing is let's have fun with this so why the hell should a guy listen to a woman when you guys get all your value up front and we have to create our value we're not the same mm -hmm. men are self-made millionaires women are trust fund babies 
Your value is given to you from the day that you're born. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. R listen to me. I'm dead serious. Well, each and every single one of you can walk into a nightclub right now and go, nah! And some dude is going to hit on you and still try to take you home. If I walk into a club, multimillionaire, six foot three, et cetera, and say, ah, I'm going to go to jail. I'm not going to be no fucking bitches. So, so that's the point I'm trying to make is men must create their value. Women are given their value. So we don't play by the same set of rules. I can go out with my boys because I busted my ass to get to this point where you respect me enough where I can do that. And if I have sex with another girl, all of you agreed that a woman cheating is worse. Why? Because you all know deep down, for us, it's purely physical because we can still love our girl. So your own answers prove my theory. Men and women are not the same whatsoever. So me going out is not the same as you going out. Goes back to this whole fallacy of 50-50 relationships don't work. I just feel like it's online. different. I feel like it's different because... You feel on that... If, right. Mm -hmm. just be if, if, if a guy is like six foot, you know, there are physical attributes that just give you an advantage over other men in the same way that is with women. Like... Or the way that you talk about money or something, you can use that. There's That's why a lot of men use it to be flashy or something. It's like a peacock with its feathers. It's the same. But what if not, he's rich not at too? all, because that man had to bust his ass to get to that point. You didn't have to bust your ass to create that beauty. There what are, tells you that some I, women don't bust no, their ass to get to where are, they are? Yeah. Bro, a girl can go out with no makeup and sweatpants and still get attention from men. A man can't get that type of attention and validation unless he becomes a somebody. We're that's not correct. the same. Do you guys seriously think that it's as easy for a guy to attract a woman as it is for a man to mm -hmm. for a man to attract or a woman to attract a man? I didn't say it was easy. Uh, that's not so. Th but that, that changes that whole the, man. the the difficulty and how it is to attract I women see. completely dictates how men can move versus how women can move. Mm -hmm. I I hate to say it, ladies, but yes, there are double standards in life, and there's not many double standards that benefit men. This is one of the few ones. A guy can do what he wants. A girl can't necessarily do what she wants. What if she's Women a multi-millionaire? Women got to protect their value. Men got to create their value. What, what? what if she's a millionaire? She was a self-millionaire too. No one cares about and millionaire ugly. women. No? And very ugly. No guy says, man, she's a millionaire. My dick is hard. Right. Right. Men don't care about a woman's income at all. That is true. Mm -hmm. At all. That is true. What if I went on a date with you and I told you, yo, I got a bunch of Louis Vuitton shoes and I got a bunch of bags that are lit. I got I look at my collection. I have my own money. Thank you. That's exactly how men feel men feel about women that have money. Yeah. So I personally wouldn't be with the average man, but I would be like, yo, I don't need you. I'm here because I want to be with you. So if you want to do whatever you want because you have money, I'm out because I have my own money. Like, I don't need your money. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> you don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty straightforward. No, no, I, no, I get that, that you're saying that, but you're missing a big point here. When a woman dates a guy, he's got to be at least her equal. When a man dates a woman, she doesn't have to be as equal. Yeah, true. I guess it will be for general women. I feel like 90% of women don't have a lot of money. Huh? I mean, yeah, most wealth is controlled by men, but there's a bunch of reasons for that. But I mean, a lot of wealth is controlled by women too, but it's through inheritance. Mm -hmm. But my point is that men and women aren't the same. We look at different things. True. So, that's true. So that's what I'm trying to say. We play by different rules. You guys get into clubs for free, we got to pay. You guys get attention for existing, we got to go ahead and get to a point where women even look at us and we can even get attention. Men have to work to get their sexual market value up. Women are given their sexual market value mm -hmm. from the beginning. But so, there, there are women that had to work really hard to fit standards of society now. And that threshold is very low. A girl can be mediocre or average and still get attention. <laughs> not the shades. That's the truth. <laughs> That's why you see other girls at promoter tables. Yeah. I mean, big facts. Someone's, <laughs> someone's speaking facts over here. Listen, so women like, don't have to really knows. be that hot to get attention, man. Yeah, yeah no, truly. Like, they really don't. Most of the time, those girls are ugly, and it's supposed to be the girls that are supposed to be the prettiest. You know what I'm saying? Like everything for free, but did you or did you not say earlier, ladies, that men will fuck anything? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. See how this all comes no. full circle. See, but your you, own answers coming back to haunt y'all. You started off by saying, um, what that a, a a woman is born with her value and a man needs to create it. He yeah. needs to find it. But yeah. the second that a woman sleeps with one person, according to you at least, her value goes down a little bit. And the more people she sleeps with, the less she's worth. Mm -hmm. So yes, that is true. That, mm -hmm. So I let's add that thought into that argument sure. as well because if how am i born with value and let's say i i, I you know everybody like I, i've slept with a lot of people miss 56 we can call me that sure miss 56 i slept with a lot of people yeah simply because i didn't know any better okay no, no one taught me any better that's right. especially choice. young so when you get older and you start to learn these lessons but that was your, your and choice realize, though no 100 it was 100 my choice but all i'm saying is I didn't know any better. Okay. So whose fault is that? My it's my fault. I, well, I would actually. Uh, my mom is watching this right now. It's my mom's fault. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, bro, just stop. Just stop. All right. So stop. Anyway, so what's your point here? 
my point, besides your mom fucked up allegedly. Uh, my point fifty six. Uh, my point is. My point is. Please save us, God. If, no, 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 please save us. No, just, just like I just don't see how it's a fair argument. I Life isn't see, fair. No, you're one hundred percent. I just don't see how it's a fair oh God, argument when the arguments. second a woman sleeps with one man, some, you know, some, some men don't care, and then some men are like, "Ill, disgusting. You, you opened your legs once. You're nasty. I don't want you. Don't touch me." Well, are you aware that one in three men right now is a virgin or hasn't had sex in a year? 100%. Are you aware that most guys can't get a date? Most guys 100%. struggle to get women. As a matter of fact, most guys are invisible to most women. Mm -hmm. So I would argue women have a way better advantage because you could take an average woman. She still has a shot. An average man, he's fucked. Uh, I know. I've, I date it's average still. men. Or at least I did. I've dated average men. So Okay. Yeah. And where are they now? <laughs> Gone. Exactly. So, uh, so, so, so average. So, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like average men don't measure up for a lot of women's standards is my point. Yeah. Because we live in a world of Instagram, online dating, mm -hmm. etc. So women always feel like they can do better. Why settle with a guy that's five foot eight making fifty k per year when you can go ahead and get a six foot three guy from L.A. that's lit? Love, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <Lol. sure. laughs> uh, Jeffy Torres. Yeah, go ahead. Did anybody else have anything before with the whole situation? But does that may answer your question with like why he can go out and you can as you should be a little bit more reserved? I mean, you don't have to like it, but do you understand it at yeah, least? Yeah, I understand, but I do not agree with it. Okay, okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's if you don't fine. agree with it, you don't have to. No, I know. Um, okay, Fresh Amaran, turn to rate and critique every woman on the panel. Oh shit! Should, they, do, should we do that, Fresh? <laughs> nah. Nah. Hell yeah! Oh, wait, you want it? Hell yeah! yeah. Why, yeah. Not? Let's do it. Why not? And then we'll do let it. them critique us. Okay. Or rate us. Or should we let oh, them? That's true. Let we should first. let them go first, yeah, so that um, they can go yeah. ahead and get okay. their get you know get their revenge. Okay, so you can roast All us right. now. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and roast us. Trust me, we we don't have any type of you could say be as mean as you want to be. It's totally cool. Uh, we'll start here with yeah, Chicago. We, Give us a rating we, we and a really critique. Just negative say. critique, of course. This is gonna be different than everyone else's answer because personally, I believe in ninety nine percent of the things you say. So with that, I don't have anything. Give us a so physical critique, critique something. I don't know. Physical, grow yeah, some hair. Yeah, okay, thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. God damn it! But y'all keep making me lose it. All right, uh, and then uh, get, give us. A, and then what about him? I'd say ten. Okay. You're chill. Super chill. Um, you give off really good vibes without saying anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I appreciate that. Glasses inside. <laughs> I mean, I get. I do that at the club. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't do that no more. So. The lights are bothering me a little bit. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Is that too bright for you? <laughs> All right. Fair enough. What about you? A um, number and then a uh, critique. Feel free to be as hard as you want to be. Okay. I believe you haven't spoken much, mm -hmm. so I would still give you like an eight because you're decent. You're decent. So far. Um, yeah. I give you a five because okay. I go in the middle. Because 50, I do 50, understand. Right? Yeah. Sticking with it. Five zero. Exactly. Because I do understand your point of view i just don't agree with everything but you're entitled to your own opinion okay and i'm entitled to mine so okay. i'll give you a five all okay. right what about you um solely looks yeah sure that's fine however y'all want to rate it i know for women it's much different you guys go off looks and personality bunch however you want to rate it okay what? looks solely looks mm -hmm. no offense you i'd say a seven i think you're Ouch. i think a five is like Average. I think okay. you're like a little above average. Definitely need um, a little more hair. Some waves. Okay, some <laughs> waves. Get some waves. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm not black though. I can't get them. I'm just kidding. All you're right, not what about black? No, I, I I am, but they, it's an insider <gasps> joke. Don't worry. What about you, Fresh? Same, what about for him? Same, I'd say a seven. He has um, hair though. I, I'm about to explain. Oh, okay. Um, I think that your cut really nice, freshly like nice shape up, look nice. Um, even with the glasses off, so just a little, a little above average for both of y'all. Okay. Damn it, be mean, man. What the hell? Gotta stay fresh. Come on, man. Thank you. I mean, I did say the hair thing. Okay, that okay. doesn't hurt. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. This is your chance. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like. A solid three between the both of y'all. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So. And then one critique. Um, one critique. Well, I mean, mm. <laughs> Let's go. um, 
One critique, uh, you're wearing multiple different brands at once, and that bothers me. So, (laughs) (laughs) all right, brand mismanagement. Okay. Yeah, no. And uh, critique for you, I mean, you might want to hurry this up because I'm not sure you'll have hair by the time we're over. (laughs) Yeah, this is tough. I I, I agree. He's got the same one for you. The transplant ain't working. Go ahead. Um, I'd give you like a seven. Okay. And I'd give you like an eight. An eight, nine, eight point five. Thank you. Um, critique though. Critique uh, probably like should be a, a little calmer. I a little calmer. Know, okay. A little calmer. Uh, you see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you guys also. That's fine. That's fine. A little calmer. This is your chance to roast us. So and that's fine. You know, that's just it. Like, just be a little calmer, understanding of people. <laughs> All right. You okay? Calmer. <laughs> oh my God! He went away. They transplant my new set of balls, something like that. <laughs> huh? She's I'm, funny I'm confused. Okay. Um, and you? Yeah. I think you should speak your mind more because I feel like you're, you're, you're actually a terrible person. But you're not letting us know. <laughs> you're, you're hiding wow. it. You're hiding it. Wow, I'm bad you're person. hiding it. That's crazy. Like a snake. You you're sneaky with much. it. You're sneaky with it. I'm a ninja, huh? Mm. Fair enough. What about you? Uh... <clears throat> What is um, it, what's the term again? What your hair sticks up? I forget. Flyaway. Flyaway, uh, fly, flyaway. flyaway Mr. Jones. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would give you like a like a six just okay. because Ouch. I would never be with a guy that thinks that they can do whatever they want. Like that would be an argument. I feel like communication is big. Uh-huh. So the minute they say that, I'm out. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care what you got. You don't pay my bills. I pay my own bills. Yes, I like a guy that makes money and that makes more money than me, but that's not what I look for. But, and you're a little like. Are you balding? I'm yeah. losing all kinds of hair. The sh- the show is tough. <laughs> That's personality wise. So like yeah. looks, I'll give you an eight. Okay, so my personality is is what a six? You said uh, five. Oh, uh, five. Okay, I lost the point. <laughs> I'll take that. Are we right, cool. personalities? No. I, I mean, oh, I, I was saying you can you incorporate it however y'all want. You're at three. It's whatever, a yeah. three. Personality wise. See, I okay. was going three. No, I, I thought we were going off. I, was, I literally told her, you, um, with Miss New York, I was like, y'all can rate it however y'all want. Because I know what girls, it's like, oh, I got a bunch of things I need to put in here. Well, that's we're visual. It's all looks. So oh, it's no. easy Personality for us. definitely affects how I see you. Okay. Mm, I figured. Yeah. I figured that's why I said you can use it if you want. Um, so, all right. So, personality uh, four, and then uh, three. Three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to the punch that time. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then, what about him? Um, you need to stop wearing so much black. I think you were wearing too much black, at Mr. Jones. Like, I can like you wear like it. some like yellow, it. like white? I look like, black though. I love I, we see that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, you're cool. But just, I don't know. I feel like you're just thinking through this podcast. You're not talking much. Like, what are you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, looks. I'll give you an eight too. The all black is gonna have the chat going crazy. <laughs> Insider Joe coming. What about you? It's your uh, chance to come on, man. Be meaner, ladies. Come on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I think that he has a really nice chill vibe. All vibe? good. I, I cannot chill see vibe. anything from yeah. him that bothers me. Okay. From you, oh, there shit. is yeah, there's <laughs> one thing that bothers me. Sure. Because you have here all of these beautiful ladies. Uh-huh. You I'm pretty sure you have a better outfit. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. Thank you. We need some drip. Yeah. Need some drip. Yeah. I'm like pretty sure. Pick up basketball. Oh, and you're rolled coach. out of bed. What if, <laughs> out of bed. what if I dress like this for me? Athleisure <laughs> no. for me. This is a time where you dress for us. No. no. Dress for y'all. This. I'll dress for I want you to believe us when we say we dress for ourselves. So you're dressing for us. So you dress for yourself, right? You dress for yourself today, right? To- I totally dress for myself just now. Oh, yeah, we yeah like, no one is around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't care about anyone. Yeah. I don't care about anyone. Yeah. That's so mean. <laughs> about making like a point. <laughs> That's so mean. Yeah. Oh, God. Do you think All you right. dress for him? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think that you dress for him sometimes? Why do you dress for me? Ow! You know, to, <laughs> to make, compete. To, maybe. to compete. You know? maybe, maybe. It's actually the opposite. Oh. He ain't trying to maybe compete with you. Maybe to impress. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually the worst. He's actually the worst. He tells me all the time, like, bro, you need to buy some drip. And I'm like, no. Yo. We're like the opposite. We're in Romania at a nice, expensive club. <laughs> He's wearing a merch shirt <laughs> and a bumper jacket. I'm like, bro, yeah. what's going on here, bro? No drip. Bruv. No drip. So you feel like you don't ever compete with other men? No, it's not about that. Men compete inevitably whether they accept it or not. There's a lot of men here. 
Are there? Yeah. <laughs> Like four. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a lot. I mean, they're a part of my team, so yeah. it's it is what it is. But well, I mean, men, men, men compete yeah. in general, so I mean, it is what it is. So you competed with him today. <laughs> no, I'm I mean, going off this. Wanna, if you want to, mm-hmm. if you want to look at oh, it that way, Mr. Jones. Going to club. Yeah. Mm, okay. Anything else? So my Just conclusion: yeah, that go shirt yeah. goes today to the trash can. <laughs> Please. It's a nice try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like my vibe. Okay. What about you? <laughs> she has an accent. <laughs> yeah. it's, a it's a cute, cute accent. accent. It's, very cute. it's sexy, not cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I disagree. <laughs> the tight shirt is nice because you have like muscles. Does he? And then like you guys gain points because you guys are like. Zumba. I don't think. You guys are like <laughs> killing it with the podcast with the 59th floor and the view. So okay. So like I find you guys attractive. Um, but then I hate that like you would cheat on your woman like you don't care because oh, you said that. Guy. I don't yeah. think it means I don't care. No, he. I well, think- here's the thing. My my policy is I'm gonna be open and she's got to be closed. See, and she would know it. I'd be honest. I'd be like, listen, I'm gonna have other girls. Okay. Well, right, no, you had a three already. I bring it now. down to a two. Okay. Right. So that makes you like really like <laughs> for, like Four. not attractive. And, <laughs> and then. Um, so you want a guy to be faithful just to you? Impossible. We all want them. Yeah. So, we can all be together. Yeah, um, I want to reap what I sow. Okay, interesting. Um, yo, Mo, can you pull up the delusion calculator real quick for us? <laughs> wow. Um, okay, but cool. All right, what else? Um, and then I don't like that he has glasses on on the inside. That's just like, but, you know, and I, you're quiet, so like I don't trust you. And like, <laughs> yeah, like I, I feel like you're probably He's like judging and like the meaner one out of the both. They're going and he to just has now. like more of the voice, but you're secretly mean. <laughs> yeah, he has what he wants to say on his chest. You don't. That's worse. Those, like the Gemini's are the usually like the serial killers, not to get into horoscopes, but like you're the quiet one with two Astrology personalities. So you know. Dumb. Okay, oh fair enough. What about what about you? Um. Well. Objectively speaking, of course, yeah. you have a boyfriend at yeah. home, so we understand and respect that. <laughs> so. Um. I would say overall for like personality and. Yeah. Um, if you were to give us to one of your girlfriends, there you um, go. Um. So you're judging him by looks? Isn't that like against you? Okay. Or, or, well, she can use the whole package. It's, and we told yeah, you guys yeah. it's completely open to your interpretation. Yeah. It's not exactly. Yeah. Oh, I was confused. So, so I would say listen. like a four or five, oh, yeah. personally. Mm-hmm. A four or five, excuse me. Um, That's just how I feel. Four or five for both of us? Yes. All right, cool. cool. And then one critique. Um, Why well, can't... Uh, well, I don't really have a critique because it's that's your personality. That's like how you are, so... Damn it, you're too nice, man. Mm-hmm. God damn it, do we gotta pull your teeth to, to make fun of us no, too? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. um, I'm just saying, like, this is who you are. So, like, if this, if you're loud or if you, you know, <laughs> so you rate your communication you on, skills. You rate it on personality or looks? Personality, uh, looks, full package. Full package, full package right. Fair enough. All right, what about you, Columbia? Fours and fives. Let's Columbia, go. go ahead, do your worst. I know you've been waiting for this one. Yes. <laughs> now you can say calm down. Calm down for a second. mi amor. Well, on looks, I know I like you too much. You gave me good vibes. So I'm going to give you Bye. a 10 because nobody did. And I like you otherwise. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you so need not, give me the drip. He's oh, quietly drip. evil. Okay. Why, of course. And I'm, I'm not going to mess up with you. Okay. But you. So <laughs> oh, Here we go. You, on your looks, well, can you stand up? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> wow. Let's wait a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's on the thing. Sorry, uh, I was dealing with something. Uh, you already saw me stand up when I was... Uh, no, I no, didn't. We didn't. Not really. No, no, no. saw me walk in and no. I was standing here for a you minute. You didn't even say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely oh, did say hello. You didn't. And I sat down. Oh, and I said, oh, 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 Straight to the rules. No, me, amor. Can you stand up? I want to see how tall you are. You already know how tall I am. Well, you look tall. Okay. <laughs> and you have muscles. I don't like so much your face, but I will give you. A <laughs> Thank you. I'm working on it. I'm really working on it. I will give you. I will give you a six. Um, but in personality, since you say like you have to cheat and you're gonna have many girls, I think you have too much ego, and that's because maybe deep down you're a little bit insecure. So okay. I'm gonna give you a one. Period. Okay. <laughs> so you don't like my vibe either. No, I, think, I think as a friend, you would be the coolest friend I could have. I, I don't have any female friends. <gasps> okay, then, then yeah. no. I think there's two things that are very stupid for a man to do. Mm-hmm. Having female friends. And um, what was the other thing you were, you said something. 
There was something I was going to say. Not going to help people. Female friends. <laughs> mm. Oh, and then being monogamous. I think those are two things that are very stupid for a man to do. And the reason why is because it goes against their natural nature. Men don't want to be monogamous ever. The only difference is that some guys are forced to be monogamous. Other guys aren't forced to be monogamous. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Let's don't. be honest. You can try your best to be monogamous. But that's not reality. Well, that's commitment. Maybe. We don't like to do stuff for you, but we do it because it's commitment. So we sacrifice, you sacrifice. Yeah. You don't like to do things for us? What do you mean by that? I mean, sometimes in a relationship, you have to sacrifice some things. Like maybe going out with your girls or whatever you were talking about, we were talking about. So we sacrifice things. You can do it too. What if I told you that the man had to sacrifice a lot of his life to become attractive for you in the first place to give him a chance? That's your problem. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Answer the question. What if I told you that that men have to sacrifice a lot to become attractive in the first place? Yeah, well. See, here's the difference. Mm-hmm. The man has to sacrifice a lot to get the girl. The girl's got to sacrifice a lot once she meets yes, the man to yeah. keep the guy. The game keeps keeps playing, you know? The relationship keeps going. You still have to sacrifice. And when you have kids, you have to sacrifice. And when they go to college, it, it's a lot of sacrifice in our relationship. Have you ever been in one? <laughs> <laughs> Genuine, question. Question. Genuine yeah. question. I don't think so. Have you? I, actually, you'd be surprised. But uh, yeah, I'll just say I, I exercise my options and I do what I want. So it's pretty yeah, good. I respect it. Have you yeah. been in a long time relationship, relationship before? A lot. What was that? Have we you? also sacrifice a lot. We are being monogamous also. We're giving you to you, let's say, that girl's giving you her body, loyalty, values, is creating a home, raising kids, getting pregnant, all these changes in her body. Let me ask you a so question. Let me, no, let me finish, yes. if you don't mind. No, state no, those things again. State, state those things one more time. So you said giving you, because I want to make sure I, I have this Loyalty. Right. Uh-huh. Is giving you her body, intimacy, her belly to raise kids. Uh-huh. It's creating a home. Uh-huh. And everything that comes with that support, emotional support. Okay. So we at least me, I have a lot of like I value myself a lot. So for me, I will always be extremely worth it. So I don't want a man that will tell me that he's gonna cheat on me. Just because he has because money. Because you're gonna kill my vibe. Even let's say, even kill if it happens, mm-hmm. it can happen. It can happen because maybe when you go through a lot of crisis in a relationship after some years. But I don't think I would know like a man that would say to me straight to me that because he has money, he's going to cheat. Question for you. Yes. Um, very inter- This is very interesting stuff. Would it be fair to say that most women want children? Most. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Would it be fair to say that most women would prefer to not be a hoe and just have sex with one guy? No. Mm-hmm. You you want to well, be a hoe? Yeah. He asked you this earlier. <laughs> you and you said no. I thought you so you're said. Contradict yourself? I thought you said no. I I I. I was. I'm talking about the majority of. You women. you think most women? If I line up 100 women, you think a lot of them want to just jump from dick to dick? No. no. I feel like there are a lot of women that don't want to be tied down. Anyway, we're going to continue on. Would it be fair to say that most women want to have sex with one guy and you know consolidate on that guy? Yeah. yeah. Have children, like you said. Yeah. Have a home with that man? Yeah. Okay. And support that man that she loves, admires, and respects? Of course. As so long on, as you on. receive respect. Okay. So I'm not everything... going to support you and sacrifice a lot of things from you. If you can come to bed at come to home at whatever time you want. Mm-hmm. So there are boundaries. If so, you have yes. healthy boundaries, everything can work. You're missing the point. The things I just asked no, her no, are literally what you just said. I'm no. not missing the she's point. Not actually. Actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I literally asked you what you said you provide. Loyalty, monogamy, child, children, a home, support. Women want to support, want these things. This is what women want, okay? So you can't sit there and say, I'm sacrificing, when in reality, these are things that you want. However, men want to have sex with other women all the time. So what I'm saying is that when that man commits to you, right, and he gives you monogamy, he's actually sacrificing. Everything you stated that you're supposedly sacrificing, why? that's what you want. Why? Who's making because you do that? If you don't want to do it, why do you compromise? Don't do it. Be yeah, a Dan exactly. Bilsirian. Like, that's the guy, right? The Dan mm-hmm. Bilsirian okay. guy with Here's, a lot of... Do you, do, you not understand, do you not understand the fact that most men don't have the sexual market value and the attraction level to so be that's why they just settle and... Yes. 100% that's why they settle. Well, because most okay. guys... Yeah. Most men... <laughs> hold on. Most men don't have the value to look a girl dead in the face and say, I'm going to have other chicks, whether you like it or not. So what's the most point of being a relationship? Have, yeah. what do you, hold on. Hold just on. Don't. Hold on. If I line up 100 guys and I told them, listen, 
You can have your main chick and you can also have side chicks. 99 of those guys are going to take that deal. The problem is that most guys don't have the value to take that deal. So what do they do? They get in a relationship with you and they fuck other girls anyway without you knowing. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't it be better to be with a guy that can be honest with it and tells you this is what I want? I Here's the problem. Absolutely. What women want is prioritized. <laughs> what men want is never prioritized. You're talking about, I make these sacrifices when in reality you just said it yourself. These are things that women want anyway. But men, when they no, get with a woman, have to make serious not. sacrifices. I don't because want to they sacrifice. Don't want to. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Yeah. You literally just said it before. I named the things that you named. And these are things that women look for. But if I ask men what they want, men don't want monogamy in general. Most men want to have sex with as many women as they can, but they can't do it. So therefore, what do they do? They just lie. Oh, I love you. You're the only one. But here's the difference. Men can fuck you, right? And still love their wife the same. We're not the same. So just because you can't have sex, because you said it yourself earlier, when a woman loves a man, she can't, she, like, she's got to not love that man to cheat on him. Men don't operate that way. We're not the same. Why is it that women have such a tough time understanding that men and women are different? We don't love the same. I could love a girl, go fuck another chick and come back to my main chick. You can't love a man, fuck another dude and come back to your man. It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. So you're using female rules for men. And I'm, what I'm telling you is that we're not the same. But you guys don't understand that because you're so preoccupied about me, 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 and I, 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 I etc. Men and women are not the same, ladies. No, she's agree. not saying that. She's just saying we sacrifice things too. Yeah. Literally, I went line by line with what she said, and these are things no, that women want. They're not sacrifices. No, no, that's no, what no, women want. No, Ex still, we excuse sacrifice. me. So we, we just, want that, but with the right men. We don't want that just with any men. Yeah, you know, we want all of that, but I just don't want to sacrifice because you want to settle and you have money. I need to see that you want to settle. You have money, of course. You're successful. But you're loyal, you respect me, because we are raised also different. We yeah. are raised to feel like queens. You know, you don't want to feel like you're the man's garbage, mm -hmm. that he can do with you whatever he like wants because he has object. money. You want to hear a secret? You're not dying. You want to hear a secret? Yeah. Men and loyalty don't mix. Men, men money, and loyalty don't mix. For well, you. Never so it, for it, you. It, like, what? For, for you. you. For you. Yo, exactly. women are delusional, bro. Like, I'm literally <laughs> telling them the truth, and they refuse to accept it. If I took 100 truth. millionaires, you're telling your 100 truth. men, you're that telling are, your story. Yo, niggas in the chat, we got 15,000 y'all in here, man. Those are your yeah, followers. Who watches this? No, 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 Women are who literally delusional. I'm telling them the truth that men are going to cheat and they're only faithful as their options. So, and you're they preaching your gospel. That shit. So, you're preaching your gospel. Guys, your followers are going to listen to that. Stop interrupting me, man. Stop interrupting me. All right. We just gasped. So, anyway, chat. Give me a one in the chat if you guys would have your main chick and a side chick. Give me a two in the chat if you guys want to be monogamous to one girl. Let's see what happens. Well, well, these are men. That's here's your the thing. audience. It's yes. not about this is my audience. There's a reason why we got 15,000 plus people watching and it's one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Men can't be honest with girls. I'm telling you to your face how men think and you refuse to accept it. Men that have options are always going to exercise those options, whether you know it or not. I agree. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't want to accept the reality, that's fine. I've even but what I'm telling you is you're saying, I want loyalty. Loyalty typically doesn't come from men the same way that you want it. Your loyalty is not fucking other guys. Our loyalty is being willing to die for you. That's the difference. I'm not going to put my life on the line for some random bitch I'm fucking, but I will go ahead and put my life on the line for a girl that's the mother of my children. We're not the same. Why do you guys refuse to accept no, that? No, what if you, I agree. Can I say what if you accidentally what you have said. a baby with some random girl you're fucking? <laughs> like, like if you were to accidentally get like a baby mama and you don't really love her, you just ask, like, you know, the condom popped. Like, what are you going to do then? <laughs> and she doesn't Can want I an abortion. I'm asking, you I'm asking, asking a question. Yeah. Um, I'm feel, asking a question. No, I feel like when there. everybody brings up like Beyonce, Jay-Z, because they're like, oh, um, Jay-Z cheated <laughs> one. Beyonce, I feel like when it comes to us, like when a man reaches a certain power, again, there's going to be temptation. Right. So I don't think men specifically are going to say like, yo, I'm cheating on you. And it's just like that. I think it's a conversation that would be had. Like, listen, you know, I'm doing a lot of traveling. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be there. I got to be here six months out of the out of the month, whatever. And on top of that, I also feel like you can't control who you like. So I like, again, we already established men are horny, men are this. So when it comes down to it, especially like a high value man is when we yeah. talk about men, we're not talking about 
like regular dudes so when y'all say like oh i want a man that's only going to be loyal to me is not it's just it doesn't it's just not going to work that one uh a high value man is going to be loyal to one specific person if you look at any and everybody who's rich whatever they oh it's always been some type of infidelity right is it love? No. But again, did he step out? Yes. So, oh I mean, and we're speaking generally, too. So, again, if you individually is different from generally in terms of with men, men are going to cheat regardless because, again, oh we're God. speaking on a general term. Oh, my God. We um, women are so dumb if we keep violating these actions. It's not. It's, it's, it's not. It's fast. We have done that. Um, we have done that. I'm just sorry. You just don't accept reality. It's, it's, it's going to happen no. regardless. Right. Whether you accept it or not, it's going to happen regardless. No. Right. Do you, do you, do you seriously right. think, ladies, let me ask you, like, let's just a logic question. I'll ask you this. Do you think that there are more successful men that are tall, attractive with money or beautiful women? What's there more of? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women. women. Let her answer. Okay. Yeah. So since there's more beautiful women, by default, doesn't that mean that there's less of him? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So supply and demand. If there's less of him and there's more beautiful women, who has the leverage? Women. No, it's actually right? the man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If there's if there's more beautiful women uh -oh. than there are successful, attractive men, mm -hmm. who has the leverage? The man, right? Yeah. So the man technically has more options for real the girl has options too because she could go fuck any guy but there's only a few guys that meet what she her requirements right and that guy meets her requirements but there's a bunch of girls that he'll gladly have sex with 18 19 20 21 could be a retarded bimbo how many dumb girls have you guys seen on a boat dumb girls have you seen on a boat before all of them yeah. thank you right but some guy paid for that boat for all the girls to be there mm -hmm. so there's not enough of these high status guys these attractive men to go around that's what i'm trying to say you're gonna have you can't have a high value guy all to yourself and my thing is, even an average what? guy is going to cheat on you, too. What? That's a fact. Yeah, that's, that's, true. True. that's true. That's true. I'm sorry. You, know what you, say, you cannot forget that when she's saying about high-value men, you're also a high-value woman. Yes. Exactly. So also, yes. You get the same. also, with women, also women. with women, like... Question for you. What makes a woman high-value? Almost everything I said to you before. Like what? Like the same. You know, um, I don't know. The way you portray yourself, the way your values, your morals, you uh, why, how you behave, how you are around, I don't know, around town, whatever, the way your body language, everything that you don't look, oh, you know, you don't give them this mixed signals. I don't know. I don't even know. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's, there are so That's many the things. No, know. I know everything she does, she because listed. I consider myself one of them and almost everyone that's here, but I'm not going to praise any men. Because they are no better than us. And because you're a high value man, I will admire you and respect you. But exactly. you have to do the same. You're no better than me. Money doesn't I also make you have a, high value a lot of man. options. And you don't want you know what's sad? Count, Money because then high you go there man. and you look at the guy, the man is with you, the high value man is with you, but oh. you look at the guy or whatever, and they go crazy and they go cry, Oh my god, she cheated me, this, that, whatever, mm. blah, 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 blah. They are dying. Their ego. You know? I just feel like because their ego gets you're weird. gonna have to deal with a guy's shit. Whether right. they're broke or rich, because guys cheat. So now it's yeah. your option as a girl, whether you're going to do that or not. I've seen guys that make 50K a year and they're broke and they're bumped and they're like trying to be on my That's DMs true. and they have wives. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> just yeah. true. rich men just do it more because they have more options because they have money. Yeah. Also, That's why I'm going to be single forever because all you guys I feel cheat. like I agree. if you <laughs> love and respect somebody enough, you're just not going to cheat. Exactly. So here's yes. the thing. You guys yeah. can say what you want to define as high value, but the reality is high value is what makes you more attractive to the opposite gender. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say that? Mm -hmm. yeah. High value is what yeah. makes you attractive to the opposite gender. So what you just said, that was a bunch of jibber jabber. What women really look for, what, jibber sorry, jibber. what men really look for that makes women high value is, is she young? Yep. Is yep. she beautiful? Exactly. Is she not a hoe? Healthy. Is she a virgin maybe? Mm -hmm. Chastity? That's what men look for. So you can't sit there and say, well, uh, I'm high value because I have these things. I'm telling you what men in general look for in women and that's what makes them high value. Just right. the same thing. The thing that makes a man high value is the things that women look for in men. Leader of men, attractive, dominant, tall, has uh, you know financial security to a certain degree, has some social status. These are things that are universally attractive mm -hmm. to all women. And the mm -hmm. things that are universally attractive to all men are women that are young, fertile, not hoes, and chaste. So you can't sit there and say, I'm a high-value woman, when in reality, do you meet these metrics that I just mentioned? And I would argue you're, you I don't. Do. I right. do. She does. I do. Can right. I just say she something? Does. Can she I just does. say something really this, quickly? This is the... <laughs> Go I ahead. Mean, 
Okay, with women, the older you become, the more your value decreases due to the fact that you're aging. So and your looks again, go down. Your looks go down. Exactly. You, don't, you do not Thank look you. the same. How I looked at 18, I look completely different now being 30. So for me personally, when I hear some of the conversations of you women, you know, basically talking about certain quality traits that you provide, you have to naturally do that. That's that's what a woman does. But <laughs> at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, your value at, in terms of your looks, it goes down due to the fact that you um, age and you depreciate over time. Agreed. And men are so no men offense. Oh, girl, men I'm are going to. They, we really, we really they whether, go to the same school. That's why when you see nah, yeah. older men with younger women, right. for example, married right. or not having a wife it doesn't matter yeah that's the mother of my kids that's my wife but right. at the end of the day it's something that's young hot fresh and new exactly it's just it's just the facts and ladies we just got to accept it and you just what? move how you no. move exactly. yeah. you know it's yeah. funny, it yeah. all depends you know, it's funny? On so this whole argument which we're going back <laughs> for is funny because most girls they want to be lied to so for example mm -hmm. this is what girls want girls want a guy that's successful goes. tall good looking has personality charm successful and he'll tell her you know what you're the only one for me i love you girl i want to be with you for the rest of my life however she knows deep down you know what this nigga fucking but she don't want to see it she, she doesn't want to hear it to her face mm -hmm. however she doesn't want to see it as well in her face so for example if he's doing it on the side she doesn't know great but deep down she knows what's happening and i, I feel like Thank right you now remember. you know you know that to be true as well but you want to say you know what I want to be uh, contrarian here, but I I'm just saying that to say like girls want to be lied to 100. Mm -hmm. But you, but you know what it is deep down, you, you know what it is. Yeah, like don't yeah. have me look stupid. Don't right. have me yeah. like He's don't you look don't, stupid. But okay, just like he said, if you know it, for example, like don't disrespect the family. Right. Jay Z, for example, when he cheated on Beyonce and it was a whole big thing, he never came out and made any type of interview saying, oh, yeah, I cheated on her. I did mm -hmm. this. I did that. He kept it quiet specifically for the family. Mm -hmm. Now, they mm -hmm. talked about it subliminally. It may or may not in music, but it was never any interviews. He never talked on it. He never said anything on it because at the end of the day, that embarrasses his his tribe. And it's like embarrassing it's her is cheating on her period exactly. period okay. that's that's that embarrassing is, her if exactly. you're good if you don't want to embarrass somebody because you're you're there's gonna be that one person that knows you she does he doesn't really love her he doesn't really like actually trust her he doesn't really want to respect her and have a, a good family with her because how do you think your kids are gonna feel when they know oh mommy just stays with daddy because he's rich not because he loves her uh i got um, a question that's real not quick gonna for, be the, okay. for uh, i'll address that in a second because mm -hmm. Beyonce didn't leave Jay-Z for a very specific reason. But for the two Latina ladies that think age doesn't matter, you guys are both 24. Um, do you think you're going to be more attractive and find a guy now, or are your chances better when you're 30? That depends. If I go to the gym more and I get my abs, <laughs> okay. because I want to get there, okay. you know, I have... I look hot, but I have like this little, little small belly, so I want to get rid of it. I think it's going to take years because it's been but years. The question is, do you think you so have I a better chance? So I think maybe chance? if I get straight to the gym, maybe I'll look hotter in a few years, but I'll let you know. No, the question is, do you think you have a better <laughs> I already chance? answered your question. You didn't answer the question. Did. The question is, do you think you have a better chance of attracting I'm a guy a now or I'm not a six years from now if what you have think? to take a chance? What do you think? Do you think you'd have a better chance of finding that guy now at 24 or 30? Sometimes I think I'm immature now, so for a high volleyball man, I will be hotter in a few years. Okay, you think so? Okay. Maybe. Okay, what about you? She has a point. Yeah, I, well, I see Depends people that are even That's younger right. than me, that uh -huh. are even like 19 years old, and yeah. they look like they are 30. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on how you take care of yourself okay. on a lot of things. So I think a lot of women get super attractive around 28, 30, 32. That's like a really good age because she knows what she wants. So I feel like I can get almost the same. I'm going off of men. Do you think you have a better chance of attracting a man now when you're 24 or six years down the road when you're 30 from a man's perspective not your perspective or what you think i'm asking you do you think a man will find you more attractive in six years from a man's per perspective yes 
like nope the answer is no ladies yeah, it's and it's no. amazing that i have to even Enough. go down this line because if you ask me a question if i was six foot one or six foot you four would i be like more attractive three and a zero here you don't have a three and a zero and that doesn't what? come that you don't have a three and a zero like a 30 on your forehead it's, it's you know, not about you can that have 30 mm -hmm. and look amazing man that's that's true but why would I go with a 30 year old when I can go with a 20 year old? Exactly. Some people don't care. I think you that's a 20 year old because that. she's been ran through less. Or that's is it just a part of, of it. That's a part of it. Mm -hmm. Some people don't that care. Makes sense. That's a part 20, of it. So, so, so is here's the thing, ladies. Less? Why is it that I accept reality? I know that a that's guy that's crazy. six foot five is going to be more attractive than me at six foot three. But why is it that when I tell a woman, a guy, a woman that's 24 mm -hmm. is going to be more attractive than 34, mm -hmm. they get mad about that and no. say, oh, no, well, there's guys out there that like older women or blah, blah, blah. The reality is you can't compete with younger women, period. Mm -hmm. If Facts. there's a bad 21-year-old and a bad 31-year-old, they're going with the 21-year-old. Right. Because it's rooted in pedophilia. In Fort Worth. It's what? less baggage. What are you talking about? No, it's less less really is rooted in pedophilia. It's it's like, less all, that, all that no hair, looking young. Like, mm. that's definitely rooted in pedophilia. Yeah. And that's always been there. Question for you. Mm -hmm. What if I said that women want guys that make more money and have more status than them are more confident because females are rooted in stupidity? How would that sound? No, 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 no. I'm using your logic against you. <laughs> that's not I'm taking logic. hardwired attraction traits and I'm going ahead. I'm going to make it negative. So women want a guy that's better than them in almost every physical regard. Does that mean that women are rooted in stupidity? Yes or no? No. Okay, so see how your logic is flawed? No, it's not. Men want if younger men... women because it's rooted in biology, not pedophilia, as you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. That <laughs> is pedophilia. That's a, that's yeah. a, that's yeah. a no, preposterous statement. That is statement. pedophilia. That's Definitely. a preposterous statement. I want to statement. have kids. I want a younger woman. I don't exactly. want an old woman. It's just biology. Why, right. why is it pedophilia? Why, why, it see, is. See, this, yo, this is the quintessential right. example the that male standards of what they want in a woman is always mm -hmm. demonized. If I tell a girl, yo, you want a guy that's taller than you, whatever, we don't bat an eye. We accept it. Men yeah. get out there, make more money, get in the gym. Because if we don't and we don't perform, girls don't come to us. True. But when a guy tells a girl what they want, they have some type of bullshit term. It's really no, a pedophilia. It definitely is. Because, like, there's you're you're going for younger women. Okay, can you tell the difference between a 17-year-old <laughs> and an 18-year-old off the, like, just looking at them? No. Well, we're you talking cannot. legal. Right. Any any man that dates a 17-year-old and for example, if he's married and he dates a 17-year-old, then all right, that's an issue. But okay, the majority but still, if if he he just said, "Okay, so ba girl. based on his logic, the 18-year-old versus the the 30-year-old, he's going to go for the 30 um the 18-year-old, right?" 18 is pushing it, but 18 is legal. Yes. It's like, legal. 18 is legal, but it's, and the age it's of consent, are you aware of the fact that the age of consent is 16. different in different states? Right. And it's also different in different parts of the world right so right. it doesn't change the fact that men in general are attracted to youthful beautiful women right so Isn't for you to sit there and say it's rooted in pedophilia, pedophilia some kind of negative is? connotation right. is preposterous no it's because not. no one is rooting what women want in stupidity because the opposite gender looks for the opposite traits in that gender i'll give you an example <laughs> women want a guy who's experienced a man wants a woman who's inexperienced mm -hmm. men women want a guy who's like a child? Oh, let me finish my point Women want a man who's experienced. Women want a man who's confident, ambitious, taller than them. Men want a woman who's submissive, docile, pretty, and young. Like a child. <laughs> Why do you keep bringing yeah. up a child? Because really? yeah, that's, 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 so, If you're telling me, if you're telling me, no, 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 yeah, like, you're telling Because I, I, I want to address this thing real quick with them, and then I'll go to her question. Does that, so you're saying, so back to what I was saying, do you think you have a better chance of meeting a guy at 24, 30? Am I, what I'm telling you is that you have a better chance now when you're 24. Mm -hmm. Agreed. There was a study done, ladies. Okay, this this is fact. This is not me just talking shit. Universally, men between eighteen to sixty years old. Are you paying attention? Because this is for you as well. Okay, Bobby. Yeah, uh, I'm just. I, I mean, you're the one making the arguments here that, that that you know. So I'm just telling you guys right now because you guys don't like to hear the truth. Men universally between eighteen to sixty years old prefer women between eighteen to twenty three. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Everywhere in Miami is young girls with an old guy. Right. I'm sorry, I'm right. not from Miami. It's crazy to me that like I'm telling There's you guys this you is the truth. Right. This is how it is, and you refuse you know to accept why? it. We right. disagree so you? much. I think I'm wrong. coming into my sense now. Why? Um, because I wasn't raised here. This is so new to me. You know, the first day I came to Miami, it's crazy. It's like wow what people look for, what women do here. Mm -hmm. It's so different for, from mm -hmm. what I, Latinos, yes. mm -hmm. my mom would spank my face if I do something that's not right. I believe in marriages. I believe in fidelity. Well, you are in I believe, now. I know, but I won't be that. 
I'm 24. I'm already grown. So it's but telling something thing, about society here. Lot of I don't do right. what people do here. You do I have my values already, and I think cool. what I think. That's, right. that's your values. Mm -hmm. But there's still a lot of men that are older that go to Colombia to meet younger girls too. Yeah, yeah. And, so, I, and I never met any of them. Okay, that's cool. But that's that's for you. Okay. But it does not change the fact. Right. The fact that men universally prefer women between 18 to 23. That's undisputed. So you guys can sit there and say, "I'll look better in okay. six years, whatever." Some, statistically some speaking, them, statistically speaking, your chances go down as you get older of finding a guy. Agree. Can you go to the gym and maybe push the clock back a bit and take care of yourself? For sure. But you're never going to look as hot as you did 10 years prior. Right. Sorry. Right. To men. Yeah, no. Two men. Right. Yeah, Two men. True, right. Because... You have some? No, I was just saying it's true because, I mean, why did older men pay to be with younger women? Right. Why, yeah. why do sure dyes exist? You know, I, I don't think it's all looks. I think older men are... They have that. So if you're 60 years old as a man, your maturity level is a 40. We are mature sooner. So us being 18, 19, 20, we look 26 to these older men. You know so they saying? go for younger. Because, so they go for younger. Younger than 18. No. <laughs> younger than 18 is Sometimes wild. younger for than 18. So yeah. my point is I would argue sense. that women don't necessarily mature faster than men. I think women... Okay. have a biological time clock and they need to move in a certain way to mm -hmm. get a relationship which people might say is maturity but not really mm -hmm. i think but we they, do have to protect ourselves men are already slightly protected naturally i mean again this is another comment you know we, we tend to think the way of the, the female way of doing things is the correct way to do things and i would argue that doesn't necessarily mean it's correct to set it's your biological urge to lock a guy down when you're still young and beautiful it's not our biological urge to lock down a woman when we're young it's actually detrimental to us so we have opposing strategies. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But yeah. we sit there and say women mature faster. Not really. You just mature faster from a biological standpoint where you get older, you get less fertile, you're not able to have kids. We could bust us to the day we die. Right. So why should we rush? But it goes back to what I was saying. Women prefer what? Older men for that reason versus men prefer younger women. It's all rooted in biological fact, what I'm saying. I don't know why this is so difficult to understand. I know you guys don't like what I'm saying, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. These are facts, not feelings, not opinions, not thoughts. This is facts. Remember, and there was you know another exception. fact. Sure, Men go ahead. Don't like women that they cannot um, control. dominate and control. control. There we go. No, but that's true. It yeah, is more true. That's, true. That's, that's why you go you for a younger woman, woman that you can't tell her what to do. Would you? Oh my God, you would never. Don't <laughs> lie to my face. <laughs> <laughs> you, your nose will get bigger, and it's already big. <laughs> <laughs> you lose so much hair. Lose wow. so much hair. Yeah. So, what's your question then? Go ahead. You. Where is that's it? another fact. You give facts, I'll give you another one. So, what's the fact? Men yeah. also choose younger women because they can, you know, control control them. her a little more, and it's, that's why they go for even younger and younger. Know, yeah. It's not about controlling. Because they are growing. They want to end up erasing them. It's the about controlling. No, it's not about controlling. Because then they can make them stay in the house, not go anywhere, no, 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 do no, no, exactly no. what they want. And they it's are not about so controlling. much more easy to It's not about growing. controlling. It's about being in control. So the girl wants to step into your reality, be a part of your <laughs> life, get your security, your provisioning. Well, there's rules and boundaries to that. You can be single if you want. You don't have to do anything. You can go ahead and live your life or whatever but what i am saying is that it's stupid for you as a man to allow a girl to act like she's single when you're sitting at home as the boyfriend no that's true of course so of course. so i mean what's what's it's, your it's, it's what's true. your point there but you haven't understood what it's true it's true that's my point and, you and want to you that want to control it and when you want dominant men you do realize that right of course. Mm -hmm. So why are you? But dominant but is not ego. Dominant is not ego. Dominant is not someone that doesn't let you be. Dominant but, is someone that can protect you, give you stability, and all the stuff that we've talked about. But in a healthy way, you cannot be toxic. You're a toxic man. I can't imagine yourself. Really. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, Wait, I, I'm toxic. Dominant. So toxic. Dominant. Yes, but dominant in a way like, hey, I'm I'm the man in this house. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna. And I'm a good girl. I'm not a bad girl or a whole whatever you you call you here. <laughs> and I want that, but still, I know why you look for younger women. Those are all those are all valid reasons, but also you want someone that you can control. So you control. want a dominant man, but you're mad at the thick dominant characteristics. Tell me how that makes sense. No, no. it's because certain no. men will take advantage. Just certain limits. men, older men that no, mature, like that. They're, they're 40, 50 years old going after these 18, just turned 18 yesterday girls. <laughs> it's not okay because it's literally them looking for control, someone that they can just treat like a little toy at the house. What if I told you girls want a guy who's in control? Mm -hmm. Not 
of himself. Exactly. <laughs> of himself. Exactly. Yeah. But so, not of the Yeah, as... he's in control of himself, which the woman is tied to himself. So if I'm in control of myself, okay. this is how so my life is. Mean, right. If you want to be a part of it, it's your choice. Okay. You can be in or out. Right. Gerard, why are you like it's... that? You're all in the industry. I what? mean, I'm an artist. Why would you like a guy that don't let that don't let you be? I'm gonna be faithful to my man, and I have always been. I've never cheated. Okay. And why would I want? I want someone dominant that can that that can also support me. You know, I'm an artist. I know I'm gonna be on a stage. People are gonna be looking at me. I want a dominant man, but then a man that can that doesn't let me be. Yeah, why would you stop there her from prospering? There are gray areas. Nobody, nobody I know this podcast so, okay. is all about black and white, nobody but there are gray that. areas. Nobody you're gonna have that. to admit it. Nobody she, said any of that. You're right. just like putting words in now, just randomly. Mm. The, sim the argument was no. simply: this all started from men want younger women, right? Which you guys yeah. didn't like that. No, no it's not that That's we don't like it. When you have 18 years old, you have not lived certain things, so you know mm -hmm. how easy it is from a man on the late 20s, early 30s to Taking impress advantage. a girl that just has 18 years old you're so easy to impress right. uh -huh. and to dominate so much more easy than a woman yeah, that right. already graduated from college question has a lot you. of culture let me ask her a question let me ask her a question you have an experience has a lot of options cool no, actually <laughs> let me ask you a question do you think what's more attractive if i have a lamborghini and i let a girl get inside what do you think is more attractive her saying, oh, wow, my friend has one of these. I've been in one, one before. Or, oh, I've never been in Lamborghini before. What do you think is more attractive to the guy? If it's a guy with that ego that Please wants... answer the question. Depending on the guy. Because I will not date a guy that needs that validation. Okay, yes. please answer mm -hmm. the question. <laughs> I'm answering is, to you what the is question. More, what, is more, what do you think a guy is going to find more attractive? The thing is, in life, everything is not black or um, white. There is a middle general, point. In general. I will not date a guy that needs that validation. Because Jesus Christ. Because I don't need that. And I would not be that person because okay. I've been in 20 Next question, years. I think the answer but is not <laughs> Next question. At 18, I was not. Next so question you could here. Easily what if, the, what if the guy hmm. says, yo, I was just in Tulum last week. It was awesome. I was there with my friends. What do you think is more attractive? The girl that says, I've never been to Tulum. I'd love to go sometime with you. Or... I've been at Tulum with my girlfriends. It was awesome. What's more attractive? But that's the, the first whole time. No, stop, 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 stop. Please it's, answer the question. It's the same answer I'm going to give to you. The Which guys is? are mad and I say, oh, yeah, I've been to Tulum and I've been to the restaurant yeah. and this and that. They are like, oh, well, nice. Do you like it? Yeah. And it's all good. Okay. Now, yeah. let me give you the real. Most guys would prefer the girl that said, I've never been to Tulum. I'd love to go with you sometime. Right. And the reason why is because when a girl says, I've been in a Lambo before, I've been here before, I've been done, done this before, etc. You know what the guy thinks in his head? She's a whore. She belongs to the streets. Right? Because yep. let's keep it a thousand. Girls don't pay for their own luxurious trips nine out of ten times. I've been but to the bar myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Women don't buy Lamborghinis. Women don't go to the luxurious places I've by themselves a lot of the time. Of the and, and hold on, myself. stop. Again, I'm saying in general. Are there girls out there that pay their own way to Dubai or whatever? For sure. Every now yeah. and then. Yeah. But in general, when girls go to these luxurious places, are in these fancy cars, living a certain lifestyle, most guys in their head are going to assume, hmm, this girl's assume. fucking to get that type of treatment. Whether assume. it's true or not is irrelevant. Yeah. Again, whether it's true or not is irrelevant. He's made up his mind. Okay, she's in the streets category. I'm just telling you how men think. You can accept it or not. But when I meet a girl and she tells me, I've traveled, I've been all over the world, etc. She's in foreign cars and all this other shit. I automatically assume this girl's for the streets. She's went ahead and probably had a sex with a bunch of guys because dudes don't allow girls to ride in their Lambos, mm -hmm. go on trips with them, etc. Without fucking. Now, are there some girls that are able to finesse it and not necessarily fuck or whatever? Sure. Or pay for their own trips? Sure. But 8 out of 10 of the times, they're fucking to get that type of treatment. So, guys so my saying. thing is, I'm going to assume she's a hoe. Sorry, that's the truth. That's how men think. Okay, can it's I true. say oh, something? Go ahead, please. I'm done. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah sure. assume it's one thing. It's valid. You can assume that's judging people, and that will always be wrong because you're gonna judge someone. What about if the person like me has been to all those countries because she won a full tuition and scholarship, and the government paid for you to be at every freaking country that you want, and you don't have not even one student loan or one debt because you cannot be ugly and you can still have brains. So no guy is going to come to you and impress you because he has a freaking ears. Okay, so you don't want to judge you a book by you know? its cover. 
Yeah, that's probably not your Exactly. Okay, question Because for you. you know what? If you're a man, you can look. I can meet you, let's say, right here at, at Gecko, and you're dressed better than today. Uh -huh. And we have a nice conversation. Uh -huh. And I get attracted by you <laughs> because, because you are successful. Uh -huh. And we get into a conversation, whatever. And then I get to know you. Uh -huh. You know, I'm going to always give you the opportunity for me to get to know you for, for us. I'm not going to judge you like that. But then if I see you're a woman, I answer you're done. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, that's disgusting. Yeah, that, you, you have know, no respect. This is very interesting. They, you don't want a man like full of STDs. Man okay, so you don't want to. Yeah. You don't. You, you, you know? don't want to. You don't want to be judged just off of face value. You don't want to be judged a book by its cover, right? Exactly. Okay, you want the guy to get to no me. No woman wants that. Okay, fair enough. How about this? Let's say, and I'm going to ask you this. Let's say you're at a nightclub and some guy comes up to you and he's like, "Hey, uh, uh, you're really hot. What's your name?" <laughs> okay, <laughs> and he's wearing jean shorts and a white baggy T-shirt. I'd love to take you out sometime. What would you do? Run. Okay. Bye. What? Hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice. That guy's a multimillionaire, very good guy, nice guy, has three dogs, has a would be a loving husband and father to your children. But what did you do? You judged the book by its cover, correct? So mm. here's the thing. Women don't like well, it. Well, no, let me finish my point. 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 Women hate it when we judge a book by its cover for them. But they're okay with judging a book by its cover for us all the time mm -hmm. when a man approaches you and he doesn't approach you right you will decline him immediately mm -hmm. but when a guy meets you and you say certain things and he declines you it's a problem why is it okay for women to judge a book by its cover but it's not okay for men to judge a book by its cover the reality it's is this okay either we're way. all judged mm -hmm. by the book on the cover the difference is this if you're a man and your book isn't attractive enough they're not going to pick up the book with men we'll pick up the book look at it real quick and we'll never buy the book. We'll just put it down because we found out she went to Tulum. She did all this extra mm -hmm. shit. So the only difference is men will at least pick up the book, but they ain't buying it. Right. But women refuse to accept this fact that we can judge a book by its cover too. You expect us to get to know you and learn you and figure this all out that you actually, you know, got a scholarship to travel and those Lamborghinis are your dads and everything else. No, we're just going to assume you're a hoe. Just like you assumed I was a weirdo when you came and, you, and I tried to shake your hand and take you on a date. Women always want to reserve the right to judge a book by its cover. You can assume maybe for you, I don't think no woman is a hoe. Even if they are <laughs> prostitutes, I I rather have them <laughs> selling their bodies instead of giving it to like a piece of shit man around the streets oh that beats her or do something. By definition, she's a hoe though. So, okay. But you can behave like a hoe, depending on your body language, depending on how you talk, depending on a lot of things. But you cannot judge a woman that looks normal but and has done all this what? stuff but, that she's a hoe but to be fair we don't want women you know and they think that i think you guys are full of stds you guys are full of stds because you guys fuck every girl you guys yeah. you guys like to work on them well, you know what first off, you, you know, know who gave us who gave <laughs> women bph you want facts <laughs> men and men men don't ever show symptoms do you know cancer in this in the cervix it's because of men Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Congratulations. And you know, you know, okay. that's a minority and you know you of men. Can give right. that minority to your wife. Of ten you, men fucking say, you probably do you could carry do most, the most STDs? Women. Right. Because so of carry, you. No, no, so it's okay you to carry and give us the shit. Because right. of and you. Tell them oh, STDs. No. Nah, bro. Ladies, yes. do you not understand? Do you not understand that one in three men is celibate? Okay? Versus there ain't no one in three women that's celibate. Women are out here fucking, but a lot of dudes are not fucking. What? So, what? See, they, what? they don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's yes. true. It's the majority true. of Fact. men, the Fact. majority of men are not having sex like that. But a majority of women are definitely having sex like that. Most right. guys can't even get a date because it's That's easier. True, right? It's oh, way easier for you guys to get laid. Like, Only is, porn. See, here's the thing: when I right. hear that a man is promiscuous, uh, is promiscuous, I'm immediately like disgusted. I don't like it. Like you well, don't like him, a woman guess that's what? promiscuous. Only a minority maybe, of men. Maybe it's just Only me. a minority of men could be promiscuous. That's what yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Right. A majority of women are out here ha have at least one person they're dealing with sexually. Most guys can't even get a date, man. Right. Yes. Well, think tough. about it. Oh, wow. Half of y'all, how many of y'all have OnlyFans? Raise your hands. Yeah. Raise your hands. Okay. How many of you guys are, you know, got a good following, etc., on social media, whatever it may be? You guys want to know your entire industry is built upon male thirst? Absolutely. Think about this for two seconds. Think about this for two seconds. If dudes were actually out here fucking, mm -hmm. all of you will go broke. Uh, no, men would not pay for OnlyFans. Men would not true. watch porn. Fact. Men would not be sitting here paying for drinks and doing those, all this extra shit. So your entire industry is predicated on men not getting sex. Being bored I think home. what happens is like, they see what? the top guys getting girls and think, oh, uh, all guys are getting girls. No, the guys right. that are successful with money, uh, good looking, they got girls. But That's right? a minority the of men guy? that are fucking. Getting laid. Right. So again, going back to what I was saying, women 
get to go ahead and judge a book by its cover. But if we judge a book by its cover, it's considered fucked up. All I'm saying is that we're doing the same thing you guys do. Right. Y'all reject us, but if I, I'll reject a girl too. If a girl tells yeah. me, oh, I'm, I've been in Lambos and I've been traveling or whatever, in my head, I'm turned off. And that's good. You do that. It's it's bad. It's wrong both ways. A, a lot we of guys are turned off by we that. We shouldn't judge anyone by its cover. He's and too I short. Agree. He's I agree. broke. Right? Yeah, bro. Well, what are you I talking about? Maybe that's you, not the cover, baby. That's too. a whole right. package. That's a whole book. Bro, women reject women. Uh, women reject men off face value all day, every day. Right. Right. And you women. What? And you reject women because of the same reason. Like bad men, girls men, can't get into the club in LA. You see that whole thing? Yeah, yeah. but but men don't bad reject girls, women nearly. So girls. we do the same thing men, and it's wrong. Men, men mm -hmm. don't reject women to the same level nearly that women reject men is what we, I'm trying to say. But you guys will fuck. Yeah, just for sex. We reject you guys for relationships. Right. But we're not going to reject you for attention and having sex. Is There's my a point. lot of men that get violent with women that don't find it attractive. Bro, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. 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 I don't even know why. They do. Why I've never about? seen somebody like completely get that's, violent that's with so a dark skinned woman or right. something. It's, it's a that's so a dark skinned woman. <laughs> okay, we got Nav Geek says, Myron, for future podcasts, make the ladies write their answers on a piece of paper because they all just repeat each other. Also, how did you manage to find a, a witch to bring on? <laughs> okay. Uh, Undesirable says, can the girls name at least one country in Africa? If not, please send the asteroid. Jordan. Let's do it. Can I just do it? Let's do it. I, I, I call yeah, we'll, Ghana. We'll oh my God. Kenya? I was just. Oh, I call Ghana. I, don't have any other I call Ghana. I have I call Zimbabwe. Ghana. Okay. Ghana. Egypt. Ghana. Ghana. Morocco? Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, I don't know. Ghana? <laughs> Jordan? Mali? Liban. What? Liban? Is that how you say? Okay. Okay. I don't have one. Libya. I only Libya. Libya. Africa. Libya. 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 Okay. Yeah. That was a great exercise. <laughs> Me and my three inch says, I feel like Chris Merch. <laughs> Ladies, do you get more attention all dolled up or natural look? So, I get more compliments when I'm natural. I told I got told to look like a clown, even though I don't wear that much makeup. Mm -hmm. It's like the lashes, but I get told all the time yep. that I'm natural and natural. I'm more natural. I'm on jet skis all day long. Okay. I'm more natural. Um, I do wear light makeup, but I'm always told that I look younger when I don't wear makeup. So New York. Yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely get hit on more when I, I don't have any makeup on and I look bummy. Okay. Um, when I have makeup on. Okay. When I don't have makeup. What was the question? So, do you get more attention without makeup or with makeup? Oh, with. Do you get more attention? I think when you go out and you're all like dressed and glitz and glam and all of that, you get it's it's always more. Okay. Yeah. For you? Yeah. Uh, really both. I mean, yeah. boop boop. I spend a lot of days without makeup, and it's the same attention whether I wear it or not. All right. And you? More natural. Natural. <laughs> both. Both. I take back my answer. No, it is both. Wait, both. Wait. Okay. Rusty uh, Shackleford says, first live show in a while." But for good reason, all my time is spent working, making six figures a year for the first time in my life. In an amazing shape at 37, finally free from a toxic relationship. FNF generally changed my life. Thank you, gentlemen. We got you, bro. Colt says, uh, thank you, Fresh and Fit, for introducing me to Tate. Upgrading my mindset. I thought I was depressed until I realized my life was depressing. So I'm going to you on my way to becoming free. Hope to one day sit at the table. Thank you. All right, <laughs> nigga. All right Jay Martin goes three or four ratings from Iron. Chicago Streets goes six. Brittany Rent Free, five. Tina turnover six, eyelashes six, plus two for keeping it real with Miss Personality. Silver Stink, the five. Chalupa, uh, yeah, Chalupa six. Chimichanga, Chimichanga six. Margarati, uh, Margarat, Ma Margarito, Ma Ma Margarito, five. Miss Relationship, five. Columbia, six. Anyone have any response to Jay Martin? Who's that? What is this rating? So? I'm confused. Oh, one out of ten. Who's what he's rating? Yeah, one out of ten. You guys didn't rate us. Ten being the worst. Oh, oh no, yes. you guys didn't. You guys oh didn't. shit. So who's who? <laughs> right. Because I'm like, oh, which one is <laughs> oh, no, no, me? Who's okay, so we'll start with okay. Chicago Tinder. streets oh, of okay. six. Brittany rent free five. Tina turnover six. Eyelash is six plus two for keeping it real with Miss Personality. Eight. So he really gave you a four. Uh, Silver Stink five. Was, was Chalupa personality? six. Was that Chalupa? I guess it's me. Who's Miss Personality? Are you Chalupa? Chalupa? Yeah, you, you called you Chalupa, yeah. Uh, it's like a boat, a mini boat. Chimmy, Chimmy Changa is six. <laughs> Chimmy Changa. That's Miss Don't Judge a Book by its Cover. 
<laughs> Mar- Margarita Ho. He gave you a five. Margarita Miss Relation, Miss Relationship five. <laughs> and then Columbia, he gave her a six. Yeah. Uh, y'all, want, y'all want us to rate y- you guys? Yes. Yeah. Are you guys sure? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Go ahead. Okay. Wait, All right. first. I lost like three pounds, so we just start there. Right. <laughs> Christina Brownlee. Uh, if you guys really want us to do it, I, we might hurt your feelings though, because we're going to be very, very honest. Oh we're my not God, gonna... just go. Okay, all right. Hey guys, it's Trill Steen, Perfect 10. You made him late for <laughs> dinner by taking the boring callers first. Hashtag Top Jew. Thank you, Christina. I appreciate that. Um, and then we're going 50 and up. Uh, is Chris running a prank? This is by far the dustiest FNF palette panel I've ever seen. Nah. This nigga, bro. Nah. Uh, and then um, who else we got here? Uh, Myron, where's deodorant? Silver stinker does not. Classic agree to disagree. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what the? F- shout out to FNF Dallas and Rod Eric for coming on we my panel already. tonight. Uh, we did. Yeah. Uh, okay. Purple pill pod. Okay. And then uh, I think we're almost caught up here. Uh, Fresh, make the Colombian do your laundry with me. <laughs> <laughs> what? He, I didn't understand that you was. A... Do you do laundry? I do. You do for men. Well. I don't have a boyfriend yet. No, I, I broke up a little uh, ago. <laughs> How long ago did you break up with him? Um, like six months. Is that why you came to Miami? No, that's not the reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> name one thing you did wrong in the relationship and name one thing he did wrong in the relationship. Ooh. Actually, um, I think he has a good heart, but a little bit immature. Okay. Um, and maybe I should have um, under- understood I should have understood. That's how you say it. Mm-hmm. I should have understood. Understand. Or maybe manage things differently. Such as? Private things. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, do these ladies know any perfect tens asking for a friend? I don't know if they do. Uh, who else sit here? Uh, and then we're going to turn to ladies ask question, right? No. Uh, or, or we're going to rate them. We're going to do uh, rating and then close up with the cue- Cuevo. Quavo? It's sweetie. Oh, oh shit. I'm not aware of that. Okay. Sleeping around for a woman shows her lack of discernment. You can have your hot girl summer, but those choices prevent you from having a high value man putting a ring on it. If you don't value your own body, why should any man come clean up the mess you created? Oh shit. Agreed. A- Agreed. Anybody? Okay. Anybody else have anything? That. Disagree with that? Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, uh, Oh, Oaski goes. Fresh ain't quiet. We can't. We just can't understand the motherfucker. All love though, fresh. All right. <laughs> uh, it's always feels before reels. Modern day women are the worst. Hey man, it happens. Bro. And then Alvin Sam goes. Uh, from the Daily Mail, based on an empirical st- study, men naturally want more than one woman. There you have it, ladies. End of discussion. Right. <laughs> Just because Alvin Sam says it. Okay, Alvin, thank you. There was was a study that was done by the Daily Mail and men overwhelmingly (laughs) prefer to have one more than one woman. Thank you, Daily Mail. Am I like speaking Chinese or something? Like, how do y'all not know this? (laughs) Oh, I know. I I think that this is like common sense. Like, have you ever been cheated on by a guy? That should Mm -hmm. tell you exactly what I mean. You never been cheated on by a guy? No, no. You don't know. I got cheated on. You don't know. (laughs) You definitely did. Yeah. Uh, Handsome fire. Okay. Myron and Mr. Popo are the mouthpiece for the majority of men because we are unable to speak in fear of being canceled. High value men only want 304s for fun, never for our legacy. Within the hospital, so many of these basic uh, tropes are proven true on a daily basis. Thank you, Zentience. I appreciate it. He's a doctor, by the way. So he agrees with what we're saying. I mean, a lot of guys in the chat do. Ladies, men can't be honest about this stuff because... I mean, look at how you guys lashed out. It's rooted in pedophilia. That's not true. Misogyny. <laughs> See, that's that's that is why guys can't be honest. I mean, th- that's a crazy argument to make. Why? Because the woman would leave if they're honest. More than likely, 100%. yeah. But then that's what you know. You weren't. You didn't communicate that. So yes, yeah, she will leave because you didn't say this is open. You know, he wasn't honest. That's no, what no. I'm saying. Men for can't the, be honest. That's, my, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. You think it's good if the woman uh, makes that boundary in the beginning? So right, the man doesn't have to lie, and we just get right, right. in the beginning, so then he feels comfortable. Well, well okay, well, think about they this, would ladies. Never do We've it. the this show's been going on for about two plus hours now. Mm-hmm. We've told you uncomfortable truths of how men really think the whole show, and all of you have had serious issues with it. Mm-hmm. So think about that for a second. Except you. So the very few women have been accepting of it on the panel. So why would a guy be honest, knowing that most girls can't understand this stuff? But then they're risking like wasting time getting involved buying the house the the ring the last name and then potentially losing it all when when it hits the fan 
Well, again, it's a risk worth taking because yeah, that, that's how strong the primal urge is for men to have sex with other girls. Perfect, perfect. You know, like your primal urge to get married and find a guy is very strong, right? Yeah. That's not our primal urge. Mm -hmm. Our primal urge, we give you the ring in the relationship a lot of times because women want it. Yeah. Men typically, if they could, they would stay single forever and fuck as many girls as they could and have one main chick. But most guys can't do that. Most guys don't have the ability to do that. They have to, they have to be monogamous, allegedly, what? to one girl. What? Who are your friends? Because my ex wanted to marry me so bad and he's only 25. Maybe well, he, you haven't met a high value man. Those talking about a, the job. Yeah, yeah, high high if you were so high value, why'd you break up with him? Because he was immature. <laughs> and a discussion. <laughs> what was that? You had something you were saying? No, she doesn't. Said. She's not going to help you. You have nothing yeah, no, to no, say. No, it's not about that. No, I, she said something. I thought she said something. I no. did not. But no, the reality is if he was high value, you would have stayed with him. That's yeah. the truth. I'm talking about me. I'm talking like, oh, men don't want to get married. Oh, but he wanted. Okay. okay and, you, and you didn't and you didn't marry him because he wasn't high value. Yeah, but that's another thing. I'm just talking. I'm just trying to discuss your argument. Men don't want to get married. Oh, no, that's not true. You haven't met men being the, the majority and you're talking about you and one well, specific <laughs> man. So is the majority, a majority. Is the majority that you know. The, the people that you surround yourself with or the people you attract to your Here's life. Here's the thing. I can debunk her right now. Yeah. Her her actions speak everything. He was a lower status man. He no, wasn't he, was he wasn't that attractive. And he angled for commitment with you and you declined them, which tells me everything I no. need to know. Because the reality is if you truly loved, admired, and respected him, you would have chased the relationship with him. However, he, he was wasn't established yet. Average, Let me finish my point. But he was Let me finish my point. That's okay. All. I already know off of your actions. I don't care what you say. Your actions speak volumes. You left him, you broke up with him because he didn't measure up to what you want. No. And he probably was trying to angle for a relationship with you because you were of higher, you were hotter, you were probably out of his league. That's why he tried to angle for a relationship. When a guy angles for a relationship with a girl prematurely like that, don't, that's the equivalent to a girl. Don't that's close a slut. my value just by being hot. Like, that is how men evaluate women. Sorry. Uh, that's uh, the reality. Oh, baby, I'm more what? than that. Mi okay, amor, I'm more than that. Okay. Oh, you can God. say that I'm more than that, but men look at women based off beauty. So you were probably out of that guy's league. He wanted to commit to you. He's not want to give you a relationship. Not okay. Just beauty. You said yeah. no. That's how men evaluate women. It's all looks. No, you're okay. the man you know. Bro, this girl's delusional. No, no, I'm not delusional. No, I'm, delusional. I'm just from, delusional. From, another, from another country. She's from this Colombia. Is, this is so bro. messed up here. Where beauty, I'm sorry. Where beauty is one of the most. I'm sorry. How many I'm Colombian sorry. girls? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to use Colombia as an excuse? How many Colombian women get BBLs, veneers, go to the gym? Have keep their hair long, have extensions. Colombia women are some of the <laughs> biggest offenders of vanity. Yes. Colombia women are by well, far some Columbia. of the the, yes. the biggest yes. uh, influencers when it comes to beauty and natural uh, standards. I'm so sorry. When it sorry, comes to beautiful but women, Colombian women, we are so much more than that. You have no idea. We can do BBL, paisas, Medellin, whatever you have in your mind, narcos, cocaine. Nah. -uh. Latinas have the best education in the whole entire you're world. missing the point He's no i'm that. not i'm not you're, you're missing you're the point. trying to frame us and we are not that you're missing the point I'm not colombian, no colombian women are some of the most vain women that there are bbls veneers the one you know etc the ones you know the ones you know <sighs> oh my god there's a reason yeah. why so many men go to Colombia because Colombian women take care of themselves and they understand that their beauty is their primary currency. Right. So for you to sit here and be delusional and say, oh, he, he my, it's my personality. Fantastic. You might have a great personality. Men don't give a fuck about that up front. We want a hot girl. Up the personality front, comes after. Front. The looks come first. The right. personality comes after. I guarantee you, him being 25, not knowing how the world really works, etc. Let me finish looks. my point. The ring doesn't him come being 25, looks. you saying that he's immature confirms what I already know. He doesn't know life, etc. He's not in a position to actually have you take him seriously. You didn't want to commit to him, even though he gave me the ultimate commitment because he wasn't high value enough. Your actions dictate everything. No, I don't need to know anything. It's not that. He was immature and that's all. He can have all those things. Which he can have money, said. but he was immature Which emotionally. Which is what I just, Which I, what I just literally just said. All right, guys. Next. next. Bro, this girl, man. Yo, you don't live in reality. No offense. But, uh... No, I surely don't. You don't. Don't you share do the mindset. Though. I've stated several here. facts that you refuse to accept. You guys should go on a date after this. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Oh, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Silver here, 304 is wrong about pedo. Men want a woman who is chaste, loyal, fit, feminine, submissive, and without baggage. Mm -hmm. An 18-year-old versus a 25-year-old is vastly different, especially today. 25-year-old doesn't come with the baggage of dealing with Pookie and Ray Ray. You have anything you want to say to that? 
Who, who's Pookie and Ray Ray? <laughs> Pookie and Ray Ray. <laughs> <Who's that? clears throat> oh. What he's basically saying is that men prefer younger women because they come with less baggage typically. Right. Is that always the truth? No, mm-hmm. but in general, men yeah. Men prefer younger women because it's easier to control and because sometimes they are just easier to get Do you in prefer a position. younger or older men? Um, I like people around my same age to be honest okay so you would date a guy that's 18 19 yeah and take him seriously yes because we can grow together okay you're saying that now because you're, you're yeah you're young but yeah. when you get older you won't yeah. say that yeah right. no for right. sure uh ladies stop being delusional even if you're 30 plus and have the best plastic surgery work out eat healthy and do everything possible your body slash uterus isn't young anymore yeah high value men want a legacy with a worthy woman and if you can't give that we don't want you Mm. Agreed. What? Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> you have something to say to that? Go ahead. <laughs> no, I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> I just don't get it. It's like men don't want it's holes. Super disappointing. Yeah. You guys don't want holes. Yeah. But you guys will fuck a hole that's been ran through. Yeah. And will you will fuck up your whole family for a hole. Uh, you're missing the point here. The hole mm. doesn't have the relationship. Yeah, but what if your woman just leaves and you just mess that up for a hole that's been ran through? Well, this is why we tell guys to be honest, but Again, this is why women got to put their ego aside and understand that men are always going to want to have sex with other girls. Yep. I feel like those are men that are just like, no offense, but I, I think that those are like the general, like the basics. We most of us, we will always go for the exception, of course, because yeah. you don't want. And what is the exception? Everything around. Define there. the exception, man. And to be honest, define the exceptional man. Can you let me talk? Well, we got to understand what we're talking so, about. To and be how the foundation... honest, even if you watch the news, you will see how the Miss Universe killed herself when she's when she turned thirty years old for men's like you and for men's like the followers that talk like that about women. I think if you're rich and successful mm-hmm. and you like the woman, you don't even care. You would not care about anything. Even one of your favorite, the Colombian singer Shakira, the husband ten years younger. You know, you don't care. When you're in love, you don't care. If the person is younger, older, whatever, you just go. And that's it. But you cannot ju- make that. That is like a statement, like a guy goes out there and says, you need to be between 18 and 23. Nobody and said this that. And, that. and this and that. You said most of the guys prefer that. And yes. I can tell then you most that, of the that guys are I don't think that is true. I mean, I, you know, I, literally I agree fact. with the fact you that older it's men like younger women, 100%. Yes, 18 100%, to 24 is that range. You know, 100%. Okay. But, you know, that's not the majority. There are certain ages. I think if you're successful at 30, you're not going to marry someone that's 18. So, you know? True. You Bro, think, what the hell? You think? Like, we literally stated a fact. Women are most attracted to men between 18 to 24. That is a fact. You refuse to accept the fact. And you think, well, I think and I feel like, well, we know... That this is what it is. I, I mean, for that type of men. If I tell you money on between- statistics, statistics don't have the exception, don't have the people that stand out from the crowds, don't have that stuff. You can't make an argument for an exception to the rule. It, you can't make an exception for the one percent. If a majority want this, you can't make an argument for the one percent. That's statistically insignificant, which means it doesn't matter. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't matter. At all, and n- when you said exceptional men, please define these exceptional men so we're on the same page here. What's I know an a lot of men, men that are successful, and they are even dating some of my friends. Like, uh-huh. and you think they're some... faithful to those women? Yes, until <laughs> I, I'm young. <laughs> Even if you're not, let's say they are not. We don't know about that. She doesn't know about that. Some things I'm not Which saying it's okay to cheat. I'm not saying it's okay to cheat, but respect is really important. And you're not gonna go around there yeah. just looking to every woman because she's younger or because she has a butt or whatever. So respect is really important. Do you not? Did you and not if just you're happy and satisfied and pleased, you just contradicted yourself. Woman, you wanted this woman. You just contradicted no one yourself. It. She did. I don't force any guy. She did enforce any guy he's with her because Listen, he if you don't want to be here he cheats, you can go it's I, was, fine. No, it's the, I was listening to the ranting and was, uh, i don't know about that and you said earlier i'm going to go to sleep and stuff so like it's cool when if you did don't i want, say that i heard it earlier i didn't i was listening very closely when miss columbia was speaking that's no, why that, I was that was me that was me going on because uh, she was going man. in and i was just like i'm ready to go to sleep that was me okay what are you saying so basically what i'm saying you forget the girl is your problem no one forces you no one forces you to do that. You don't have to marry someone or live together with someone. So the minimum you can do is just chill and respect. Do you not understand you know? that you contradicted yourself a second ago? Mm-hmm. 
what I'm trying to tell you, okay, when did I contradict myself? Because I said, well, define an exceptional man. You said a guy that has money and is, is successful. I was like, cool. Those guys aren't, uh, you think those guys are faithful? And you said, yes, to some of them date my friends. And I think you really think that they're uh, <laughs> faithful to your girlfriend. And, I said, and I'm telling I you, they're they more are. than likely. Me, I like I'm 24 no. years old. And then you and said, yo. And I've then, been in four relationships. I cannot tell you that I, one of my relationships, I broken up because I, I knew that he cheated on me. It's been for miscommunication, my point again. distance, mm -hmm. so many things. And there is no way that someone had told me, oh, he maybe cheated. He was talking to this girl or this or that. I saw respect. Do you realize that you're proving my point even more? My argument it's is that men are going thing. to cheat and the higher I status think they are, the more they're going to cheat. it's a society thing here. Yeah. People are and you completely keep out people. of boundaries, yes. respect you know? towards women, yeah. women towards themselves, so, and everything is really messed up. That still doesn't change the fact that yeah. I am correct you, you in know, saying that women, most men are going to cheat on women. No, you know why they are still going to do it? You're changing the argument. Well. And you know what? why is that the majority? Because you're educating people. So now you're agreeing. And people are, are, keep, are, are listening to this, to this podcast, to these people. They are gonna keep doing it. So Men educate been people way before this podcast. so that the <laughs> exception Listen. because the Men majority. Men been cheating way before this podcast. I, I, it's only two no, years old. you know why? Right. Because it has always been accepted and validated by us women. By so please, all of the women listening, all of the guys, you can do better. Please don't be an undertake. Please don't think that this is education. Whoa! There you go. Wow. That's my friend, by <sighs> the way. Can I say yeah. something? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry you, can, about you, can, you can say that, but the reality is women are attracted to men that can cheat. So, nice try. Right. Okay, yeah. that can yeah. cheat. That 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 but that don't do can it. Can they cheat. do it anyway. Right. <laughs> well, then I'm not attracted to. I, I guarantee you the reason why you left your guys because he couldn't and didn't cheat on you. But anyway, what? You got, you got what? I mean, no. I kind of feel like <laughs> Go ahead. I, I feel like yes, so what you're saying is That's factual. Different. Everything that you're saying is factual, but then like you're kind of like teaching the population to be like, Well, yeah. it's fact, so like get used to it, like it is what it is, and it's like yeah, it's almost like you're no. like you know, grooming the society to yeah. really like all come in agreement of the same thing, like well, ladies, you're going to have to either accept it because he's a high caliber yeah. man, but instead you should, you know, I don't know, you know what you're doing. Well, no, hold on, hold on. Ladies, so what should we do that? Ladies, get used to this. Ladies, get used to this. You can wait, 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 vote. Wait, 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 you can, wait, wait, you can wait, 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 don't fight. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I should believe right. 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 You're correct. Okay. 100%. Okay. However, let's hear your solution. Go ahead. Um, You know, the men naturally want to do that, Um, but then as a society, we could teach them like that's wrong like and a woman doesn't have to deal with it and like yes you know the woman will stay because he she you know she's up in the penthouse and she has the you know the trips and all that and everything so like i don't know it's just i don't know if we're gonna win or anything but like i think this podcast specifically is just like you know like so, so more you're telling us but i also so feel like us, who are losers wait, now you're like so you're telling us how to run the podcast no i'm not yeah, no, no, no. yeah well, you don't have a solution to the problem right. because there's so, a solution so, so we're just giving guys the reality. Solution Say, hey, you know is what? family. This is how it is. Either adapt to it or just take it as it no, is. No, and I don't so, think. So I you're saying, it. oh, well, you should do it this way. What's the solution? No, no, no. You're just, the problem is you're telling the society, like, you're telling us ladies, girls, are you going to accept it? Yes or no? Are you going to accept it? Yes or no? And it's like, no, I don't accept it. Um, But then you're telling the guys, well, guys, well, that's factual. And see, three of the girls on the panel said they'll stay. Because they're in the penthouse. I just yeah. feel like you I, know, I, 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 I just feel I'm like you're spreading, funny? You know, you're spreading no, the even a topic. In, no, in here, I, I just wanted here, to bring it up. You, you give an answer in real life is completely different. Right. So it's like you say no here, but you say yes outside. So regardless of the fact, we're just telling the guys what it really no, is. No, no, no. And I get it. Like I said, everything that you're saying is like facts and you're laying it on a table for us to hear and like you're giving it to us straight in the face. I feel like you are Merch, like hard. <laughs> yeah well <laughs> you are just like spreading more you're spreading it more i mean no. you're like you're you do realize that this has been going on before the podcast right. it's going to continue during the podcast yeah. it's going to continue after yeah. the podcast the same, way, the same way killers like we're killing and now they learn different ways to kill better because <laughs> yeah. of like society teaching the same them way, you, killing the same way <laughs> you can you can actually <laughs> preach to young people or yeah, like people like that are coming up hey like this isn't okay like yes, it's I just feel, I 
I feel like a positive relationship and respect. I feel like men are not gonna change. They're gonna look regardless. You can literally, you can literally use this podcast. You just gotta teach your women to be independent and do better. Why don't you make a podcast? You do that. Yeah, we can. I did watch it. We can. Okay, fine. The point is, yours is viral. So you make a podcast. Yeah, you make a podcast. Yeah, it's viral. You wanna know why it's viral? Let's peel the layer back because all of you guys, not all. But most women are delusional to a degree yes. and refuse to accept reality. Yeah. I literally had to explain to you that you're going to be less attractive yeah. at 30 than you are at 24. And you guys could not grasp it. <laughs> then right. you had an issue with men judging a book by the cover. But when I use an example you know and said, what, what about you judging a book by the cover? You did not bat you know an eye. It was, yeah, let me finish my point. Like let me finish my point. All right. Point. The reason right. why this is viral is because... Women in general, from watching this podcast, we interviewed almost 1,600 girls now on this show, have issues with the truth. We say the truth, oh, that's fucked up. Oh, yeah, I don't true. like it this way. I feel like it should be this way. Here's the thing. I don't run around and say, I feel like women should like dudes that are broke, five foot five, and fat. Do I say that? No. But you guys want to run around and say, men should not cheat, except women that are hoes, and except girls that are, you can't, you just can't handle me, masculine ass women. No. <laughs> Why is it that what you guys want is okay, but what we want is always demonized, and you guys have some negative connotation for it? It's the same way. Crazy. With you. No, no, I mean, what? I'm thing. glad you guys, you know, are being honest and spreading it. I'm just like, it's sad that, um, like, you're telling me as a woman, I have to just deal with this because this is our new society. This is the new, like, guys are learning from people like you. Average guy. I think that's smart, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think I just it's feel smart. Like, Can I say something? No, I think it's smart. I think that we should take this and instead of us moving with emotion and instead right. of us looking at it like oh my god like i'm with him because he's cute and you know mm -hmm. i'm with him because he's handsome and we're gonna have kids you should really look at it like okay he's a high value man right. i what? can literally build, I, want, I, want I can literally you you're gonna yeah. accept it I've dated a high value man. It Absolutely. comes with that's you. That's have the experience. So you I'm have like, kids. That's I have no me. kids. Yeah. Do you have yes. a seat one day you're gonna have a daughter probably because that's what happens to people like you or like him, and you're gonna see if you're gonna like it's it. Gonna it's gonna happen. Would you, you want your daughter? Tell your girl would you want your daughter? Not what it's the problem that girls ask are your mom. Paid. Ask your ask your mom that same question. Weren't you the same <laughs> one that was going through all the phones? I just don't trust them. Yes, maybe they do a change. Maybe they do a change. So you want to live your whole life? You want to live your whole life just going through these phones? Just okay. So stop dating men that's gonna cheat on you. Man, if you date a high Hold on, hold on. Settling for it. Okay, so settling. Let her, let her finish on. her point, and then the you guys can go ahead. The point that I'm trying to make and, is, oh you have, for example, if this is what comes with it, oh if this is the facts, these men are giving us the facts. So me, I'm going through phones. I'm like, okay, I need to see what's going on from my own eyes. Mm. Y'all giving me facts. Oh, it, it comes from this. It comes from that. I have my own idea of what's going on because it's in my face. So that's why I'm like, things. men are the high value men are going to cheat. Right. But yeah. does it doesn't matter. Yeah. So at the end of the day, what you have to do now, I know, okay, in my next relationship, I'm now going to know how to move. It's Facts. almost like how you're you giving move? game. Yeah. It's you like giving and game. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, go you're ahead. giving <laughs> game and you're also giving answers. So now it's like, if you make the same mistake, like you're like, oh, you stayed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it was perks into it. Don't get me wrong. And like you, it, you were accepted. You accepted it. You accepted that disrespect. You accepted but yourself. It's also, just it's also the time. Being used it's as the a, time. What do you mean okay, the time? Let's say you date someone a year. It's perks into that year that you've been together. Also, the experience. The perks. Also, the, the money. knowledge. Money. It could be trips. It could be jewelry. It could be whatever. Does that fulfill you? <laughs> Look what you feel. Does that fulfill you? Does that make you feel happy? Hold on, like, ladies. Does that make you feel happy? Yeah, 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 let her, let her finish yeah. her point. Yeah, like please. this is this is because she thinks like you. This is it, it's sad. the facts. You're just interrupting and on top of that, listen. We're first of all, we're all young. Like y'all all on this side, so y'all. You're eight, 19, 24, right. 24. Y'all right. really don't have experience <clears throat> like right. that. You said you were only with four men. <laughs> Four relationships, excuse me. So at the end of the day, and I'm not saying like whatever, but I'm just going off of experience. So when these guys are saying these specific facts and I'm seeing it with my own eyes from the beginning, I wasn't going through phones. I wasn't doing all that. But 
as I started to listen to podcasts like this, just started to see funny movements, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, let me see what's going on. Right. Now I know how to move. And uh, right, so you know you how had, to move. You know, real quick, she, she had something and then you, you can go. No, I just know like most of the people that I met that uh-huh. are, uh, think like her ended up in marriages that the men always have like double and triple lives. Okay. You know, oh. so good luck. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay. I, good yeah, luck. And no. that's the thing. Good I wouldn't luck. marry this man. Exactly. I would not marry this you man. man. So what are you going to do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let her finish her point and then we'll most go Most of those men then... that are, you are also saying that are with women that are think like you and they are considered high value men. And it's okay because he wants to be the main wife or whatever and accept those things that the man has more families outside of the marriages and all that humiliation. Because if someone does that to me, I will be so embarrassed and humiliated. Uh, so you cannot mm-hmm. accept yeah. someone since the beginning because he's a high value man. You cannot accept someone since the beginning based on that. You know, it's yeah. so much more than that. Because yeah. there is a lot of men that are successful, smart, and a lot of that stuff. But what makes the difference? The respect, the treatment, everything that you're receiving. Yeah. And it someone was that, that is giving you... It the, was that. Like, that to, my face, that to my face, you know? it was res- I wasn't disrespected where it was like in my face with it. It was sneaky. You're so at the end of the day, men are, gonna, men are going to do it, ladies. They're going to do it. Just accept it. Right. Like, so you, I, you, you, had, wrong. you got something, I got she something. Had something. Yes. And then And then Columbia, go ahead. You got something? Okay, so I don't under... According to whose values is he a high value man? Because I would think that you would value yourself enough to be respected by this mm-hmm. person and not let yourself just get cheated on. And the the perks, <laughs> oh, we can go on a trip, but I'm going to sleep with this person. I'm just going to treat you like you're some side object and like you don't believe like you don't you like you don't need fulfillment. Like oh you don't God. need happiness. It wasn't like, that. Let me speak like you don't need like something else in life because you're not going to spend your whole life. Just thinking, oh, I'm going to go on these trips. I'm going to go on this. Even when you have kids, because do you want kids? Mm -hmm. So you want kids and they're going to know. They're going to know that he's not only with you. You're just going to teach your kids. Oh, okay. You're going to get cheated on. You're going to have to live this life where all you get is material values. You're not going to have that same emotional properties because you you're just... Get yeah, she, you, don't you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. I hope I never get yeah. to feel right. like that. Right. You don't get it. I will never be just going through hell. Let me ask you guys this. 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 Let me ask you no. So no do you know. your own? And then, and then on top exactly. of that, you're in a even if you have so your own, own word, even you're not you even your, your own, own person. But I am my own person. No, you, you yes, literally I have to move yes, accordingly to no, this person's no, thought that no. you didn't Can you let her finish her exactly. point, please? Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, <laughs> if you're dating a millionaire, they're going to cheat on you. And no offense, they're going to cheat on you. So at the end of the day, when it comes to this platform, they're actually prepping men. And I give you guys respect. Because at the end of the day, men need to hear this for women like y'all, mm-hmm. like seriously. They need to hear because what? Because y- women like you, you don't get it. You don't. So you go into society, you go into the world, and you have this fairy tale. Pre- yeah, this fairy tale, like this illusion. And yeah. it's like the reality is, is that at the end of the day, the older you get, I don't want you. I want somebody that's young, less baggage, less mouth. Less disrespect. So just so, shut up so, and be an so object. It's not about shut up and be an obje- object. And then another thing too, you're very, you're very rude. Very disrespectful. <laughs> I'm not being you're rude. very rude. I mean, if I don't agree with even something, with the I'm pedophilia, just, that's that, a strong, that's a strong statement, and that has nothing to do it with. It is pedophilia. It has nothing to do with this show. It definitely At the end, has no, pedophilia. No, it does not. At the end of the day, what these guys are doing is they're teaching men 
how we so are be valued. pieces of shit. No, no. Definitely. And shout out to Andrew Tate too, because at the end of the day, <laughs> this is no, no. At the end okay. of at the end of the day, women like you need to hear this because you are going out there looking for these millionaires. You're not looking at no. average men. Women like me but. need to hear not to just let yourself be slutted out and disrespected by these. You men. allow it. No. That's the difference. You're women allow it. it. No, 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 no. First no. of all, women allow it. Call me voice. Women have sex. Women have sex. Women have sex. Women have sex. I, I, no. Women I have clearly sex. said that I would date a, re- a regular person. If you, you open know, your legs will, and you allow you yourself know, to have sex with what somebody, what I'm not going to do is allow myself to yo, be disrespected. Like no, man, because I was speaking too, and then she yeah, started yelling well, at me. No worries, no worries. You're single, so you don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why yeah, I would rather that. be single than be trapped in that relationship. That I have relationship. I'm totally happy. I would think so. All right, so I'll go with you because you didn't get to talk yet, and then you, and then Columbia. Glad to pass by you yeah. and see who we're we're not, next. She's not saying that you have to deal with this man. And I'm saying I've been with a millionaire myself. He cheated on me with the escort. They're going to cheat. I've been around multiple millionaires. The Just more money they blows. have, the the more they think in their head, I can have whatever I want because right. I have money. This blows me. So uh, either you deal with it or you don't. I personally won't deal with that. So I either go for a normal guy, someone that's not a millionaire, but I know what I'm getting myself into. So the only thing we have to do is teach your daughters, whoever, yourself, to have your own money, to be independent, to not rely on a guy because you're going to have to deal with it. And you know need money, you're going to have to deal with it. Right. Sorry, so I want right. to one point to that as well. Oh, okay. Ladies, either cry in a Rolls Royce or Torta Corolla. <laughs> you can cry in one of them. Yeah. So choose which one you want to cry. That's in. why a Rolls Royce doesn't impress me. So that's it's like whatever. I'll just uh, buy it. my own Rolls Royce. Exactly. Right. Uh, Colombia and then you, because you didn't get to talk yet. Yes, no, I have. I have nothing to say at this point. Okay. It's sad. It's You're sickening. interjecting all those times before. <laughs> all right. Do you have some? No, means the same. I'm really like in shock. This is impressive. I feel like I'm in this. Uh, era of like mm-hmm. this super Cuba. submissive, desperate Cuba. women, desperate, like, desperate, desperate, yeah. desperate, yeah. desperate, yeah. 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 desperate for money, desperate for bodies. They yeah. sell yeah. themselves and they are basically being escorts. Okay, I want to also say something. Can I look at the cover? Just one second. I just want to. The guy you're defending. Can I look at the cover? Do you have something to hide? No, I don't have anything to hide. Show the cover. Just show the cover. I was actually reve- waiting to reveal that for later. Show it. Wait, what? Get it to me. I'm not going to show scared. it. I don't know what who show you think about? you are, but put your hand back by your side. Women deserve less. That's Fantastic. his philosophy. Okay, yes. can I say okay. something? Well, um, it's a notebook um, and it's funny. It's a joke. But nice try. Not what I was going to say is... Like, I don't know what you're trying to do there. It's not about being disrespect. I mean, um, being disrespected. Because in the relationship, it, at what, it wasn't... Like it was, I didn't feel as if this person was with other people. When we were together, we were, it, it was literally us. It felt like it was a relationship. And that's why he left? No, we left. Uh, yeah. Please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the an answer. Yeah. Uh, then Troll. just let I'm me just speak. Okay. So then don't speak. Okay, so I'm the waiting. point that I'm trying to make is it, it, in the relationship, it's not like, oh, okay, I'm, 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 loudly with other women um um okay you might see me in this spot with a different woman you might see me here with that but it's not that it was a full-on relationship but the thing was is again it's it's when you have a lot of money you feel like you could have so much did he so, tell you like was it an open relationship did he let you know about it were you aware of it we had the conversation well, did eventually. You, were, were eventually. No, not eventually. Did he let you know from jump? So you were disrespected. Long story short. Facts. So that's what I'm trying uh, to hear too. I, like, I'm, I'm I, trying I, to I, I, ladies, are you, are you like not seeing the bigger right. picture here? Yeah. The bigger we told picture you of being the bigger picture is it's, like, it's it's one of two things. He's gonna fuck other girls anyway. You should be happy if he's honest with you and tells you, oh, right. fuck, I'm going to yeah. exercise options. Then you have the ability to walk away. What I'm yeah. arguing yeah. is that even if it's a regular guy, men are only as faithful as their options normally. Yeah. Right. OK, if I lined up 100 dudes, if he was made 50K a year, 100K a year, a million dollars a year, and he had the option to go ahead and have sex with another girl, have a side chick, he's going to take that side chick every time. Sure, yeah. You're not that special. You're you don't. You, Beautiful women are common, bro. Like, right. I don't know why women can't understand the fact that, like, pussy is replaceable. Not only, that's not why it's special. not only beauty. It's not, it's not only beauty. Want to it's have He's saying sex. that's what the guy wants. And this wants. is the difference, too, because you mentioned something about is that what you're going to teach your daughters? <laughs> this is the difference between right. having fathers and having mothers. 
Dads go off of what is real. Women go off of what they feel. My dad told me daughter, to definitely. Stop interrupting, bro. Uh, my dad stop told, interrupting. I'm telling you what my dad told me. I don't me. care what your dad said because well, I'm talking right now. Bring me it up. Okay, go, go ahead. All right, one mic at a time. I told you this from the beginning. Stop interrupting. Go ahead. All right. So anyway, like I was saying, with the fathers, they got to give their daughters a cold hard reality. I'm gonna tell my girl, you want to be with a millionaire? You want to be a guy who has a lot of money? If he provides for you, accept that. Be happy with it. And if he goes and has sex with another girl, it's not that seriously. It's not that serious because you have a ring, you have a last name, you have children with him. So you can literally cripple him if you wanted to by divorcing him. It's all about leverage. But women don't understand the power that they have. They think, I'm special, I'm a princess, I'm a queen, all this other stupid <laughs> shit. That's not the way the world works. The way the world works, your favorite cover, by the way, is typically women deserve less, okay? <laughs> if you want to make this funny. And the reason why I say that, why women deserve less, is because women want a guy who makes more. Women want a guy who is more. Women want a guy who's superior to them. So by default, you deserve less because you want a man who has more. Sorry, that's the way it goes. There's no 50-50 in this situation. She's you know what I'm saying? Like, like, what are y'all talking right, about? She's right? brainwashed. Who's brainwashed? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Who's in a relationship? Yeah. Who's in a relationship? Who's gonna get married? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Y'all probably been listening to Megan and Stallion. Y'all probably been listening to Cardi B, City Girls. Y'all probably twerk. I mean, you disrespect me. You divide your girl. So why are you assuming all this? So it's not about assuming. It's about how you carry yourself. I thought y'all gonna rate us. Are y'all gonna rate us? Because we I mean, might need some humbling uh, at the table. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Bellas. Because again, at the end of the day, like Jesus what you're forgetting Christ. and what you're not understanding, like. <laughs> What's so funny from what she's saying? Like, so literally, mean. she's she's in a relationship. She's in a loving relationship. She's with in a, a man that she loves and has respects. Jailed relationship. I know. How do you know that? They're just sitting forever because they're just sitting back. He doesn't allow me to do this. He doesn't allow me to do that. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. I have a head on fire that a lot of these girls can be in a relationship right now, including myself, and we're not in right now because we don't want trash. to be cheated on. Dude. You know, to we don't want the trash. Badly. So because yes, I can, saying is uh, almost all of us can put up the M's, text, all the person, all the guys hitting on us. Like you don't want to be with trash. You're waiting for someone special. Like I don't want to be treated like that or brainwashed like like someone else, but hold on. you know? I'm not, hold is on. your end goal, goal, is is your end goal marriage? Her man is, is a trash though. Wait, is your end goal marriage though? Is your end goal marriage to be married? Yeah. It's to be married, but yes. with, and to, to be someone, happy, right? And to be happy. I'm not gonna be so happy. So you said, on on you said I'm not gonna settle for someone that they respect of me. Oh, uh huh. You know, and I'm gonna be the mother one day of a daughter. I'm hundred percent sure, and I don't want to teach her that when she's close to thirty, she's less worth it. And, yo, you know, man. You know, this is why women need fathers in their lives. But yo, he's facts. Not and I do like, have this a dad. Crazy. And my dad yo. loves me. My daddy loves ladies, me. Ladies, ladies, I'm sorry. Your, your beauty, didn't. your beauty is perishable. What? Like, th like sorry. the fact that you would tell your Dude, daughter, what? "Hey, at thirty years old, you're gonna be just as attractive as you were at twenty-one," is ludicrous. You're setting your daughter up for failure, and this is, just as this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem when mothers are the only source of guidance. This is why you need fathers. Fathers are important because they tell their daughters, listen, you're beautiful, like a guy down while you still can when your value is the highest. Right, right. That's how it goes. Men look for different things. For you to sit there and say, oh no, you're still at the same value at 30 as you were when you were 21. Let me be honest with you, man. You got two multimillionaires here at the table and a lot of our friends are multimillionaires. We're all looking for girls that are at their peak. We don't want to go ahead and deal with girls that are on the decline because we're already up on the incline. Why am I going to settle with a girl that's losing her value as my value goes up? I'm giving you guys the cold, hard reality. This is how men mate select. Just like you want a guy that has money, you want a guy that's maybe taller than you, more confident, more ambitious. Men could be ruthless too. It's mm -hmm. just that we do it silently. Mm -hmm. And this is why Fact. you make your own money and you don't rely on any man. Nothing impresses this is, me anymore. This is crazy to me how men, I have to explain to you what men like, then justify it. Whereas if you tell me what you like in a man, I'm not going to cool. sit there and argue with you. We get it. Why do you want a guy that's six foot three? You're a dumb bitch. How do I, would I look like that? I, I can't change reality as what I feel like. But you guys are trying to sit here and change reality based on what you feel like. Fuck what you feel like. I'm telling you what men really want. This is the truth. You can accept it or you cannot. If you don't want to accept it, you're going to have a harder time. Uh, speak. Uh, I, I will speak. I will speak. I Just to challenge something that you said sure. earlier. Um, 
uh, that met what women women that women that raise children themselves single mothers mm -hmm. what breed women like us women with these like ideals single mothers are the leading cause of dysfunctional families mm -hmm. if you look at serial killers murderers Shooters. rapists people that are uh, drug addicts alcoholics etc they typically come from single mother households mm -hmm. okay I, I hear you so Sad. you're saying that as a man as a man as a high value man you do not have to be loyal to women that you can you know pick up whatever but let's say let's say you get one of these women pregnant yeah and then you just you just up and leave don't you think you're adding to that st statistic a little bit don't you think that you're you are adding to the problem a little bit by saying you could sit here and scream off the top of your lungs that that what women need a, a, a father yeah. that that if a girl doesn't have a father she turns out to be a slut yeah but then you have a kid and you completely abandon it because you're treat teaching <laughs> these what a man can't be with one woman and that's that's just teaching bad lessons okay question what about for you cannon question for you who picks who has sex men or women women mm -hmm. who has who picks when a child is born women Men. okay Men. so i can take it off i want you to. have women have 100 authority over right. who's born and who's not in the united states mm -hmm. and for all you ladies oh my god roe v wade you can go to a state where you can have an abortion yeah. so therefore if you have a child with a loser it's your fucking fault right. if you are a single mother it's your fucking fault okay. if you end up being a single mother poor but, destitute and you can't find a guy it's your fucking so, fault right. a lot of us at this table would women. say that a lot of us at this table <laughs> would say that a man that cheats is a loser okay. so we yeah. you, so uh, the, a lot of women at this table would say that a cheater is a loser period mm -hmm. point blank maybe not all of us but a lot of women at the table okay, would well, say then that most guys are losers then yeah uh, okay period point blank so then it's our fault for sleeping with men when you're over here mm -hmm. teaching that women should just get over the fact that men cheat period point blank okay if here's the thing <laughs> if i told you that the sun is going to shine every single day and you should wear sunglasses <laughs> because if you don't wear the sunglasses you might fuck up your eyes your retinas and you might get sunburned mm -hmm. right and i give you the spf and i give you the sunglasses and you choose to go out there without the sunglasses or spf and you get burned whose fault is it well 100 percent mine because you tried okay. to warn me <laughs> exactly so what i'm telling women is this is the way the world works yeah. okay fuck and, what you and think and what i'm yeah. saying is that hey, it's listen, creating listen, listen, single mothers listen, listen, listen. Uh, that's all i'm saying listen, is listen, there's listen. more single mothers no 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 no, no 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 i'm telling you this is the way the world works mm -hmm. Fuck what you think. And on top of that, you can choose to put the sunglasses on and the SPF and walk outside. But if you choose not to and you get burned, it's your fault. And now being the, we got to take some accountability here. Mm -hmm. Women have 100% authority over who's born in the United States mm -hmm. and who's aborted. Men have zero reproductive rights in the United States and in Western countries in general. So if a woman is a single mother, she effectively chose to become the single mother because she had a kid with a bum. So it's up to the woman to make that reproductive choice. Accountability. You can't have 100% authority with no responsibility. I guess. I mean, you it's, not, I guess it's, it's, it's something that you can't anticipate. You have a, you, you think you have nine months. I know. I'm saying the, that you have, you not nine months. With no, you don't. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you know that you're weeks. pregnant you for weeks, weeks in. You have 14 weeks. I'm, I'm yeah. talking about before you even like get, Do before get you even months. like know that you're pregnant. I'm talking about before you even know that you're pregnant, you get with this person and you think that it's fucking the rainbows, fucking Notice you sunshine said you cookies. Think before you have the kid, you should know. Right. I mean, it's common sense. Yeah, no, 100 percent, 100 percent. But so that's not always that's not always the case. But I can't, I can't talk on the exception. Er, single no, mothers exception, I get that. are single mothers off of their own choice. No man can force you to be a single mother. Period. They can't. Um, it's rape if they do. Right. Use common sense. Right. It's it's rape what if the they do. Right. Bro. <laughs> okay, bobblehead. Wait. What do you mean, bobblehead? Oh, I'm talking to her. Uh, I mean, it's but she she's agreeing because we're operating in reality. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's, I understand. She, operating you got 56 in... bodies. Yeah. So. Like, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, like, bro, like, it's it's very common. Like, you have a hundred percent authority. When you have authority, what comes with that is responsibility. You ever seen Spider Man? With great power comes great responsibility. Women have a hundred percent of the power Uncle when ben. it comes to. If I have a kid with you, and I say, please keep the kid, you can abort it. I have no say. And the other way around, if mm -hmm. I say. Hey, don't have the kid. You can have the kid, and I have no say. And I gotta pay child support on top of that. <laughs> so come on, man. What are you talking about? With single moms, women choose to be uh, single moms. Women, women. What about religion? All, all I'm saying is, you you're just saying that men men cheat, and that's something that women just yeah. have to fucking deal with. Period. Yeah. Point blank. 
Okay. High value that's men. That's fine. High value men. Where, <laughs> Rich where, men. What? Well, even bums Keep you too, but mind. we'll be honest. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm saying you should accept it from a higher status guy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, like, from a economic and intelligence standpoint, you should accept it from a higher status guy because he's meeting all these other requirements for you. But most guys left to their own devices are going to cheat on you anyway, so why not cheat with, get a winner to so cheat on question, you? So then question, what if it's a high status woman, which I know you don't think that those exist, with a low status man? It, that, that doesn't, doesn't that, even exist. Yeah, that rarely exists because women don't date uh, below them. So, well, so then I would be the status. exception. I would be the Fantastic. exception. Fantastic. Where's your man now? Statistically insignificant. At home. Perfect. Probably you said you were this. single earlier. No, I didn't. Right. You didn't ask. Or you did ask. I never answered that question. I have a boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> 56. What okay. Is that? Mm-hmm. What's like, what does that have to do count? with anything? Like, what is that? Yeah, like, and you're wow. she's 22. She's 22. Oh, okay. She's 22. Okay. She's 22. Okay. She's 22. Okay. Six bodies. That's okay. insane. So, 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 you guys are judging that's her. Kind of, you guys are like, what? That's yeah, crazy. No, that's crazy. Yeah, really think about it. Really think about it. I mean, I agree. I wish I would have waited. I wish I was smarter. I wish that I made better decisions. But at the end of the day, I didn't. And I'm not about to sit here and be ashamed of that. Yeah, but you're trying to shame her on that. Like, why? Shaming or not, it's a fact. Exactly. Bodies she at 22 you years that. old is exactly. crazy. That's, that's my opinion. opinion. Why do you have a problem crazy. with it? I don't have a problem. I'm stating that that's stating crazy. That. You obviously oh use it. Why is that? Yeah. My opinion is yeah. 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 How about this? How about, uh, how, uh, ladies, how about the men weighing on this? Yes, 56 bodies will disqualify you from a majority of men for some type of serious oh, wow. relationship. Not for sure, for sure. And you're sure, but your age is still growing. And then she just throws that as like a, a jab, like, all right, shut up because you have 56 bodies. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, she said bobblehead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she she assaulted her too. Oh, wow. so it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, she is a bobblehead. Well, no, well, yeah, I think you're upset that she's agreeing with everything that is factual. Like, that's the part that that's I'm it. like, guys, yeah, they're going to cheat. Sorry, I hate it. No, they're going to no. cheat, guys. It's, like, it's very much true. It's very much true. So it's then just... she's bobbling because she's like, yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> bobbling. You know and and you can't, you can't yeah. really make the argument for single motherhood when women are the ones that are in the authority position of right. who gets born. Yeah, that's my point. You got to take accountability go here, off, which you refused off. to do earlier, and you blame your mom for everything. So go I mean, it's <laughs> like, bro, you got to take accountability for your own actions. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got it. Got you. There, there's a yeah, there's definitely a pattern here. Uh, All right, so we'll do the chats and then uh, last thoughts because yeah. I, I think uh, it's been three hours now. I Has love it been? this. Yeah, three hours, twenty minutes. I love yeah. This. Okay. I love uh, fifty bucks from Ken, Ken, and we're going fifty and up from here. We got sixteen thousand plus live viewers. Uh, Apito is a person that is attracted to someone that is prepubescent. Weirdo woman, that is prematurity. Stop the BS and shaming. Younger women also have pound. less baggage and trauma. Well, he defined it for you. Do you have anything? So you I, I don't know if you noticed. Sixteen year old. You know that's not here's, true. Here's the problem. Wouldn't you, that make you? You a have a trend here where you don't necessarily know the definition of the words that you're using. Right. <laughs> How? Right. There's if been several so, instances so where you have used sure terms a, that you didn't know. If that. a fifty year year old comes to a 17, 16 year old, I'm gonna call him a pedophile. But that's not true, though. He literally defined for you where that word it's comes not? from. No, it is not. It's it's not you, true. You cannot that arbitrarily... A, a 50, 40-year-old guy uh, that's me, like hitting on Let me on tell you how the English 16, language 17. works. Okay. You cannot arbitrarily assign a definition to a word, especially when a word has an extremely negative connotation and potentially criminal implications. So 16, 17-year-old, that's fine for 50-year-olds to just be getting up. You can say whatever you want to say, but that is not technically pedophilia if the age of consent is met where they live. I also don't always know. When I was 15, I looked 20. I haven't changed. That's why you so ask. That's why you ask. If, they don't know if, they, if you no say, lies. oh, that's I'm 15, and then they pursue you, then that could be used as a little. Term, yeah. But it's still but it's not pedophilia. General. You've literally it's used not. terms incorrectly the entire show, and that's one of them. <laughs> what other term? <laughs> There's been a few. Like what? The word fact. Yeah, um, you didn't know the definition of fact. Right. I fact, did. Opinion. fact versus opinion. Um, pedophilia. You even agreed before. Agreed with what? You definitely agreed that opinions can be facts. Yes, but the, the two are completely different, though. An opinion and I, can be all wrong I said versus was, fact is not. All I said was opinions can be facts. And this goes back to the whole thing of men are uh, better at video games in general. And you're like, well, what are you talking about? And I was like, well, most. And then I was video like, okay. Are men. And then I said, okay. I didn't. And then disagree. you said, that's your opinion. And I said, no, that's a fact. And then I said, opinions can be facts. We're talking about the same thing. We're agreeing right now. I no. don't understand why you're it is rebuttaling. Not an opinion. It was a fact. It was still it was an, an opinionated fact. fact. 
It's still it's an opinion. That's a fact. Opinionated facts. Okay. okay. Yeah. Still yeah. It's not, I literally Incredible. said Incredible. we're not. We're there's no Incredible. argument here. You argue just to argue. I literally said there's no argument there that we're agreeing. You're trying to argue. I'm not. You're trying to invalidate what I was saying by degrading it down to an opinion mm -hmm. when it was an empirical fact. I literally said. I said okay. When you said it, I said okay. That was it. That was the end of the conversation. You were incorrect. Anyway. And I said, okay. Question for ladies. If men only want younger women for manipulation reasons to protect yourselves, wouldn't you go out of your way to look as old as possible so men can know <laughs> that you're not looking young <laughs> enough to manipulate? That's very true. <laughs> yeah, but women do everything in their power to actually look younger, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Because oh, men want a younger Nobody woman. Nobody ever thinks yeah, that yeah, I'm You've opinion. already established that, sorry. <laughs> men want a younger woman, so... Yeah. No, but that's what he's trying to, to is illustrate in the chat. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but, but okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Que onda con estas Latinas que les crio? Translation, what's with these Latinas who raised y'all? Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised actually that like uh, Miss Columbia and you said you're Cuban. Like you guys don't know that like men want younger women and men yeah. are going to cheat. Because Hispanic no. men are some of the biggest cheaters. It's, right. it's not that yeah. we don't know it. They don't right. like our it. Our father is no, no. Hispanic. It's not that we don't know. They don't want to accept it. They don't like it. Machismo. They don't want to accept it. Right. Don't it's accept just, it. it's exactly. just that we are not going to educate. We are not going to teach that. That's not what I'm going to teach my son. They're disagreeing with what it is. Yeah. Our father is Hispanic. We're half Mexican. Okay. Uh -huh. My dad cheated. So again, at the end of the day, <laughs> oh, that's it why happens. you accept it because you saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, ladies, ladies, ladies. Question for real, real talk. What, what is? Let me let me ask you this. What's wrong with accepting reality? That's not reality. Do you remember when the truth was that <laughs> women can vote? That's uh, not a reality. Wait, what did she literally say? not just say a second ago? We know it's the truth, but we just refuse no, to that accept it. That men yeah. prefer younger women. Okay. But the cheating thing too. No, I'm not gonna accept that because what is reality, babe? A while ago, the truth was that we. One, one moment. The truth a while ago was that we couldn't vote because we weren't smart enough, or that we couldn't sign our contracts. Our husband had to do it because we weren't smart enough until we put a fight and we demonstrate. Are you a feminist? Yeah. Women will Gotta never be, be equal to men. You have to just accept that. <laughs> you may not want to oh, hear yeah. it, yeah. but yeah. it's yeah. just yeah. science. It's literally science. It's not even, it's like. It's not really up for debate. Men and women aren't equal in any what way I'm biologically. Saying is that truth changes within time and culture evolves. No. Okay, I'm still trying okay. to understand how that has to do with men in general are going to cheat and how that's because not true. You say that's the truth. So I'm telling you the truth can change. But that is the truth. And it can change. change. Men have always exercised options no. since the beginning of time. And it okay. can change. She believes that. You think it's going to, but what is right now, though? It can change, but what is it right now? Yeah. <laughs> that exactly. depends on what you accept in Maybe your life. Maybe if we man, educate more it. men and not talk about this but all the time, and we educate more on men, what you accept in your life. then it could change. Do you accept faster. that one plus one is two? <laughs> you know, that's. Is it up to interpretation? <laughs> yeah. It's sad that she's it's thinking sad. about it. That's what I'm trying to no. Is this no. not incredible? Yeah. Oh, one plus one is two in Earth. <laughs> in space, no. I love her. 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 Yeah. Okay. Well, I can see why she's not a lawyer in Colombia anymore. Okay. I am, baby. One million subscribers soon. If you were, you would have stayed there. Roberto Moreno. Lost a couple of cases with that logic. The thing is, with law, it's like you got to use logic, and there's none here, and I don't know what's going on. Uh, panel got a cumulative IQ of 3.04. All right, my friend. Isn't that still cum laude, if you know what I'm saying? Juan Valdez, legal counsel. I'm a successful attorney in America. Please be an actress or get on OnlyFans. Do not become a lawyer, dear Lord. And that's from Jay Martin. <laughs> I'm skipping law school for OnlyFans. Castillo. Uh, no, I think he was talking about Miss Columbia, not to Mia. be a lawyer. Uh, Mia, Peek, uh, Peek cheated on Shakira with a younger girl. Hmm. Who made the argument about Shakira? You did, right? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. But they were together 10 years and she's the mother of the, <laughs> Still of the my children. Point. Yeah. I was not saying something. I was just saying, if you're a successful man, you're not going to care if the woman is younger or older. You know? No, he's telling you that absolutely they do. <laughs> Which is why I cheated on her with a younger girl. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, but so what? <laughs> yeah, so but, but, it can be yeah. someone younger, but it can be someone his age, or it can be someone whatever. No, Look at the, why at the king of England. He cheated on Diana know. with this no. super old lady all the time, all the years. Some men like it, whatever they like. 
You're just you're you want like to them. normalize so something small. really negative. Exactly. Something really don't negative. normalize it. I didn't normalize you it. You want to normalize yeah. something Society really normalized it. negative. No, no because, because people like you it. promote it. And I women like it. them Hold accept on. that. That's not the truth. It's not a exactly. They exactly. are promoting it. Can I say no. novellas? They do it. What are you talking about, Lay? Like, it's, it's in the culture. You know, yeah. no, 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 you know what novelas? You know what novelas? What? The Mexican super like yeah, this man that does Rumi. with you whatever yeah, you want. Rumi. But that's Rumi. not my like, freaking culture. Doesn't matter. You it's, know? It's whatever. Bro, <laughs> it's exactly. reality. Yeah, like, exactly. What, what are you so Mr. It's, Mexican it's Roman here. with this men? No, that's not the culture. It's already here. It's you know what? Positive. With her it's logic, not positive. the weatherman is a bad guy because he's promoting badness, telling you that it's gonna rain tomorrow. <laughs> what? Like the oh weatherman is reporting the weather. It's a fact. Hey, listen, it's gonna. We got a chance of storm. Or she's like, that's promoting negativity. <laughs> Ridiculous <laughs> logic, bro. Ridiculous logic. If something is happening and bro. someone reports what is happening, are we gonna get mad at the news reporters? You guys are promoting negativeness. No, they're telling you the reality of the right. world of what's going on depending if you want to watch fox cnn whatever they're reporting the news Your okay reality, right. so we're reporting it's not my it's, reality it is reality right okay there's no such thing as my reality my truth that's a bunch of stupidity there right. is one objective truth whether what? you accept whether oh, yeah, there's multiple sorry. truths okay. now too it's a, it's, there's multiple okay. truths you're supposed to be a lawyer <laughs> aren't you supposed to look for one truth do you know what happens um in law there is uh the truth inside the case and the truth outside the case. The truth inside the case is the one you can prove. And the truth outside the case. She's making a point. Yeah, not please, listen. Just true. listen. You're She's treating true. me like I'm crazy or that I'm dumb. I'm not as super smart here. So the truth inside the case, it's one, the one you can prove. And the truth outside the pay outside the case, it's another but one. They also say they can be different. But they also don't prove it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not objective. But the truth is not objective. Let her speak. Truth is not objective. Let me speak. Truth is not objective. Truth is not objective. You have your truth. I have mine. That's why we live different lives. That's why we receive from the universe different things. That's why we attract different people because you believe. In some stuff, in the and I believe in another you have stuff. From your family also. That's and why the yeah. values that cheating, you grew up with, and I the don't. values you were yeah. raised no. with, no. that's what you receive in your life. Because yeah. that's what you put out there. You receive what you are, not what you give, what you are. And nope. that comes from your values and from your truth. So that's completely subjective. Okay. Period. Um, Blank. But again, mm -hmm. on this specific platform, exactly. like, I don't know if y'all did your research right. or whatever, but y'all coming on here and y'all not accepting the facts. The right. facts that they're giving is, is like you said, it's the truth. They backed up what they said. Your truth, mi amor. Your Sweetie, truth. No, no, we he, come he, he right. just said the, the show. Daily Stop Mail. The show like, uh, Go ahead, so finish your piece and then I'll... He just said right. there was just something that came up that said the Daily Mail said XYZ. That's a fact that's published on the internet. So what? I don't understand how Do you, you know don't understand. Media is completely controlled. Yeah. So, oh. Plus, we don't come here to accept his reality <laughs> or <laughs> his reality. <laughs> they were not come. my dad or anything. Hey, it's we come on, here to interact and there were our opinions. That it's on to society. It's I don't believe social media. I don't believe in from anyone. And it's also just what's going that. on. I don't believe in that. There You're were not studies. outside. There Where were are you at? There were studies. That wanted to prove that black people were dumb, sweetie. You then. just came to this country, right. Right. so no, you just, sweetie, was. you right. just came to this country. So how are you really debating no. what right. what's right. going on in right. right. America right. with culture? Right. Doesn't mean she didn't culture have from Bali. Does not mean she's not young. Ladies, 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 ladies. This is incredible. But you know, I'm gonna. You're old and ran through. I'm gonna read. Not. Not even. You're 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 not You're not even. 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 You know, Coach Redpill on this one, just because it's a very famous quote. I think it's a great quote because it encompasses a lot of the crazy delusion that people have when it comes to my truth and everything else like that. Mm -hmm. So since the 1960s, we've had this concept that truth is relative. However, appreciation of the truth is relative because we have a limited perspective when the truth is observed based on where we are in life. The truth, however, is objective, but your perception of said truth is relative. Again, because appreciation of the truth is relative. Because we have a limited perspective when a truth is observed based on where we are in life. 
The truth is objective, but your perception of said truth is relative. But instead, in today's society, we say truth is relative. And worse yet, we believe everyone's truth is relative and equally valid, which is absurd mm -hmm. because a lot of people are quite frankly stupid. Mm -hmm. No offense to you ladies, but you guys are not agreeing with facts and you're saying my truth. Clearly, you're only 24 years old and you have a limited perspective on life. So what you guys may think is the truth isn't necessarily the truth. And for you guys to sit there and say, my truth is valid, is ludicrous. We're telling you how the world works as older men that are more experienced than yourselves. And on top of that, we have a bunch of data to back what we're saying. A fact is something that's independently verifiable regardless of how it's observed. Okay? For you to sit there and say the truth is relative is ludicrous it's wild and as someone who's supposed to be a lawyer i'm severely disappointed because when you prove a case why, why when you do stop, an argument you stop, have to take it stop, personal stop <clears throat> why because what you're saying is ridiculous no but because why why treat the person why don't you just be a the professional thing. when why i have was, to try to stop interrupting me, as a lawyer? stop interrupting me because you're supposed you should be held to a higher professional no, standard no when i was a federal agent don't arresting people putting people in jail for years on end sometimes for their life i had to come with facts that I gave to a prosecutor, he was. we were able to independently corroborate those facts, and that person went to jail. You have to build a case on facts. Rule of law is built on facts. Not what I think, not what I feel. What you can it's prove. built on facts. What you can prove. Okay, but what the you can prove in a case is based on... Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. I'm speaking, okay? Okay, daddy. <laughs> I don't need I don't need the patronization. So anyway, you want it. Yeah. I don't want it at all. Looks uh, like it. No, that's what you want. Feels like it. So feels anyway. like it. <laughs> you look at me like I'm your daughter. I'm not. <laughs> we are in a podcast. We are in a discussion. It's your po podcast, but you invited us, and so you can interrupt us, and we can't. Yeah. No, I'm the host. No, you're not the alpha male here. I, what the? What? We are all equal here. We are what? talking like Who's human beings. Who show are you on? Then why did you invite Who's, us? Whose show are you on? It's your show. Okay, be quiet. So anyway, but like I was saying, be quiet. Too. Be quiet. I'm speaking. Don't talk to me like I'm be your quiet. daughter. Listen, if you don't like it, you can get the fuck out of here. I'm Jesus not going to give you the pleasure. I'm okay, calm. then be quiet and sit there. <laughs> anyway, you. like I was saying, <laughs> when I was a federal agent arresting people, putting people in jail for several years at a time, I had to come with facts. I can't sit there on speculation and my truth or whatever. I had to come with the truth. And in the law, especially when people are facing either serious consequences with jail time or paying a lot of money, etc. Like the Johnny Depp case, that had to come with facts. They couldn't go off of Amber Heard's feelings. I think this happened. I felt like this happened. They went off of facts. They went off of recordings, etc. Thank God they went off facts because mm -hmm. if they didn't, Johnny Depp would be in jail right now and his career would be destroyed. So this is the dangerous precedent when we go off of feelings. No, we got to go off of facts, ladies. That's how it goes. So the truth is objective. Whether you appreciate it or not is up to you and that's relative. Do you know who creates facts? Well said. People. Do you know what people do? Take actions for what? Because how they are educated. And so facts feelings. are created by people who are raised in a certain way. So it's on us to spread a better education. It's on us. Facts are created by people who take actions because they were raised, raised by at some way or I don't know. So it's on us. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you do know. realize that most of the facts that we've stated come from and, biological and, things. Wow, yeah, come on. The, which are rooted in fact that you ah. that are indisputable. <laughs> okay. Most of today's discussion has been on intersexual dynamics, which are rooted in biology, which is indisputable, which is scientific. So you can say whatever you want to okay. say, but men are hardwired to have sex with multiple partners. Sorry, I don't make the rules, I just report them. If you refuse to accept the truth, it's on you. But over here, we operate in reality. All right, we got yeah. Zentines here. Uh, younger women are easier to control. The one who said that is old and ratchet. No man of value and means wants to come home to a dirty, a dusty rubbish that is always argumentative. Silver haired copulary staring is the definition of what high value men do not want. Oh, someone called me a bacon. <laughs> My tits aren't saggy, so you know I'm sitting. Uh, did that fat girl with the curly hair and saggy titties just? Oh, okay. I did. Just say that I'm not spreading false information to losers. How do you know I'm a loser? You fucking piece of bacon. I didn't say that you're spreading false. Bacon. I said you're a straight a bacon. bacon. I think you're a pretty hot Three piece of bacon. Thanks, girl. You're beautiful. You're uh, gorgeous. Pluto, you're 18 and you can't choose the right deodorant. You don't respect yourself. Arguing just to argue. I definitely do. All right. Uh, PB, if they're twins, give them a ding because they're the only two that uh, have any type of understanding. It shows. Okay. Uh, Cameo Purdue, 
it's in most men's nature to mess around with multiple women, average to high value. If you can lock down a high value guy, uh, not high value one, why not just accept what comes with the territory along with all the perks? All y'all females super unrealistic, and that that's what New York was speaking about earlier. Uh Bring the delusional calculator. I don't know if we have time for that. Did the ladies not understand the Daily Mail article I cited? Here's the actual handle. Males are hardwired for promiscuity, says experts. Big Mo, pull it up. Dude, I know. It, uh, and I know you're saying, like, the media fake stuff. I mean, it's a study that was done. Why would And that's it's actually negative towards men, so why would they lie about that? It's not, it doesn't put men in a good light, necessarily. Right? Um uh, Silver doesn't need to worry about any millionaires cheating on her. Men with choices don't choose obese women. This snake. Oh, wow. I'm pretty thick. I don't know. I like it. I got a fat ass. Yeah. With all due respect, mm. you're obese. But anyway, I shout out to the chicks ass. who get it. Uh, I'm obese with fat ass and a fat pussy. I swear to God. Damn, I. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> most men oh don't prefer <laughs> women that weigh more than them. Mm. I mean. Um, I don't care. I just, I agree. Definitely said I was obese I mean, with a fat ass. I, mean, I did not say anything. Truth, um, but that's that's fine. Um, Gray Skunk gonna hit the wall at 25. <laughs> Shout out to FNF, Chris, and Big Mo. Bishop. Cool. Uh, that damn iron is surgical, defeating these women's poor arguments. And shout out to the women who get it. Uh, you know, it is what it is. A native Iran. Uh, question for the Pluto How and why did you come on the podcast with a bad scent? How does did that occur? Are you sweating too much? May I recommend intermittent fasting? You look insulin resistant at 19. <laughs> Acceptable. <laughs> Yo, it's the good wallet, bro. I mean, like, you're still watching me and taking time out your day. Ooh, okay. Uh, I mean, that chat came in a while ago. I don't know if you're still watching. Yeah. The, the people probably pulled their hair out and left by now. Yo, Arriba Las Mexicanas. Not. Mexica. Cuba, Cuba. Okay, and the last one's here. Wow, some of these conversations from the ladies are making my head spin harder than the gin I'm drinking. Hey, bro, you're going to have a tough time. My Ron's hairline, 50 bucks. All this podcast is and other, uh, is and other men's shows is doing is making the playing field equal. XX have been tricking men for 60 years. The reason so many divorcees are men married 304s. Uh, men didn't know over five bodies is high risk. The market is XX made it. Yeah, that's actually statistically proven. Uh, s- starting at Myron, uh, one, quit. Oh, if there's still hope for you. Two, Seconds uh, on the clock. Three, I'd marry you. Four, Thotsky. Five, six, junior. Seven, sociopath. Nine, wifey. Ten, narcissist. I'm a sociopath? Why? Wait, how did you say that? <laughs> Why? Why? No, he said whale. For five and six. I'll take it. Oh, I thought it was a fish. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I just, I just. Wait, but there's on. more of us here. I'm so confused. No. Okay, so uh, no, we're gonna no, close no. the show out, so, ladies. Oh man, you Bye. guys. Okay. Oh, you, you want to keep going? I thought you were going <laughs> to rate us. Oh, y'all really want us to rate you. No, okay. Um, Let's do a go number. Ahead, go ahead, fresh. <sighs> you go first, bro. I, Me first? I just want my video. Why are you to scared? Be, just go first. I want my video to be lit. Like, I want. Damn. You, know? you go first. Okay. So, uh, are we going to go off of looks? I, I guess we could just go off of straight looks, right? Looks? Not, not personally. I don't want to be biased. Okay. <laughs> Because let's be honest, too. most guys, most guys don't care about a girl's like personality, personality in the beginning. Often, I right? mean, they'll, they'll tolerate her to get sex. So yeah, yeah. We go so, that. Okay, so um, this is uh, we'll just start here, Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. So looks wise, I'll give you like a seven point five, and uh, you see pretty cool. Thank you. Uh, right here. Wait, are we going off personality then? Oh wait. <laughs> yes, yes. He did like, like, oh, he did yes, like an yeah. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna you know what? We could go over. Go I'm gonna give a vibe check. Yeah, check. Yeah, 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 you can, you can give, you can give, you can go off personality too. Fuck it. We've had a three-hour conversation plus with them, so that's more than. Yeah. I'll give you eight. You want to go home? I get it. Cool. Um, hundred percent. I'll give you nine. Mindsets where should be, knowledge, on point. Right here. Sorry, four. Um. We got some going out to do. Actually, no, 56 should be her, her, her uh, number. <laughs> uh, and then here, uh, I can do a smooth like uh, seven. You look like Steph Don. What? The uh, mm-hmm. singer. Yeah, I get that. And um, personality, though, I, I don't know. Okay. Here, uh, acquired you taste. Eight as well. Um, you didn't say too much, so I can't really judge you, but you seem pretty cool. Right here, uh, I give you like a seven. Uh, mindset's a little bit weird, but I get it. And then here, uh, I give you like an eight. Um, you didn't say that much, much either, but shout out to you. Wifey type nine for sure. And then here, uh, man, 
you were doing so good until you spoke. <laughs> I'll, give you like, I'll give you like a smooth like six, seven. Thank you. Uh, all right, cool. So if you guys really want me to do this and be objective about it, I'm going to need you all to stand up. It's up to y'all if y'all want the rating. If you want me to actually be objective about this and be 100, I'm going to give you the honest truth. So I'm going to need y'all to stand up if you want me you to rate you. You can't just do it by face. No, because I need to look at everything. Of course, no, he has to. Up. I need to. Man, you wouldn't visual. stand up for us. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't stand, stand up for us. You wouldn't. Very true. Oh, that is lit, thing, girl. Because, 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 uh, because visuality is not as important for a woman as it is. And y'all got me <laughs> yes, saw me get up to go take a piss, so stop. Our no, I do not. Lit, y'all y'all saw me it. get up to take I a piss. You already know. I haven't seen it on another video. All right. Well, if you don't have to, if you don't want to, cool. Then I won't do the ratings. No, it's it's it saves me some time and some potential heartbreak. Thirsty. Okay, I'm what? I'm thirsty. Not you. I said they're scared. They don't want to get up. Yeah, okay, they, they don't have to. Then I won't. I won't do the ratings. That's fine. Uh, okay, cool. Go ahead, fresh. You can find all the ladies in um down below for their target, right? And then um shit, it's been a long ass show. Uh, show hey, don't ask me after the show. I ain't gonna give you a rating after the show, ladies. I want that's crazy not, that you don't won't try to come up to me after. Down. Give me a rating now. Hell no. Nah, this though. is uh, this is last chance. Say your piece. Uh, nigga said, let me see that. You guys are gay. <laughs> uh, um, and then, and I, oh, I know Smith. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, real quick, just so y'all know, if you guys want to go ahead and do a consultation with me and Fresh, uh, hit up our boy Eric. Uh, his Instagram is below. Real Eric the Great. Yeah, real Eric the Great. Check him out. Um, sh- you want to tell him real quick, Eric, what's going on with that? Yeah, it's on. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, just hit me up, man. And uh, if you guys want to get in contact with Fresh and Fit, we'll schedule that call through me. Yeah. Whether you want to talk to us, ask questions about girls, real estate, making money, etc. Yeah, we don't always we see, got you. see your DMs, by the way. Yeah, so Too many. hit up Eric and then he'll set you up with a conversation. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. 10 minutes is not cheap. Uh, it's pretty expensive if you want to talk to us because nowadays we got to prioritize time. As you guys know, we're running shows longer, etc. And then we're partnering with, also with the Tates as well. So yes. HU. Hustlers University, get yeah. in there. Get in there, guys. Link is below. Get in Hustlers University. You want to make money? You what, like 16 ways to make money in the modern day world? 100%. Yeah. Want to make money, be successful in these current times, bro? H you all the way. Yeah, cool. And then all of these Instagrams are below. So if you guys want to send dick pics, go ahead and check them out over there. And Hustle, then uh, Hustlers University link in the top of the description. Okay, cool. cool. Um, all right. Yeah. Other than that, man, we well, we'll catch you guys on Monday for Money Monday. Uh, we'll probably talk about real estate or something like that, uh, making money somehow. We got y'all. Peace. Peace. Oh, the night, if I were, did you like-